Las Vegas 49 card with the Stop Mountain. Oh! Welcome, friends, to the show. We're here. We're live. We're wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. UFC Vegas 49 is about to go down on ESPN. Plus. We got the link pinned in the live chat. I see the Bruce Buffer walking around the crowd. Alexis is reminding that's lunchtime. Um, a big shout out. Look at Head Rush. <sighs> Check it out, Head Rush down below, link in the description, promo code M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S, sheath, promo code M-M-A-Holes, M-M-A-Holes, for 20% off the best underwear in the fucking world. Bobby Green has something to say about sheath. Bobby Green, help us out here. He's fighting tonight. What is up? I just wanted to tell you guys about my family uh, down at Sheath. These guys are great on underwear, comfort, support. They even got this really cool inside the fucking underwear. Got this little pouch, a secret little pouch. Just think these are awesome. But thank you so much. Use MMA code 20 and get a discount now. Nah, use MMA holes, Bobby Green. MMA holes for 20% off. I mean, come on. What are you talking about, Bobby Green? But even Bobby Green uses it, so check it out. Link in the description to Sheath, to Head Rush, ESPN Plus, and my bookie. We got some bets tonight. We got the parlay that's going to go down tonight, and we also have the $100 bet, bet as well. Uh, MMA holes, the code for that, mybookie.ag, and you will receive a 100% match on your first Deposit. Let's make some money tonight, baby. Let's go. Let's let's cash in the bets at mybookie.ag. All right. Anyway, uh, will Bobby Green get it done in the sheath underwear? Now, I love sheath, but sheath, you're always picking the wrong guys. I mean, I think I, I'm rooting for Bobby Green. I root for um, uh, what's his name? Moreno, I forgot his name for a second. Had a brain fart. Root for him as well. He's, he's a likable guy. But tonight, I, I feel as Makachev's night. Our money in our parlay, uh, Makachev is is uh, is the anchor of our bet. So we'll see how that works. But the first fight on the card is Carlos Hernandez versus somebody. Let's see who's uh, Carlos Hernandez fighting. I can't remember. We don't have any money on him, but I did make a pick. Where are you at? Let's go to the scene over here. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. All right, so it's Hernandez versus Altamirano. First fight on the Fugan card. We got an email. Our buddy Anthony slipped in the old DMs and says, hey, guys, you got an email. Fingers crossed. Hopefully everything works out. But um, could be a good hook for some fighters. So hopefully that works out nicely. We'll tell you more as that unfolds. But here's the first fight on the card. Let me know in the chat who you picked, who you're excited about, a card that has two Obamas on it. Bet you didn't know that. UFC Vegas 49, two Obamas. You have the Islam Makachev Obama. I don't know why Islam Makachev looks like Obama here, but he sure does. And then you have the Gregory Rodriguez Obama. Like, which Obama is better? Who did it better? Gregory Rodriguez or Islam Makachev? Both looking like the former president. Of the United States of America. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Not sure why they're both on the card, two Obamas, but two Obama. Does that is it like uh, I don't know? She's growing on me too, says sober Carl. Who's growing on you? Let's find out. Uh, I want to get an email. Says the glove touch. Um, you gotta harass. Definitely gotta harass people like we do. We harass, but in a professional way. Uh, let's see. The Karate Hottie. Is that who you're talking about? The Karate Hottie? Monster Rangers game is lit right now. I have over here on the side, I'm keeping an eyeball, Pittsburgh Penguins. I mean, there's there has been a long rivalry between the two teams. Look at the record. Fairly similar. Although we have less uh, situations in overtime and one less loss. But, I mean, it's 
This is an important game. So I got my eyeballs on them. Yes, we are watching some fights, but I will keep an eye. Bobby Green, what do you what? stop interrupting our show? What did Bobby Green say here? Let's see. What's up, guys? Doing some business here with my real bookie. Oh, uh, what? Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> Bobby Green and the MMA holes have two of the same sponsors. Yet when we slid into your DMs, Bobby Green, there was no fucking answer. Come on, Bobby. Although we might have some good news. Bobby Green. I'm a fan of Bobby Green. I'm not going to lie. But he's got a my bookie spot. Let's see what he's got here. Hey, my three picks. Jonathan Martinez, Terrence McKinley, and Bobby King Green. Okay, there's his picks over there. Let's go. Use King Green for no, your... No, not his. No. In my bookie died, AG, use promo code M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S, Bobby Green. Come on, bro. Like, what are you doing? You're using all the wrong promo cards. Anyway. Uh, tell the tape for these two. 31 years old is Alta Morano. 28 is Hernandez. Both boys are 5 foot 8 inches. The weight, 123 for Alta Morano and 125 for Hernandez. 67 inch reach for Hernandez. 70.5 for Alta Morano. Alta Morano is a switch hitter as the orthodox fighter is Hernandez. Okay? There's your tale of the tape skis. Good luck to everyone that is playing our Pick'em League Goat Milk. Still got to ask Jesse if she put last week's winner on. We'll get that ironed out if she didn't. I picked Alta Morano, the guy that came in a little bit light. He is also a sliver, a slight underdog here. We'll see if uh, Mexicano could get it done over the U.S. Let me know in the chat who you have. As we're fired up tonight. You pumped up to see Makachev versus Bobby Green, which should be a banger, man. Bobby Green, is he's always game. Alta Morano by decision to see me night off right. I'm with you on that one, Gavin. Keep on smashing that like button. Look, we're trying to get to 1K over here. The first like goal will be 1,000 likes. You see the hammer hitting away? Bink, bink. Like, it's going for it. We need 1,000 likes. Everyone stop what you're doing and hit that like button as we get ready for the first fight. Chris Tognoni is the referee for this first fight here. And we about ready to get started. You liking the retro jerseys? There's some pretty ugly retro jerseys out there. Here we go. Round one. Alta Morano versus Hernandez. Hernandez has the black trunks and Alta Morano with the green. Alta Morano is really switching those legs back and forth. Nice straight left hand coming in. Alta Morano controlling the center. Backs up after two left hands come in. Underneath, grabs the... Ooh, Alta Morano trying for a takedown here. And Hernandez says, no thank you. Stops him. They nullify each other and then separate. Alta Morano coming over with a left over the top. Battle for head position here as they clinch up. Nice knee to the body by Hernandez. Knee to the body by Alterman, Alta Morano. Very tough name for me to say. This is some... Um, very tight action here as they're clinched up. They're exchanging some knees. Now separation as Altamirano comes over with a left and a spinning back fist miss by Hernandez. Very quick. Two individuals here as the little guys thrown down in the first round. Four minutes remaining in this thing. Three rounds to go. Lay kick by Hernandez. Hernandez charges in with two jabs and Altamirano resets. They kind of like from a distance. They look like the same guy with different shorts. Oh, nice left hand by Alta Morano. Kick to the body. Follows it. So Mexico. Nice combo. Who do you guys got? People are dying and people are worried about gas prices. <laughs> yeah, I had that conversation. It's just crazy. It's a crazy world, man, right now. It is a worry, though, gas prices. It is. You can't dismiss it. It's just going to get worse. Uh, I think uh, they hate each other. Go Colby. That fight is right around the corner. Next week should be pretty fun. But we got to focus on this. Apex center as the left comes in. Hernandez trying to go for a takedown there. Eats another left hand. That straight is there all day for Alta Morano. Hernandez resets. Trots around. And circles. Alta Morano controlling the center. And Hernandez comes in with a left that misses. Alta Morano, nice counter. And then the right hand by Hernandez. Left Hernandez lands on the face. Of the Mexican. 
Uh, be sure to ask. I will. I will. Uh, hey, what's the Discord link? It's the MMAholes.com. Go over to the MMAholes.com and just click on that puppy, and uh, you will be in our Discord. Hernandez backing up as Altamirano comes with a kick to the body. With 225 left, a kick to the body by Hernandez. So these guys are kind of like evening each other out here. They're going punch for punch, kick for kick. There's a leg kick by Hernandez, but they're very evenly matched so far in this fight. That being said, a charging forward uh, combination coming in by Altamirano, followed up by a leg kick, and there's a leg kick by Hernandez. Looking at the live stats here, and like I said, even, very, very close. I mean, it's almost identical. In the clinch, Altamirano hits him, and then a separation by Hernandez. With 150 left in the first round. If you're new to the channel, we're doing play-by-play -play to the entire card tonight in a dysfunctional, bizarre, weird way. So we're going to tell you what we see through our eyeballs. We're going to spit it out of our mouths. we got the greatest community in the world in that live chat there. So feel free to subscribe, hit the like button. Jesse will be with us shortly with the little child. Hernandez backs up. Altamirano controlling, coming forward. Hernandez ducks underneath and comes back towards the middle. Hernandez misses wildly with punches as Altamirano showing some good footwork and head movement. There's a head kick by Hernandez. Nice one to the side of the head of Altamirano. That got his attention as Altamirano charges forward with a combo. Clinching up is Hernandez and gets the takedown briefly. Up, oh, got him good. Hernandez inside the guard of Altamirano. A big takedown for Mr. Hernandez. Carlos lands one with 55 seconds left. And that could swing the momentum slightly in his favor there. Beauty. So he was one for three with the takedowns. Timed it perfectly. And could steal the round here. Hanging with the... Hanging with the boys. boys! Yeah, the head kick came in nice. It definitely did. So Hernandez controlling on top inside the guard. Alto Morano squirming from the bottom here. With 28 seconds left. Waiting for some action to go down. They are just still nullifying each other. Altamirano's trying to use the foot to kick off. Almost does. Hernandez looks to leap past the legs. They get back up and separate. So Altamirano not held down very long there as he comes forward. And does, I mean, there wasn't much activity from the top by Hernandez. There was a takedown. And Altamirano comes out aggressive here. That's the end of the round. Was the takedown enough to swing the... Momentum in favor of Hernandez. I don't know. I don't. He didn't do anything with it. And you look at the strikes here, a little in favor of Altamirano. So very close round. Could go either way. You be the judge of that one. I think any answer is correct, to be honest. I could see why people would argue Altamirano controlled the center, landed more strikes. But more significant, one more for Hernandez. And that takedown did happen. So curious what you say in the chat. I want to know what you're thinking. About 20 minutes for me, Eddie. I'm eating, but I've smoked three joints today. Whoa. Henry Downs says, well, I don't know. Yeah, what is that? I don't even know what emoji that is. Mexico. Hello, Ann. Did you pop all the blisters in on your box? Ooh. 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 Ugh. Ugh. All right, let's roll to the second round. Second round. Round part due has begun. Yeah, it's close, man. I'm a little biased because I picked Altamirano by a decision. I don't I don't know. I could go either way. That I mean, like I said, I'm completely fine. We'll see how the judges score if it goes to a decision. Well, here we are in the second. And they're right back where they left off. There's a clinch here. They're exchanging knees. They're going knee for knee. These guys are legit the same person. It's crazy. Just nullifying each other. Thank you, Guido. It's very nice of you. I hope you're wonderful, wonderful as well. I hope we're doing good. We got some a lot of weird stuff going on around here. A lot, a lot of like craziness, inside, outside, like you know, life. But here we are watching some fights, and you forget all that shit. You know, that's the beauty of the UFC. Altamirano controlling that center as we have a circling Hernandez going back and forth, looking to engage. With four minutes left in the second round, 
Here's a kick to the body. Nice one by Altamirano. Then charges in, almost headbutted as he goes head forward. Clinches against the cage. Controls against the fence for the time being. Hernandez does push off. Nice knee to the head by Hernandez to separate. I, f I legit feel like I'm... Oh, there's a nice knee by Hernandez. Here we go. Hernandez turning up and Altamirano retaliates. With some strikes coming in by Altamirano, a kick to the body stopped Hernandez from that vicious attack. Hernandez, char Hernandez charges forward with a right hand, slips over the top. Altamirano looks to capitalize. And that Mexican heart, the kicks to the body by Altamirano, look like they're working well. Slowing down Hernandez. Altamirano hunting. Hernandez is looking loose on his feet as he circles the outskirts. Trots back. Lay kick. Nice one by Hernandez. Hernandez, oh, that right hand by Hernandez, a beauty on the cheek of Altamirano. It's like, ba boom That was a good one there. Nice strike. Best of the round so far by Mr. Carlos Hernandez. 245 left in the second round of a very tight fight. There's a nice body shot by Altamirano. Both fighters back towards the center. Altamirano goes up top. Oh, nice left hand, and then comes in with a kick to the body. Hernandez just brushes it off, circles, comes forward, and nice left hand. Hernandez greets Altamirano back in the center in the halfway point of the fight of a feisty one with two 125ers. Hearns by a decision, wonderful, wonderful. Altamirano has a nice chin for sure. I mean, yeah, he caught that right hand. Was a beauty. As they charge towards the fence, Altamirano pushing Hernandez there. Hernandez trying for the wrap around the neck for a guillotine. Altamirano peels the hand off. Hernandez now fighting the hands back, and they're all tangled up. They separate. So once again, we're back in the center. As Altamirano drills that foot to the middle of Hernandez's body, Hernandez comes forward and walks into a body shot again, a knee. Another kick to the body by Altamirano. He is just working the body, but nice knee by Hernandez coming in as a retaliation. An uppercut, a right, a left. The first two missed, the last hits by Hernandez. So Hernandez charging in. So Jesse did something funny. She had uh, Ellie make picks, have her own tapology, and as soon as she went to pick enter, hit enter, it was too late. So she texted Ellie's picks. Who did Ellie pick? She legit made Ellie make the picks. And Ellie picked Hernandez by a decision. Not looking bad. Not looking bad. Ellie are nine month old. So Altamirano coming in with one minute remaining in the round. Left hand, kick to the body again. Looking at the strikes over here, still fairly even. Slight advantage to Altamirano. But there were some significant strikes that happened in the second round that were clear. Oh, there's a combo. A three-piece. Four-piece. And there's a kick to the body. So Altamirano landing. Hernandez comes back. And there's that right again. Altamirano eats one from Hernandez. And the chin holds up. So like I said, even though Altamirano is landing more volume, there have been two or three punches that landed by Hernandez that were right on the kisser. There's a nice knee by Hernandez. 20 seconds left in the second round. Close fight. A lot of redness on the uh, lateral of Hernandez. Nothing to be alarmed about. Just notice it's there. And there's a throw towards the end of the round by Hernandez. Altamirano gets up. They're in the clinch. Knee by Hernandez. Five seconds left. Altamirano now trying for a trip. Does not get it. Pushes Hernandez to the fence. And the second round is over. It could very well be two zip Hernandez. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. I'm just going to say 1-1. One, one. Even though the first round was very close. But I don't know. I'm just going to say 1-1 one, one just for the hell of it. We shall see. What do you say in the chat? As I can see how 2-Zip Hernandez is a thing. Wonderful, wonderful. Our first donation of the evening. Do you know that new MMA prospect from New York, Gay Beach? Uh, Gay Lord. Yeah, I'm very familiar with him. Uh, thank you for the donation. Joe B was our last top dog. But now we have a new... Top dog tonight with $2 donation. Starving Ethiopian. Thank you. 
This is close to Zip Hernandez, new starring of AIDS. No, la, la. go retweet the Twitter post. Um, oh, we didn't put a tweet out. Rangers are still one, zero zero. We gotta put a tweet out. What's up? Bobby Green keeps on interrupting our show. All right, here we go. Round three. Round three. Who is going to win? If I'm Alta Morano's corner, I'm going to say, hey, you're going to come out here and really make a statement because Hernandez could be up to zip. As Hernandez takes Alta Morano, spins him back to the fence, the man that came in a little bit heavier seems like the weight's helping here against the cage. Diana Belbita apparently is watching. She's on Twitter. Having breakfast for lunch, hanging with the boys and gals on a Saturday afternoon is life. Puffs. And Pints next. Who would be starving if he spent that two bucks on some beef jerky? Oh, down to the ground. Hernandez tumbling down with Alta Morano. They both get back up. But Hernandez's cardio is looking legit in this third round. Alta Morano's trying to engage here. Hernandez comes in with a couple of jabs. There's the kick to the body again by Alta Morano. How many body shots? 21 to the body. So that's the one thing that was working well. For Alta Morano, there's another punch to the body. Here's another, whoa, flurry. That was about a five-punch po combination and then a kick or four and a kick by Alta Morano. Alta Morano showing some good head movement as he backs up from some jabs. There's a nice leg kick by Hernandez with the right hand. Alta Morano underhooks. And it's like the battle of the cardio here in the third round. Uh, 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 I'm sure Hernandez will uh, look to hold him down and avoid danger. We shall see. Saturday is our favorite day of the week besides Monday. A lot of people complain about Monday, but we do a show on Monday, for God's sake. So, I mean, <laughs> Mondays are great, right? 270 watching. Hey, how you doing? We're watching these fights over here. Hit the like button. Controlling against the fence is Alta Morano with three minutes left. Does he need a finish as he's drilling the knees to the body, but Hernandez muscles his way off the cage, underhooks, and does he look for separation? Nah, hits him with a knee. Comes in with a left hook. There is separation. There's that left hand by Alta Morano. Little damage over the right eye of Hernandez. Oh, the body shot followed by the right by Alta Morano. That was a beaut. But the power of Alta Morano, not quite there. As he, oh, he's landing volume, though. Comes in with another nice com com combination here as that backs up Hernandez. 227 left. Alta Morano hooking around, throws Hernandez to the fence again, underhooks. And let's see if he could do something here as Hernandez is trying to peel his body from the cage. Hernandez looking for the underhook. Alta Morano battling for position here. And they are just kind of looping arms back and forth. Hernandez just easily pushes his way off the cage. Here we go. The one-two by Hernandez and then a nice left hook and a head kick to follow. So Hernandez comes off with a vengeance from off the fence. Head kick by Alta Morano, partially blocked. Superman punch by Hernandez. Alta Morano shoots in. They nullify each other down to a knee, back up to the feet. And Alta Morano has the underhook pushing Hernandez to the fence. Hernandez spins him around. And a nice knee to the body by Hernandez. Right hand Alta Morano, knee to the head Hernandez. Separation, 130. Three left in the third round. Hanging with the, Hanging with the boys. boys. We are watching some fights here as these guys are going punch for punch, kick to kick here. Exchanging back and forth. Colliding. Nice knee to the body by Hernandez. Nice leg kick by Alta Morano. 112 left. Who the hell is going to win this fight? Looks like Alta Morano might be getting a little sluggish out there as he throws a left over. They collide again, clinch up, and they're spinning around. We have Ellie and Jesse coming in. Ooh, a full belly Ellie. Look at if so at this stage of the game, if you were to ask me who won this fight, oh, a nice left by Hernandez. I'm gonna say Hernandez, but you never know. It's a very close one. As there's a kick to the head coming in by Hernandez. Both guys are going punch for punch. Just looks like there's more sting in the punches and kicks of Hernandez. 35 seconds left as there's a more volume by Alta Morano. I just feel like there's more significant power coming into the strikes by Hernandez. Alta Morano pushing to the fence. 20 seconds left. 
And they're just going punch for punch. And there's the kick to the body again by Altamirano. Hernandez trying for the head kick, and that lands on the side of the left arm. Ten seconds left. A decision's what we're going to see. The question is, oh, there's a takedown, a late one by Altamirano. Doesn't do anything with it as Hernandez gets on his knee and back up the fence. Fight's over. That's it. Who wins? Who? Who? Wins. Okay. I think Hernandez should have done enough there in that fight to get the win. But with a close fight, you never fucking know. Especially when you got these judges. You never know. If you just look at the stats, well, it looks like perhaps Altamirano could have got the job done. Look at Hernandez. I mean, the body was worked very intensely there. Uh, but then the head strikes were in favor of Hernandez. Hernandez was doing a very nice job on the head. Um, a little extra on the leg kicks, too. The control time is almost identical. You have one extra takedown for Hernandez. Not much was done in any of the three takedowns by both guys. The one must go. The one must go. As we wait for the judges' cards, I'm going to put on some volume here so I can hear what's going on. Pretty close, though. Pretty close. I'm looking at the significant strikes now. Huh. Wow. So Hernandez, they're saying, got the first round with significant strikes, and then the next two were in favor of Altamirano. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so Altamirano out significant struck him two and three. Let's see what the judges think. We're here with the judges. Split decision. All right, Hernandez gets the win. You got to wonder. 29-28 for Altamirano. Then the next judge was 30-27 Hernandez. And then a 29-28 Hernandez. They were all over the place. <laughs> all over. The Every judge had a completely different opinion. Who knows? But anyway, I think they got it right. I would say Hernandez won that fight. Very close. Very close. But it did seem like when Hernandez landed, it definitely caused... It made more of a change in the fight. More significant. So... But, you know, listen, I picked Altamirano, um, and it was very close. Could have went either way, but I, I believe that they got it right there. Hernandez for the win. Jess, you got your picks in, though, right? I did, Moss. All right, who'd you pick I in did. the first fight? Don't I get a round of applause for doing them this time? Yes. <laughs> you do. You do. The first fight? Yeah. Hernandez. Decision. Ah, right on the money. Jesse might go first page today. Now you jinxed me. That's it. It's over. What did Ellie have? Let's see. She picked Hernandez. You and Ellie. Hernandez. So she would she would be uh, with you guys. Well, Hernandez was the favorite, so you're not going to see, like, yeah, you're going to see a lot of people, decision, favorite fighter. So there's going to be no separation here. We'll keep a look on goat milk. But there's probably Hernandez, a, Yeah, she had Hernandez's decision. Yeah, a lot of people picked that, so. You know what sucks is I got all of Ellie's picks, and then we were just three minutes over, like, the time limit. So, like, after I got them all entered in, I could it wouldn't, like, process. So I had to just... So she was missing this card, technically, on topology. It was so cute. I had, like, little colored balls. You can't see this one's green. <laughs> but I had little colored balls, and she would pick which one... And which round and how they would win for every fight. I need a crystal ball. We need a big green ball so I can make my mystical, you know, predictions. Yeah. Not a bad idea, Moss. I need a big green ball. So when I make my mystical predictions, Jess, in my, my bookies... All right, here we go. Let's roll into the next fight. 
What else? Tell me more. Ellie's got a lot to say. Ah, okay. Yeah. The whole day today, Ellie has <laughs> watched us either talk on the phone <laughs> or talk to a camera. She must think we're nuts. Right? Well, we don't need to be on the phone for her to think that. We're not talking to each other. <laughs> we're talking to either a phone or a camera. She's yeah. like, who are you talking to? Yeah. The baby guy, the baby thinks we're crazy. And she's right. She's completely right. Well, then again, she is eating the netting on the side of her playpen, so she must not be, the apple must not fall far from the tree. Why, you used to do it as a kid? She's eating that netting on her playpen. <laughs> yeah. Did you used to do it as a kid? Yeah. I, I thought so. <laughs> All right, so parlay's still intact. My bet's still intact. We're still good to go. Did you know that Bobby Green, Jess, has the same sponsors we have? No way. Is this Sheath really? in my boogie. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's the out of that? That's pretty And that funny. email, maybe we'll get Bobby Green on the show. Uh, But we'll see. We'll see. Bobby Green's got the same sponsors. We should have uh, told Anthony to throw out in the email. Could you give us a tele-tape here? Sure. Five foot ten, Brahimaj. Five foot eleven, Gilmore. One seventy pounds, both seventy-two inch reach for both. Uh, and I don't have their ages on there. Right over here. Twenty-nine, Brahimaj. Thirty-four, Gilmore. I like the Brahimaj. I like the submission in this fight. His ear. His ear. I want to see how his ear is. Did they surgically put it back on his head? Let's see. Yeah, his is ear's this the good. Guy? Yeah, his ear. I was him. I his played ear. the reaction. His ear fell off. Bronx, well, it looks New like York. It reattached pretty well. Brahimaj Submissione in round number two. Who'd you pick? I picked, excuse me, uh, Brahimaj Submission round two. That's what I picked. You're tapped in as you, right? I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Are you tapped in as you? Yeah, let's see what Ellie picked. Ellie picked. Wow, everyone picks. Did everyone pick Submission round Gilmore two? Gilmore Decision. <laughs> Gilmore. Ellie oh. picked Gilmore by Decision. Woohoo. I'm going to write her picks down. On, I'm going to email these so that we can keep track of what she got right and wrong. You can tally the points, too, if you want. I don't know how to do that. So, look, look. On goat milk. See it th sucks. She's missing this first look, on topology. You can tally her points, just out of curiosity. So, a win here by decision, 75 points. See how it works? Look. Correct is 50 points. Hold on. You looking? Yeah. Correct is 50 points. Decision is 25 extra. Perfect, 50 points. Extra on top? 15. Yes. Okay. It's easy. Super simple. Okay, so let me see here. So if you get it correct, no matter what the, you know, submission, knockout, whatever. Right. You're, you're, you guarantee 50 points. If you get a decision, now you got 75 so, points. <laughs> she got Hernandez decision, right? Yeah. So that one is... 75 points. 75 points for a decision? Yeah. Because it's, it's correct plus 25 points. You know oh, I see what you're saying. So That's right how now, she has 75 points. Yeah. It would be hilarious if, if Ellie won. The okay, youngest. let's see. Gilmore decision for Ellie. I just got 400 degrees in here. Oh, I got it. I got you. What is it on? Um, Probably 76. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's on 78. 78? I got it. It's summertime here now. Okay. Brahimaj. Did anyone else pick the opponent in Gilmore? Let us know. Pretty soon we'll make Ellie bet for us on my bookie. Ellie will be laying down bets. Let's see how she does tonight. Gilmore decision is a pr pretty risky bet, Ellie. I don't know. You might have went a little too far on that one. He's a plus 280. Oh, she's, she's arguing with me. She thinks Gilmore's the way to go. Okay, we'll see. Okay, ready to take this one? All right. Uh, round one has just begun. Brahimaj in the blue shorts, Gilmore in the black. Brahimaj hopping around the center here as Gilmore is looking to follow. Brahimaj threatens that kick upstairs to the head and misses. Calf kick attempt by Gilmore misses. This is a welterweight bout between the two. Nothing happening yet, guys. Just kind of... Brahimaj is trying to like play inside the range a little bit. Right overhand right attempt by Gilmore. Brahimaj going for the double A takedown and gets it. Gilmore, though, looking to stay up on his feet. No luck as Brahimaj holds onto those legs. Gilmore gives up the back. Brahimaj locking both legs in now, looking to go for a submission. Might be round one. 
Brahima is wrapping around the neck. You watching, Ellie? I hope you're watching. Your boy's getting choked out, El. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> she has, like, conversations with us now. Brahimaj looking to wrap around the neck here, but no luck as Gilmore is fighting the arms. Four minutes left of the first round. Brahimaj now kind of locking that arm in. I know you're rooting for him, right? Brahimaj still trying to get that, that choke locked in, but Gilmore doing a good job fighting the hands. Gilmore looking to tuck the chin in and push the arm under. Brahimaj tightening up. I Well, what'd you expect? You went with Gilmore. You can't be upset about it. Gilmore still tucking that chin. Now Brahimaj tightening up that choke. I'll take you in a sec, El. Give me one second here. <laughs> Gilmore Kayla. fighting the wrist. She's mad. She's upset. He's going to get choked out. Yeah, Brahimaj tightening up that, that choke still. Gilmore still looking to fight the wrists. They're on the ground now. And here we go. Gilmore slips out. Brahimaj now in full mount position. But Gilmore was... In Look at Ellie. Look, Gilmore made it out. Although he's still in a compromised position here. Brahimaj looking to take the back once again. I know. You better root for him hard because he's losing. Here we go. Brahimaj locks the arms around the neck. Going for a rear naked. And there's a tap. Oh, Ellie. Yeah, that wasn't a good pick. I'm sorry, babe. Easy one. Easy one. Yeah, Carnage! Lick the carnage, embrace the carnage, go on a date with carnage, vote for carnage, make babies with carnage, play jokes on carnage, masturbate with I'm carnage, sorry. ejaculate the carnage, propose to the carnage, try to cakes with the carnage, celebrate the carnage. I guess I should have gone round she's, one. Look, she's moping. You moping? I should I should have went round one. If everyone could do us a favor, we put a tweet out at the MMA holes. If you could do us a solid after you smash the like button. Go over to Twitter at the MMA Holes and give us a retweet. Tweet it out. UFC Vegas 49. Let's go. Give that a retweet over there and uh, we'd really appreciate it. At the MMA Holes. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. All right. I got to do one more. One more ting. All right, so I'm going to play a word from our sponsors real quick. Or, um, are you okay? Or do you want to hang? Or do you want Oh, no, not with the baby in my arms. Are you crazy? What if she throws a fit? What are you talking about? Do you want me to go to commercial, Mason? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. go to, if you got to do something. All right, I'm going to go to commercial real quick. Ellie's going to sing us a song. And we will be back for fight number three. Is it, how fast is, is this car going to be? How quick is this car going to go? We'll see you in a couple of secs. Sexy sex. Let's be honest, when it comes to underwear, there's nothing more important than comfort. Why empty your pockets for generic underwear that loses comfort, quality, and style when you can slip into a pair of sheath and get even more out of your daily wear? With sheath underwear, you can treat your jewels like royalty as they are given their own private sanctum, 
keeping them secure and you in a state of bliss. Get 20% off Sheath now using promo code MMAHOLES. That's M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S with the link in the description below. And for the ladies? Absolutely! Sheath isn't just for men. Ladies can now experience Sheath's style, comfort, and functionality too. Sheath for Women is crafted using a signature modal elastine fabric blend for form-fitting breathability that will not affect the natural pH environment or the microclimate of the skin while producing that long-lasting, unimpeded comfort. Use promo code MMAHOLES, M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S for 20% off at sheathunderwear.com. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, know what I'm about, have your fucking cloud. It be raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now. Fuck with me, a slow burn like a disease. Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things that you couldn't believe. Just tell me that I can. 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 Smash the like. Smash the like. Get ready for the next fight. Makachev, Bobby Green, me, Bobby Green. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, here we go, peeps. Here we go. Let's let's roll into this beautiful fight reaction with the baby. Ba. How you doing? Wow, those teeth. All right, here we go. So, is there anything that you guys recommend betting on? I'll show you who we bet on tonight on my bookie. We went with Terrence McKinney. This is the parlay that we did, actually. We did McKinney. We did Joel Alvarez, two underdogs. And then we went with Islam Makhachev. That is our parlay. We just threw 20 bucks to make like 100 and change. We did a straight up bet before that. And that was Joel Alvarez, which I really liked. Really enjoyed that. <laughs> I, I apologize. I really enjoyed the uh, Joel Alvarez uh, pick because I feel like it's guaranteed moolah in me pocket. As Joel Alvarez is 19-2-0, a slight underdog. If you want to try to go on and under, this is one that really stands out here. He is six foot three against a five foot seven human being. Now, I know uh, Sarukian is a tough SOB, but I like this. I like the Alvarez pick. So this is the one that really stands out as an underdog. So go, good luck, everybody. Uh, Van Yang has 500 to Armin. Uh, Arm? Van, I am sorry in advance. I am sorry in advance, buddy. But I wish you the best of luck in your other bets. I apologize. 
that you made that mistake. It's okay, though. We all make mistakes in life. Uh, Goddamn, my internet is AIDS today. It's got HIV. All dog bets were better last week, except for Bobby, if you want to take risky stabs at that. Well, McKinney's not a bad one. Not a terrible. Not a terrible one. Actually, I feel like this week is better than last. Although Jim Miller... That was a... I mean, I don't even know why that guy was an underdog. I have no idea. That one... That one stands out. So we capitalize on that. Green gonna get humped Habib style. Do you think it's going to the decision? Here, let's... uh, Let's see. Let's put the poll in. Let's put the poly poll in. Okay. Mahachev... Or man coming in on short notice, Bobby Green. I want to see how these percentages roll out. I pretty much have an idea of how this is going to go. But give me your honest opinion. Not who you want to win. Who do you think wins? Okay? I understand there are people going for a certain fighter. But uh, I want to know who you think is going to win. All right, here we go. Poll is in. Poll is, is set and ready to go. You guys have a Taliban Wi-Fi. Green going to stop the hype train. What? Whoa. I tell you what, man. If you think Bobby's going to win, I mean, throw that money. He's a massive underdog. You might as well throw some cash on him, right, for the hell of it. Habib's wife uh, light up like an Xmas tree tonight. You do fucking Newton. You rap piss of... Piss of shit. I know about you as well, Ali Abdelaziz. Green Reaper, Ganja, Ganja, Maple Kush. You know, I am pro marijuana. I think marijuana is a thing that should be legal everywhere. I just don't know about all these different strains. Like, there's like, there's so many different names for these strains. Like, it's, it's a lot of work. You gotta do a lot of research on your ganja. Whatever happened to the old days? Hey, it's a dime bag. Let's smoke it and have fun. Uh, Islam Smash. Every little step I take, Martinez. Hope Green wins, but doubt it. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. Yes, sir. Yes, bitch. Yes. Chris. Oh, God. Yes, bitch. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. You just got to try him, Moss. Yeah, I, I, I can't keep It's a lot of work, man, to, to know each strain. And that's, that's, you need like a degree in it. I want to see you smoke a joint. I did in college. I smoked a lot, actually. I did. I smoke CBD on air. But I haven't smoked a joint. Man, it's been a little minute. It's been a hot minute. I could show you the path. Chronic used to just be a chronic back in the day. Let me ask you this question because we have a lot of marijuana smokers in the chat as we wait for the next fight to get started. How much a month have you calculated? How much a month do you spend on marijuana? Have you ever calculated that? Like, I, like if anyone has like a vice, something that they love to do, whether it's alcohol, weed, food, whatever it is, prostitutes, how much a month do you spend? I want you to get out the calculators and see how much you spend a month. I'm actually curious. A truck payment. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, you could probably lease a car for the amount you spend on weed, right? 500, 30 bucks. I'm on drug right about now. How about that? 400 plus a month. So what's like, and be honest, I'm actually curious. I know if you're an actual cigarette smoker, it's pretty expensive. $600 to a thousand on alcohol. hundred a month, three ounces go in the lungs. A hundred a month. All right. So that's, that's a pretty decent price. Like 120. Two carts. I smoke two carts a month. Fuck, I cop like three ounces minimum a month. 320 lightweight. So a little all over the place. So what's the uh, average here that you would, if you're an avid uh, marijuana smoker? 37 bucks a month noobs. And I guess it depends on the, the quality, right? 120 is realistic. 120 is sober Carl. So, all right. So, we're between one and 200 bucks, right? I was spending almost 200 a month on cigarettes. Now, yeah, cigarettes is a whole nother animal. At least with marijuana, 
there are benefits like you you can like it's if you're anxious or you have other things going on it kind of chills you out so not everything some get you a little freaky right so about 100 200 a month so that's like a that's like leasing a hyundai you're not getting a mercedes with that so it's all right so it's not terrible 100 200 a month that's doable 1600 a pound in canada if you still smoke it you're Neanderthal vape and rosin dabs. Yeah, I mean, I don't even. I mean, I've done vape. I've I've done that with my cousin. I've done that. Um, it it is interesting though. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, try hard. What up, try hard? I want anyone to beat and figure out this Gabib Dagestanian type of fighting. It's similar to when Royce Gracie was dominating with BJJ. There's got to be a style that counteracts the wrestling. Well, what do you think, Moss? I mean, the only thing that's like wrestling kryptonite is placing a perfect uppercut or a knee into the fucking jaw, you know? Other than that, I don't think there's like a style that can really nullify that. I think what's going to have to happen is people are going to have to embrace the sambo and wrestling and incorporate it into their game, stopping takedowns, staying from off the fence. So I think people are just going to have to evolve and, and mix. They're going to have to incorporate that style in, into it or at least find a w better way to defend it. I think Sambo is something that is going to be dominating for many years. If you look at that style, it's a very aggressive, um, in-your-face, tough-to-defend style type thing and if you have the, the the body shape the structure the frame for it it's it's tough to to get away from it i mean if you're a great striker sure but i think it's gonna be around for a very long time and i'm i'm actually okay with it i'm actually okay with it because it's aggressive we plays nice with others eddie machete well said man fook the pills i'm with you on that stay away from pills so as the fight finishes very quickly, that leaves us with a lot of time to kill. So the next fight here is Alejandro Perez versus Jonathan Martinez. Turbo versus Dragon. I went Martinez by a decision. I'm going to go over to Goat Milk and see what happened here because it should be a little switch up. And whoop, still a big tie. Although a little separation here. So Jess on first page, look at that. She makes her picks and she winds up on the first page. Imagine she wins Goat Milk. That would be, that'd be fantastic. Sambo is going to be the base for most MMA fighters in the future. I mean, you would have to think it's 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 a no-brainer. If you, I feel like if you're a Sambo wrestler, you have a style that is just like like a guaranteed route to a title, you know. So if everyone starts doing it, it's not that case anymore. But I, I would imagine that that is a um, a good foundation for sure. More champions and top tier fighters started as BJJ. Sambo is great and all, but uh, let's not say it's the top style used. Listen, BJJ, there's you still can't discredit it. But if I had a choice, if I if if I looked at a a fight card and I'm looking at guys BJJ versus Sambo, I'm going Sambo all day. Sambo is like like the intent is to hurt. You know what I'm saying? Whereas BJJ is more of a finesse. It's effective. Sambo just kind of muscles their way through positions. And I don't know. I would go Sambo all day. And it's not like a new fad if you think about it. It's been around for a minute now. So it's not like this brand new thing. It's 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 held its longevity. And it's only getting more dominating. So And then you have to take into consideration, like uh, JL says in the chat, Dagestan's pump out badass fighters. It's in their blood. You know, these, these guys are raised wrestling bears and shit like there's a it's a whole different life i think i think it's the style plus the upbringing is what makes it's not just like hey i know sambo now i'm gonna be a champion i also think you got to go inside here the heart and i think when you're looking at those dagestani guys russian guys whatever the blend is is the domination you know there's just a whole nother level it's not like BJJ guys are growing up. Like, I'm sure they're growing up in Brazil. There's probably some rough areas over there, sure. 
But I don't think they're growing up like like in mountains like fucking wrestling animals. Just my opinion. But let me know in the chat what you guys think. It's an interesting conversation. There's a reason why these guys are all running around with the neck beards. I mean, it's like a I don't know. I know it's their religion and everything like that, but it's but these guys are ready for war. Them weed smokers are mostly wa uh, wasters dependent on substance to get through life. Fucking wimps. Whoa. I tell you what, when I smoked, I was a loser. I'm not going to lie. A bigger loser than I am right now. Like when I smoked, I was lazy. Very lazy. I was very unproductive. So probably my most degenerate part of my life was when I was a smoker. Not That's not for everybody, though. There are some productive people that smoke. I was definitely not one of them, though. Uh, let's see. Okay, five six versus five eight. We got thirty two years old Perez, twenty seven Martinez, one forty four coming in under the championship weight, sixty seven inch reach for Perez, seventy inch reach for Martinez. Southpaw Perez, Orthodox. I mean Southpaw Martinez, Orthodox Perez. Okay, I went a decision here. I hope we get some carnage though. It's the person, not just the style. I think when it comes to the Russians though. I think it's both. I think it is the perfect blend for mixed martial arts. Basically, I mean, you see these guys, and you look at and you look at the evolution. Makachev's striking is pretty good. It's gonna be fun watching if if Bobby Green can keep it on the feet. I want to see what Makachev could land on the feet there. His his striking's not bad. Bobby Green's one of the better boxers out there. So to see Makachev versus Green actually stand up and, and trade hands. It's going to be fascinating. But you're going to see Makachev can throw. He can throw down. Like, Habib had that jab. He was getting a little bit better. Makachev is more of a complete athlete. So, we're we're seeing the evolution. Jason Herzog is the referee. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Herzog. Perez Martinez about to get started. Perez is game, man. He's looking fired up. But I picked Bruno Mars. I picked Bruno Martinez. Martinez bent over. Perez looks fired, man. He's like, dude, don't even want to stay in his corner. Here we go, round one. They touch gloves. Martinez versus Perez. So Perez circling, circling, circling here as Martinez is very slow and just kind of watching him. Skim around the outskirts of the cage. Martinez tries for the kick to the body or to the chest, I should say. Oh, a nice leg kick by Perez. Dropping Martinez quickly. Martinez gets back up. Okay, we'll see how this thing throws down as an inside leg kick by Martinez lands. So we're in the first round of three. Martinez versus Perez. Let's go, baby. Hit that Fugen like button. You think the beard gives them the power? Martinez trying to put the toes into the belly. There's a nice leg kick by Perez. Perez whipping in those leg kicks. Martinez looking for the head kick. Grazing off the forehead. So round one of this 145-pound extravaganza. Martinez-Perez. And Perez is doing a lot of circling. A lot of respect by both of these guys. Martinez stays in the center. And there's another leg kick. That one was checked by Martinez. My daughter Rosa, 30, is three months pregnant with twins. I'm going to be a granddad. Henry Holes. Holes, please tell Jesse Moss I am over the fucking moon. Henry Downs, congratulations, my friend. Granddad. Wow. And congratulations to your daughter. That's awesome. That's really cool, man. A granddaughter. It's weird, right? That's got to be such a weird feeling. Ain't no way 31% 30, think his green is going to win. Yeah, right now the poll, 155 votes, 68% Makachev. I, I mean, it would be fun, man. If Bobby wins, that would be a lot of fun. That would definitely shake things up. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. People giving the congrats. That's awesome. 252. I just saw like the look on... Uh, you know, Jesse's parents' face, they were, like, really excited for Jesse when she when she announced that she was pregnant. My parents were a little shocked, but I think they were, I mean, of course, they, they love Ellie now. And But at first, probably like, are you sure? But, yeah, it's got to be an amazing feeling, you know? 
you have a kid, your kid has a kid. Like, that's, that's wild. There's a kick to the chest by Martinez and then a leg kick to follow. So right now, total strikes. That is, this is wrong. This is, there's no way that's correct. I don't know. Those fight stats are a little off. A smidge off there as Martinez landed a little bit more than that. Although there is not much action going on here. A lot of respect. 209 left in the first round. Herzog doing a lot more, more of the action, just trotting around the cage. Perez comes into the body. Martinez trying for that head kick. Nothing. Now 155 left in the first round. Perez comes in with the one two that does not land. Martinez steps back, back forward. And throws the jab out, then that doesn't land. Yeah, a lot of swinging missing. We'll see how this goes. What's up, everyone? Hope everyone doing wonderful, wonderful. How you doing, Leo? Mr. Blue Belt in the chat. Patty Cakes, leg kick by Martinez. We're watching a chess match over here between the two. As Perez coming back to the center. Oof, this is not good. Come on, boys. Give me something. There's a kick grazing on the belly of Martinez. Uh, Martinez throwing. To Perez's belly. Martinez comes into the belly again. Martinez comes in again. And then there's a leg kick. Perez charged in with the left hand following that leg kick. And doesn't quite land. So nothing is coming in. Like there's, I mean, Perez is throwing some heat and then punches. But nothing's correcting, uh, connecting to the point where you're like, ah. I saw a little damage on Martinez's face there on the uh, live stats. I'm waiting for that. There is not much action. 45 seconds left. A lot of swinging and missing by both guys. So incredible respect between the two. 40 seconds left. Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. Catching the leg. Martinez gets... Oh, almost gets tripped down as Perez grabs the leg of Martinez. And oh, that head kick landed. Martinez. Woo! That was a good one. Probably best strike of the round so far. Underhook by Martinez. And Perez just pushes right off. So 20 seconds left. Martinez getting a little more comfortable out there. And then comes in with another leg kick. Martinez trying to come in with that chopping knee. Flying in, but doesn't really land. And there's a connection. Oh, not a connection. Miss again by Perez. Oh, Perez didn't miss that time. Drops Martinez with a second left. And whoa. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, Perez? Welcome to the fight. With a second left, he cracks him with a right hook. I got to see that again. I was saying Martinez won that round, and then Perez with a beauty. Let's see. Can show that one again. Let's see. What do you hit him with? Whoa, boom. Whoa. Right on the cheekbone. The drop Martinez down, but there was only seconds left in the round. Does that give him... Woo! <laughs> oh, boy. Would that give Perez the round there? I mean... I thought he was losing until that. That might have. That definitely got Martinez's attention. What do you guys think? Did Perez just win that round? Martinez seems fine, but he got caught right over here with a flush shot. Took a ride. Perez, when he's connect, if he connects with them punches, I mean, he's throwing a lot in them. Who won that round? What do you think, guys? Who would you give round one as Perez threw that zinger? I still kind of want to give Martinez that round. I feel like he did more in the entirety of the round. There's a head kick, and Martinez did land that head kick earlier. But he did get dropped. Still think Martinez, Perez win that round. Martinez drops him this round, bro. So Perez coming forward here, 44-30 left, second round. Martinez trying for that head kick again and missing. Perez charges in with that right. Tajik Baby on Twitter says, Turbo 10-9, very close. So Turbo is Perez. I can see why they call him Turbo, man. The guy, is, he's like, you can tell he's got a lot of energy, this dude. Martinez with that kick to the body again. So Martinez with one mistake, and it almost cost him. But still plenty of time in this fight. Martinez trying to... And now we know why Martinez was a little hesitant in that first round. 
that respect. There's a reason for it. Kick to the body, Martinez. Perez looking to engage here. He's waving around that left hand. Another leg kick there by Martinez. So Martinez is hitting and leaving. He's not staying in there very long. Swinging, throwing, leaving. And there's Perez coming over the top and grazing on the hair. Martinez comes in with the head kick, slips, gets back up quickly. So Perez has that knockout punch waiting in that right hand. When he lets it go, you can feel the breeze from the punch. 3.15 left, and we're back playing patty cake here with the jab. So when something happens, I'll let you know, but more of the same from that first round. Respect. Both guys are just patting on the gloves, looking for a way to engage. Still more respect here. 2.55 left. There's a right hand by Perez. Then Martinez with the kick towards the body. Both strikes were blocked. Got an itchy, got an itchy neck, like dry skin. Uh, what's up, boys? How you doing, Big Grizz? How you doing? Nate Diaz, weed habit is the reason. Whoa, here we go. Perez throwing hands. Coming in with that right. There's an uppercut by Perez. Perez is throwing with some meaning with that right hand. Turbo. There's that right again by Perez. Landing on the side of the left arm of Martinez. Martinez slowly coming forward, trying to keep that pressure. But Perez backing him up every time he throws. Nate Diaz, weed habit is the reason uh, he don't fight often. You think he's just he loves the marijuana more than combat? You know what? Nate's made so much money that now it's like he can he has the luxury of waiting, I guess, and he also teaches. I'm sure and gets paid in the gym. Appearances he probably gets paid for as well. So Nate's gonna pick his next money maker. No rush for Nate, but it would like to see him get back out there. Can I give you a recap of the early fights, please? All right, I'll tell you what. When this one winds down, which is it's very lackluster. I mean, not much action going on here. Has a lot of swinging and missing again, Martinez. But after this fight, I'll we'll recap for you. Some interesting stuff did happen, though. 129 left. Perez with the 1-2. And that does not land. Oh, my God. So Martinez on paper has landed more strikes. He did have that drop at the end of the round that could have get, given it to Perez. This one here, very close. Just not a good fight to watch. Gonna be honest with you, it's, it's pretty bad. Uh, Nick is looking like he was working on a fishing boat. No, yeah, he's got that big beard. Ew, marijuana. <laughs> Ew. 100 bucks on uh, green ski would win you a hundred, uh, $700. That's pretty nice. Let me look at my Rangers. Oh, the Rangers are down one zip in the third period. No good. No good. I don't like that. Come on, Rangers. Anyway, 42 seconds left and a leg kick coming in by Martinez. So as we wait for some carnage here, um, not much action here in the second round. You can see the live stats going on here. There's a kick swiped away by Martinez again by Perez coming in. But um, either blocking or missing. Oh, that head kick came in by Martinez. Martinez came in quick with the toes. Whip it on the side of the face. And then a jab by Martinez. Jab by Perez. Jab Martinez. Now we got 13 seconds left. There's the jab again. Martinez. There's a right hand by Perez. There's the uppercut by Perez. And a left hand. Oh, Perez with the combinations. Letting it go at the end of the round. Perez charging in. Going like a lunatic on Martinez. Martinez eating it all. Oh, boy. Another round. Where I thought Martinez might have been winning, and then Perez is like, oh, we got a couple seconds left. Let's go, Turbo. Considering that was the most action of the round, I got to give that to Perez. I have to. I'm going to go 1-1. One -one. I'm going to say the drop at the end of the first round doesn't do it. I'm going to say Martinez 1, Perez 2. It looks like the baby's going to sleep, so we'll have some Jesse coming in here. Uh, is this the third fight on the card? Yeah, this is, uh, hold on. This is third or fourth? Hold on a second. Third. Third fight on the card. Anyway, as I get your uh, opinions on who won what round, I'm going to show you really quick. As we are two fights in, Brahimaj made quick work over Gilmore. Gilmore had no shot in that fight. Then we had a split decision over here, a very competitive fight between the two, as Hernandez Gets the job done. I think it could have went either way, but they got it right. Hernandez gets the win. Gets the win. Brahimaj makes it not even a question with the rear naked choke. And here we are, Perez Martinez. 
one one two zip Martinez. Yeah, one one Martinez two to zip Martinez two zip, huh? I don't know, man. In a round where not much was happening, that last flurry by Perez was I, that gave that round to me. Ooh, here we go. Martinez steps into it, and Perez eats. Oh, they're swinging. Okay, all right, here we go. Four, four, five. Third round. Perez comes in. They're going reckless here. Now Martinez is looking for a counter. What is that bump on the back of Martinez's neck? Martinez ducks under a right hand, and Perez comes in with a back fist, not even a spinning one, just pa pa, Jared Cannonier style. Perez comes in, and Martinez is looking to counter here. As Perez comes in violently, Martinez is looking to sit on a punch and try to drop Perez. So Martinez as a, as a two seems like a little bit more intelligent with the striking. Perez coming out a little more aggressive here. There was a, a right coming in, and his chin was out for the taking. Luckily, Perez got back. Perez charges in again, looking to make this a more interesting scra scrap here in the third. Perez bouncing around here, coming forward. Right hand cocked back. Martinez looking for the counter. But we have a stalemate again. There's a right hand by Martinez landing. Martinez threatening to throw the kick to the body. Does not pull the trigger. There's a nice 1-2 by Perez. Actually a 2-1. Oh, they collide with punches. Both boys landing there and separate. 3-3-5 three, three, left. In the final round, there's that counter right hand by Martinez. Martinez was looking for that, man. Like, you can tell the way Perez was throwing, Martinez knew that he could zing him on the way in, and he caught him. So now Perez a little more cautious on the way in. Perez comes forward with that right hand. He's leaning with the right, and that chin is out there. And I think Martinez has noticed that. He's trying to count, capitalize with a counter. Nice leg kick there by Perez. Martinez looked like he wanted to check it, but that stunned him right on the shin. Oh, there's that left hand by Martinez as Perez was... Head dangling again. So it's that counter. Martinez is trying to take advantage of a more aggressive Perez in this round. There's the right hand by Perez landing. Oh, there. Nice head movement by Perez. Missing the punches of Martinez. Interesting third round. Martinez coming forward. And Perez is circling slowly. Now Perez charges in. Nice right hand. Let's see how this thing winds down here. So we have 2 2 5 left in the third. Perez looking for a way to engage. He's swiping the hands away, throws a right, or a right hand in. Martinez retaliates with a right of his own. 2 15 left in the third. Jab by Perez. Head kick blocked. Perez swipes it away. Makachev versus Green, baby. We got the pole in the chat. Get your votes in. There's a nice right straight into the face by Martinez. And a counter left hand as Martinez avoids a spinning back fist and counters nicely. There's another spinning back fist that misses by Perez. Martinez just steps away. 150 left. If this is a, a split fight and we're in the third round here, I think Martinez is winning this round. But who knows how they scored those first two. Ooh, nice left hand by Martinez and a right. And Martinez is countering perfectly here. As Perez goes, let's go. Martinez taking advantage some more on those counter strikes. Perez charges in there with that right. Pushed away by Martinez. Perez shoots him for a takedown. And he looks to time it pretty good. But Martinez just jumps over the back and stays on the feet. So Martinez let, lets the left go in. Martinez looks a lot better in this round. As Perez showing that aggression, I would imagine that this was probably the game plan. Perez is going to be very crazy in the first couple of rounds, and that's not what he got. Perez was more reserved in the first two. But in his third round, Perez a lot more active, and Martinez has been able to take advantage of mishaps. Kick to the body by Perez. Another kick by Perez to the chest. 45 seconds left. Martinez zinging a right hand, misses with the left. You also buttholes for ignoring me. I'm sorry. What did you say, buddy? Repeat yourself. <sighs> Repeat it. We're just watching some fights here. Perez misses wildly with the right hand. 25 seconds left in the third and final round. Okay. Action slows down. But I would have a feeling that once the 10 second t -t -t hits, Perez is going to go nuts again. Perez does land that right hand. Martinez looking for the counter. There's the le leg to the face by Martinez. 
Perez comes in with left. Oh, counter left hand. Oh, the head kick Martinez. That's two in a row. Martinez looking crisp here. Kick to the body with seconds left. A kick to the body comes in by Perez. They have a very <laughs> odd embrace as it looks like they wanted to keep fighting, but they were hugging each other and fighting at the same time. It's like, I'm supposed to be punching you. No, I love you. Weird encounter. Um, I would say Martinez got the win. Definitely won that third round. It just comes down to those first two. Those first two, you can go either way. I'm going to say Martinez with the 29-28. see what the chat says. 2-1 Martinez. What time is Makachev fight? He will be fighting on the main card. You got some time, bud. You got, you got a couple hours, so hit the like button. Come back in a little while if you don't want to hang around. Thank you, Hamza, for the subscribe. Shout out to Hamza in the chat. So, Martinez, er, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. The knitter saying, hello, Leo. Martinez got it. Do ants dream? You know, I wonder. Well, you know, like, dogs dream, right? Because they kind of, like, flinch in their sleep. You know they're dreaming about something. But ants, I don't know. Do bugs dream? I tell you what, the bugs are so big here, they got to dream. That spider that we caught the other day definitely dreams. Let's see what the judges say. I, I would say Martinez got it. That third was pretty convincing, but... We shall see if the if they agree with me. It's unanimous. 229-28, Martinez. Let's go. I hit it on the head, baby. Wonderful, wonderful. I hit it on the head, baby. Martinez by a decision, but he was a pretty big favorite, so this is not going to separate on goat milk. On the button, baby. On the button with the mystical. Noise. So one wrong. And two right. Not a bad start, but you got to be perfect. You got to be perfect on goat milk. As Charles Patrick is doing his work. Kid Quick and Clyde doing some work. Eric Axel and AM High Life. A raw dog. Carper There's just too many people tied here, so I, I can't get too excited. Too many people. Jesse's still on the first page. I see B-Man up in there. Very nice job. Good luck to everyone playing. Goat milk. Good luck. All right. Oh, God. Here come the nerves. The first fight in my parlay. Ooh, good. Here we go, baby. First fight in the parlay. Terrence McKinney. I got a knockout first round. He's a slight under in this fight against Ferez Ziam. By the way, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're both... I think they're both managed by the same... Oh, no, it's the other fight. Okay, I was thinking of someone else. But Terrence McKinney, he's got one UFC fight, destroyed Frivola, and everything else has been like a lot of carnage, but in other organizations here. Youngster. Actually, he's, he's actually older than for uh, ZM. But he, the Smile Killer, which is an interesting nickname, over here in the UFC, two wins, one loss out of his three appearances. So... Ferez Ziam from France. Two young studs looking to go at it here. Oh, boy. Mamma mia. Uh, let's see. Uh, hey, here's a fucking hit. A good one. Do they need shoes? Who gives a fuck? B. What's asking anyways? Two ants want to wear shoes. Who get? I don't know. What? Going to be a really good fight. This is Leo. Okay. You... S A. A big shout out to our top fook and dog, which is still starving Ethiopian. Will starving Ethiopian be the top fook and dog tonight? Hang with us and we'll find out. This is gonna be a good one. Light WNX banger. I think McKinney versus ZM go Fran Kais.
Uh, by a good fight, you mean competitive, or do you mean by knockout? I would say competitive. I would say competitive. Although I did pick a knockout in the first round, it's wishful thinking. But I think that this should be a competitive fight between the two. Two young guys, you know, trying to make a name for themselves. McKinney, he's got this chip on his shoulder. He's been a rock star with that one fight. One fight. He's all over the place. But Ziam is on a two-fight win streak in the UFC. He's only 24 years of age. He's bigger. He's longer. So I might have made a mistake here. I only threw the 20 on the parlay, but I'm excited to see if I can get it going here. The one I really want to hit is the Alvarez fight. That's the one that I am very pumped about. We'll see if that one plays out, but first we got to play the parlay. So very excited. Uh, I'm get, I'm asking why do they think it's going to be a good fight because of the knockout or because of the compa I read that already. D Savage smoked crack. USA versus France. Ice. Hell yeah. What's the outcome, guys? Let me know. 330 votes. 68% of the votes are saying Makachev. 61%. 68%, excuse me. Hmm. I wanted to put it up over here. Hold on a second. Sixty nine percent coming in. So get your votes in. Who's going to win? Thirty one percent of people have faith in the under, though. It's interesting. Let's put a graphic on this thing. Hold on. High transition. We're going to do a. Let's do a Luna wipe. We'll do a. Let's see what this looks like. No, I don't like that. Hold on. I'm going to put a graphic on this thing. No. Uh, let's see. Don't mind me. Let's see how this looks. Ready? Here we go. Show transition. Let's see what we're going to put there. What would you put there? We're going to put... Um, let's put this here. Wow. 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 We wow. Sometimes, you know, you got to entertain yourself. You know, sometimes you just got to have a little fun. Where I believe I deserve a title shot, Edwards. <sighs> yeah, when is he going to fight, man? Well, Kamaru Usman had um, that hand surgery, so it all comes down to that. 30% wishful. I would have changed my pick to Bobby, but I forgot. Really? You win some money, man. So, Zim... Uh, Zim is a big kid, man. McKinney's got his hands full. This kid is uh doing a slow walk towards the cage. Oh boy. I'm a little nervous about this fight. We'll see. Can McKinney get it done? ZM, he's a big dude. Okay, okay. Let's see who wins this thing as we go to the broadcast booth. Let's go. Do you think uh, Habib will st uh, still bathe with Islam? If he loses tonight, yeah, I think they will have um, an intimate bath experience. I think that's inevitable. Yo, what up, No Neck? How you doing, buddy? Holy shit, 30%. Come on, McKinney. ZM is a problem. He is. Five first-round finishes. Finished 9 of 12 wins. We'll see how the parlay one, one, plays one. out. Yo, Moss. I put my life savings on your parlay. If we lose, I'm sleeping in your front yard. <laughs> I wouldn't have done that. There's a reason why we only put 20 bucks on that shit. But don't worry, Alvarez will pay off. Alvarez will pay off. Could you imagine though the parlay works until the, the Makachev fight where you think, oh, it's a lock and Makachev loses? That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. Let's see, man. Let's see. McKinney, is, this is the one that makes me the most nervous. I'm nervous about Alvarez, too, but this one really, I mean, uh, we don't really have that much information on McKinney. So we're just going with a hunch here. And for, oh, my God, this kid, this kid ZM is, 
<laughs> He's huge. <laughs> oh, God. Here comes Terrence. He's doing the strut. Terrence got some power in the hands. He's also a pretty damn good wrestler, too. So we'll see how this thing goes. Terrence McKinney. <laughs> Terrence McKinney's tweeting. They, they showed a Terrence McKinney tweet right before he walked to the cage. My man's on his phone. Shouldn't he be fucking warming up, bro? Okay. Michael Kies is all pumped up. So, yeah, McKinney, he's a, he's a fun guy, man. Got a lot of heart. Oh, the guy from uh, Iridium is in his corner. Look at that. We reached out to him. Answer us, motherfucker. Uh, I got McKinney. Homeless hole alert. Lock your doors. <laughs> Fuck, he's still a 6'1 at lightweight. He's a big kid, right, Zium? He's a big kid. McKinney's 5'10". And he's got a 74-inch reach. 75-inch reach for Zium. The slight favorite. So here we go, boys. Did we make a blunder? Did T Rex blind us with blackness? A black man can't drink. Oh, stop it, John Jones. Jesus. I mean, John, what are we doing here? There's your tail of tape. 156 for McKinney. 155 for Zium. You see the 6 1 to 5 10. 75 inch reach. And they're saying on the UFC. Stats, 73.5, so another half-inch takeaway. Switch hitter is McKinney Orthodox Zium. Come on, McKinney. I got first-round knockout. Can I get the first-round knockout? Can I get it? Can I get another first-round knockout for McKinney? Can I get another first-round knockout? McKinney kind of looks like a fish. Looks like a fish versus a very young Ariel Hawani. A shredded young Ariel. You know what I'm saying? Who's going to win, the Guppy or Shredded Helwani? Who's going to win? Bruce doing the announcing. Guys, we are on a quest for 1,000 likes tonight. We need some help here. We need your help, the people. We're trying to hit the hammer on the 1,000. Bash it up, boys and girls. If you haven't hit the like button, do so right now. We need your help. Like Spike for celebrations. Terrence McKinney being announced. 11-3 and 0. Oh, oh Jess, you're just in time for our parlay. Parlet. Herb Dean. Herbie Dean is the ref. I'm freaking hungry, man. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Like it like a big juicy pizza? Yeah, pizza. Oh man, we actually agree on pizza. This is the first. My Harper, I've been hitting the. Uh, what? Uh, you, gonna, you gonna do the announcing? No. Okay. Here we go. Round one has begun. Oh boy, McKinney got tripped down quickly. McKinney rolling around the ground with Zm. Now McKinney showing that wrestling inside the guard of Zm. So it was McKinney looking like a spider. On the ground, just zipping around, right on top. ZM trying to throw up the legs. And this is actually a really good situation for McKinney. McKinney gets over the top, goes to half guard, easily passing the legs. t rec on side control. t rec having side control on ZM. Shredded Ariel, now French man to the mat. As McKinney puts a leg over for half guard, trying to control some more on the ground of ZM. Oh, man. As ZM gets McKinney down quickly, McKinney takes advantage and they even gave that a takedown for McKinney. I don't know why that was, but McKinney gains the control half guard from the top and is utilizing his wrestling here as he drills right hands to the body. Right hands hitting on the rib cage. McKinney getting higher and higher up on the longer guy as they are the same length on the ground. McKinney still holding the position. That half guard from the top rocks in a right hand. Plenty of time left in this first round. I'm pretty sure ZM did not want to be in this, this position. So the favorite, back to the mat. McKinney on top. We got a subscriber over here. Arabic English. What up, my friend? Arabic English vocabulary. 3-3-5. Three, three, first round. McKinney driving in the left hand to the right side of the face of Zium. Zium just trying to stay composed here. The 24-year-old just kind of chilling, making sure he's controlling his breath and looking to shoot the hips out to the side. McKinney keeps him down with some left hands. The 27-year-old now goes for the back. McKinney. Sitting on the lower back, trying to put a hook in. 
Has one in. Looking for two. Now loops around. Looks for a mount. McKinney showing that groundwork. And my God, mount Zium. Zium bucks out. Gives up the back. McKinney says, I'll take that. McKinney puts a hook in here. McKinney's wrestling is legit. Going for the neck. Going for the sub. Zium might go out here. As the neck is compromised, the chin is getting cranked. And he is staying patient. Zium is not fighting. Oh, there's the tap. There it is. T-Rex with the finish in the first round. The parlay is intact. Submissione. The kid is legit. Let's go with the carnage, boys. Come on. Carnage. Lick the oh, carnage. Smooth. Embrace the carnage. Go on a date with carnage. Vote oh. for carnage. Make babies with carnage. Play Wait. jokes on carnage. Masturbate with carnage. Ejaculate the carnage. Propose to the carnage. Enjoy pancakes with the carnage. Celebrate the carnage. I gotta make a new parlay song. P -p -p parlay, parlays and play. Parlay, parlays and play. It's the live parlay. Parlays and play. I got my parlay. It's still in play. It's alive. Parlays alive. Parlays alive. Parlays alive. Um, but I decision and she she picked KO TKO. How many points is that? Which you picked? She got the fighter right, but she got the way that he wins wrong. You have 50 points. If you're getting it right. Yeah, for getting it right. Um, Semi-perfect and another 15. But he won by decision. She picked KO TKO in the first. So she only gets 50 points. No, he won by a submission. Martinez. Oh, Martinez? All right, you're confusing me now. Here, here's, look, just right over here. I have it right over here. So, oh, I'm still in the tunnel. Um, the uh, prospect list, list, Jelton Almeida, Shavkat Rachmanov. There is a new addition to my list. And his name is Terrence McKinney. All I needed to do was see another fight a little extra. I mean, listen, we haven't seen much cage time. But we saw the man with his hands work well. And now we see in his ground game, dude's legit on the ground. T-Rex, you are now in my prospects of 2022 here. Let's go, baby. T-Rex, Terrence McKinney. I got to put this on. Um, I got to put a screen of this. You know what? Hold on. I got these... Atkins, isn't Atkins a diet, Moss? The Atkins diet? Isn't that like a whole thing? Uh oh. Whoa. Baby's upset. Here's our subscribers, 58,387 with the subscribers. As I, I'm gonna add a new scene here. I'm gonna put Mystic, Mystic. Hold on, give me a second. Prospects. Wow, Terrence McKinney, if you're just jumping in. Terrence McKinney, I'm gonna add a new scene over here, okay? What I'm gonna do, let's um, let's add some font. All right, it's gonna be a little fugazi now. I'm gonna fix it up as, okay, give me a sec. Here we go. Mystic, yeah, let's put UFC prospects. Now, when they lose, I take them right off my list. All right, so Mystic UFC Prospects. Okay. Let's put Terrence McKinney on this thing. Okay. Hold on a second. Give me a sec. Go put Terrence McKinney. Got to add him on over here. Okay, Terrence McKinney. All right. We're going to add to the list over here. Actually, we're good. let's do this. I want to change alignment. We're going to do center. Okay. I, I mean, he, he's got my, he's got my uh, vote. We're going to do, here we go. We're going to do Shavkat. Okay. Rachmanov. How do you spell this guy's name? R-A-K-H. K-H. M A 
N O V Rachmanov. Okay. And the next one is Jilton Almeida is the next one. Okay. We're going to keep an eyeball out for these guys. How do you spell this guy's name? Uh, J E A Jail Ton. Okay. Almeida. Okay. All right. This is going to be my Mystic UFC prospect list that I'm going to keep an eye on. I'm going to reference this thing. Okay. Now, here's the deal. I just started it for 2022. There's plenty of prospects out there, okay? But this is who's got my attention in 2022. Now, now of course, you could put Hamza Chemaev. You know, you could put all those guys out. Those are the those are the people. We've all been talking about them already, like craziness. I want to put guys. Now, Terrence McKinney's been talk, spoken about, but I think he deserves to be. I think he made a good breakout performance tonight. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw these guys in here, guys that we're not... Like that, I'm, I might forget down the road or whatever. Hamzat's already on the list. Royval is a guy I love already. And Royval lost in some big spots that I had to, you know. But these are the guys I'm going to look for here. Anytime we have a fight card, we'll see if we throw them on this list. We're, we're going to keep an eye if one of these guys could become a champion. And be wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. But what a performance, man. What? What a performance. Man, McKinney's good. Okay, we got this guy over here. Uh, Nunez versus Pasquale. <laughs> um, I went with the uh, Nunez for the win here. By the way, uh, my picks are they're, they're getting mystical again. I went three in a row. Um, so out of the four, I got three right. Three straight, and now we're looking to keep the, the win streak going. I tell you what, I am so fucking good with my picks. It's crazy. Nunez, knockout round three I went for. Who'd you pick in this fight? I went with Nunez, knockout round three. And Ellie went with Pasquale by decision. Mm -hmm. Patty Pimblett should be on that list. No, nah, because Patty, we've known about him for years. You know what I'm saying? He's been a prospect forever. This guy, he just got into the UFC. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to talk about guys that people aren't, like, really going crazy over. Pa Patty's already a rock star. People are talking about Patty versus Connor. Like, they're legit saying that should be Connor's return fight. And who'd you pick? I'm sorry. Pasquale? I have the same pick as you. Ellie picked Pasquale by decision. Okay, so how do you have Nunez winning? Same way. KO Knockout KO through the round? Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Knockout third round. Interesting. Look at my pick so far. Very interesting. Look at. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Oh, you got them all right so far. You should be still on first page then, right? Terrence McKinney is a good one. It's an underdog there. Here we go. Let's scroll through. We see Nick the Greek all by himself now. He has separated himself in the pack. Nick the Greek. Uh, we have Queen Moss up here on the first page. Look at that, Queen Moss. So shout out to the first pagers over here as we're going to have a very interesting night with limited fights, right? I mean, how many was it like 12 on this card? 11. So the very important. You got to get these fights right. Got to get them right. Okay. So you picked a guy too, right? I picked a what? What did you say? The you, guy? Yeah. Why are you calling him the, the guy? The guy. That's not very nice. What do you know? I'm asking. Will you pick the guy or the girl? Uh, <laughs> I picked. Uh, you know who she looks like? Is um. Oh shit! What's her? What's that guy's name? He's a UFC <laughs> fighter. Wait a second. You was like, oh, you know, it's fucked up. But then you're saying it looks like some guy. So who? Um, he's a UFC fighter. He looks like um. You know, who he looks like actually Adrian Yanez. Let me see. Range is still, oh, range is lost. Get this off my page. Get this out of here. The range is freaking lost. I can't win them all. How do you spell it? Adrian Yanez. Oh, shit. Right? A little bit? No. Come on, look at no, the face. Hold on a second. Right? 
Not even close. What are you talking about? You know, he, Look. she looks like um. Come on. Ah, oh, what this? What the fuck is his name? A little man? bit. Look, hold on. Let me let me do a side by side. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Moss, that looks nothing. That you know, who Adrian Giannis looks like looks like, like a this fucking guy. retarded Mario Lopez. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. A retarded Mario Lopez. Really nice, Jesse. <laughs> like really, that's what you're gonna say? <laughs> oh God. Hold on a second. I mean, come on. No? You don't see it? A little bit? A little Not bit? Not even close. What are you talking about? No, Wh she right. looks like... Um... So I need a side profile, you're saying, right? Oh, God, what is his name, man? If I can think of his name, then you'll be like, yes, that's who it looks what like. Now? Come on, Jess. No. She, she does not look like a, a retarded Mario Lopez. Not no? even close, no. Come on! No. Nah. Come on! <laughs> no? I don't know. I saw it. Who she look like, guys? Pat Barry? No, not Pat Barry. Um, ah, fucking shit. I like his name is on the tip of my tongue. He's a fighter. He's a UFC fighter. You feel real different about the word retarded. Had Ali come out with any issues? His time splitter. You who's, didn't even spell her name right, bro. Who's Ali? Come on. Who don't, Ali? don't be that don't be a snowflake. Don't be that guy. No, but who is Allie? I don't know. You tell me. We don't even know what the hell he's talking about. Allie. Who is Allie? Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? I don't even know what you're talking about. Alright, who you got in this fight? Nunez or Pascual? I think it's gonna be a good fight regardless. This chick, by the way, we're joking around about Nunez. Nunez is actually fun, man. She could she could scrap. Yeah. So I, I actually enjoy this uh, this lady's fight. 8-1-0 and oh for Nunez. She is game. Look at the record over here. The left hand, punches, punches. I mean, she's no joke. She's not coming in there for decisions. She's coming in there to take your freaking head off. And that's why I like this girl over here. That's why I picked this girl, Nunez, for the win. So I went with Nunez knockout in the third. I'm going to say it's going to go she's to Gibson. She's got the seps, though, Moss. She's got good seps. Five foot two. Five two. That's crazy. Versus 5'7". So there's a clear difference in height here. A lot of fights lopsided in the height, but I don't think it's going to play much of a problem, be much of a problem. We'll see. Although, you got you to gotta give credit to Pasquale, who is on a four-fight win streak of her own. So, no slouch in her statisticals. All right, boys and girls, we are looking for 1,000 likes. We need one thousand likes tonight on the mma holes live stream we hit that we play the goalie goal song so please hit the like button help us out here we're looking to hit the goals go crazy tonight what's the goal for the dragons let's see dragons 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 let's see let's see uh we hit five oh i didn't change this so let's make fifty eight thousand five hundred let's be ambitious 58,500, we will unleash our scaly friends. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so we can unleash dragons onto the community. Let's see what's going on in the chat. As the poll is still going here, 521 with the votes. Makachev, 72% over Bobby Green. 72%. Islam Makachev. <laughs> Let's hit the goals, goals, goals. Goalie goals. Dragging these nuts across your face. Someone stole her neck. Dude started crying over the retard. <laughs> yeah, words are very mean. Words, words, I mean, words. I get it. Maybe he has, like, maybe he knows someone or has a family member who's a little, you know, off. So, like, you know. I mean, whatever. You know, I, I totally respect, like, if that... If that bothers you because of that reason or whatever, I respect it. But don't, I don't know. Like, I'm not down with, like, telling other people what to do. Like, it's just not cool, man. We're not, we're not making fun of a demographic, right? We're saying it's a, it's like a slang that has, as people have been canceled for saying, you know, you're not supposed to say the R word, you know, it's, it's, you know, you're not supposed to say midget. You're not supposed to say all these things because someone might have a midget cousin or something like that. Right. But this is, these are terms, you know, if someone's short, people say, oh, he's a midget. It's not I feel fun like of like that kind of attitude is like 
the whole world has to accommodate to your situation. But if that were the case, then we would have to accommodate to everyone's situation. You know what I mean? I wish the whole world would accommodate to my situations, but I'm not over here fucking crying about it every two seconds. You know what I mean? So, like, I get it. Like, I respect if you have, you know, your own shit. I have zero respect. But don't try to make everyone else accommodate to your world because it's not your world. I have zero respect for anyone that, I mean, unless you have a pure soul and have never done or said anything wrong in your life, if you have done it at least one time, if you've done said, said or done something stupid once in your life, you should not cast stones like a fucking fool on the internet. You should scurry under a rock and let someone bash that rock over your head. That's what you should do, in my humble opinion. But I grew up in a different era. This, this, this time, it's a whole different ballgame. Very different ballgame. Uh, Nunez Pasquale. Okay, that's, that's what we're waiting for here. It's like calling people gay, too. You can't do that. Yeah, like, everyone wants... It's like you... Like, it's kind of narcissistic if you think about it. Like, you want everyone else to say and do things that accommodate to your personal opinions and feelings. Like, think about it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's ignorant. It's, it's pretty stupid, man. Like, you know, it's fine to have your feelings about it, but just keep, you know... Don't, like, drag everyone else along with it. Like, it's just, you know... And who is Ali? We still haven't found out who Ali is. All right, here we go. Yeah, but like, it's we live in a time that's a lot different. You know, sensitivity is a thing. There's a lot of emotional. It's a lot of emotional men now. What's that about? Yeah. Like you she put on funny? a TV show and there's a bunch of yeah. dudes crying. Like what the fuck's going on? He thinks like like every guy is gay now. Like and they're not. They're completely. What? What? No, there's times. I never that, like, said that. No, like if we're watching TV and and there's a guy that's like very clearly straight. But he's got a sensitive side to him, then he's gay. Like I never said that. Yes, no. that's how I, you've no, said that on. before. Hold yes, on. you have. Hold on. I have good gaydar. I could tell uh, if someone's gay. You think There's everyone's no doubt. gay? But if someone acts in a certain way, mm -hmm. right? I'll say what they're effeminate, but I don't say they're actually they suck dick. I don't say that. Like, hold, pump the brakes. You if think someone is actually gay. gay, I will say yeah, that person's gay. Like I will say that, but I don't go on TV, I watch TV, and say oh that person's gay, that person's gay. I don't say that. Mm -hmm. And she also defends people. Like if I see fake breasts, I'm like that. Those breasts are fake. No, they're not. I'm like what? Oh yeah. Well, she thinks everyone has natural. Breasts. I've never seen fake boobs, so I just assume everyone has normal boobs. Yeah, you, you have no idea. It takes one to know one. I am gay, so I know. <laughs> I know the gays. I could sniff a gay from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> I digress. See you in 40 years uh, doing the same shit. Is that the same guy that said the thing before? Will you be alive in 40 years? Probably won't be alive. <laughs> who says I digress? What are you, like a fucking scientist? Who says that? But I digress. Like, wait, wait what the f Who says digress? <laughs> who the fuck says... <laughs> what are you, a fucking... Ugh, so I digress. Who... Uh, no one says... No one says that. Bro, what... How... Time splitter, what are you? Are you from an another dimension? Digress? What the fuck? Do you have a pocket protector? Like, who says digress? I have a pocket protector, Moss. Did, have you ever said digress in your life? Um, I think I've said it once. The, when? Like, when Did I was in high school. Did you feel like an idiot after you said it? No, I think I didn't even know what it meant. I think I just said it because, like, I had <laughs> heard I someone say it. Yeah, and I was just like, well, that's an interesting word. What are you, word. Luke Thomas? <laughs> that's Luke Thomas uh, terminology right yeah. there. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, he's very clearly a Luke Thomas fan. There's no. I mean, I would never say it. Never. Digress. Come on. Yeah. You better digress that comment. Whatever the fuck digress means. What does digress? <laughs> it means I take it back or it's like uh, an obnoxious way of saying take it back. Let's see. A digress. <laughs> he meant undress. Digress definition. Uh, digress. Leave, leave the main subject temporarily in speech or writing. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I digress. <laughs> oh boy. Dude said digress. I'm I'm done. I'm done, man. I'm done. You did not say that. <laughs> what are you like 80 years old an 80 year old scientist no, or some shit? He probably is a Luke Thomas fan. Like he probably digress. is like sucking that <laughs> but I digress. stay salty cock over there. <laughs> Dude said digress. <laughs> Oh uh, no hate. It's just funny. That that's pretty funny, man. 
I have never said digress in my life. Be nice. Digress. That's what we're supposed to do over here. We're supposed to be nice, remember? Oh, God. Keith Peterson. <laughs> Cigarettes. Digress. <laughs> All right, let's leave him alone. Let's leave him alone. Uh, because you're an idiot. All right, Mr. Digress. Digress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud. <laughs> you, well, stop being such an idiot. Let's see how that works out in the real world. Run around saying digress. Digress. Don't be an idiot, Moss. <laughs> Follow mine. Come on. <laughs> Who does she look like? Uh, someone said Benavidez in the chat. I, I can you see know, that. It kind of came into my head a little bit, but yeah. then I was like, ah. I can see Joey B. I don't know. Yeah, a little Benavidez in there. Oh, man, she's going to kick some ass. So Nunez is walking out right now. But I digress. Digress. Jesse's ordering Will some food. Will you stop it? <laughs> My God. Like, have your fun, poke your fun, and then we move on. You're just, like, <laughs> sit, you're just, like lingering there and kicking the horse while he's down. I can't. I said digress. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. You, you can't make it up, man. Oh. Got a scientist in the chat. You think she looks like Frank Mir? Did someone say? <laughs> uh, the word of the day. Yeah, we should do like Pee Wee's Playhouse, where anyone says like the word and everyone just goes, ah, like it was crazy. Digress could be that word. She has very broad shoulders. It looks like they fucking stuck a clo like a, a coat hanger in her. Her skin, like they surgically implanted a coat hanger and she's just walking around like this now. But I digress. Let's get back to the Stop thoughts. it. That's annoying now. I'm starting to get annoyed. <laughs> All right. Who's winning this? Nunez Pasquale. Let me know in the chat who you got. Oh, she's going to she's gonna do damage, man. <clears throat> Five foot two, fiery, feisty one. Yeah, everyone knows what that word is. Everyone knows what it means. It's just no one uses it in their language. You know, that's the problem. No, if you use that in a language, I mean. 28 Nunez, 33 Pasquale, 502 Nunez, 557 Pasquale, 145 and a half pounds Nunez, 146 pounds Pasquale, 66 inch reach for Pasquale with a one inch reach advantage at 67 inches for Josiane Nunez. Okay. Okay. Brucey with the black on black. Love it, man. Looking, always looking correct and proper. Okay. Pasquale. Let me pull this up here. Here we go. Here we go. You want to talk about narcissism, yet you assume that because you don't hear other people in your circle use digress, you feel, you still hung up on that? Oh, he retracted it. <laughs> no, it's just, well, enough already. It's annoying now. Like, I'm annoyed. My man, my man tried to retract. He's like, digress. Immediately digress. <laughs> Dude, you're killing me, bro. Oh my god. Just enjoy the fucking show. No, but he's, he's cracking price. me up, man. Whatever I'm enjoying it. Let me enjoy this. No, I'm talking to him. Like, just, like, oh. like what are you doing, no, bro? No, no, don't take, don't take the fun just away from me. enjoy yourself, man. Like, he, stay, time crazy. splitter, please stay. Keep talking the way you're talking. This is the best thing that happened all day. All right, here we go. All right. Pasquale in the yellow, sh I'm sorry, Nunez in the yellow shorts. Pasquale in the black. Oh, the god. clock starts, they meet in the center. So funny. <laughs> Nunez looking to start off the round a little bit fiery as Pasquale comes in with the calf kick. Man, Pasquale looks huge. Kick upstairs coming in by Pasquale, blocks off a left by Nunez. It's got to be tough, right? Fighting someone that much smaller, compact. He said she looks very scared. Or scary. What did Bisping say? I can't I'm not hear. even listening. Calf kick coming in by 
Pasquale, and now Pasquale turns it up with a combination of shots to the Here head of Nunez. Nunez eaten every single one. Comes in with a couple counters. Kick inside the leg coming in by Pasquale. So far, starting off pretty good. Calf kick coming in by Nunez. Pasquale returns a kick of her own. Nunez comes in with a one-two. Pasquale with a knee to the head. Comes in with a right and then another knee. Left's coming in by Nunez. Pasquale opens up her arms. Kind of lets her guard, guard down on the outside as Nunez looks to follow in. Nunez with a straight right landing on the mush of Pasquale. They meet back in the center. Pasquale comes in with a one-two. Blocked off by the fist of Nunez. Three minutes and 50 seconds left of the first round. Kick to the ribs coming in by Pasquale. And then an overhand left by Nunez. Nunez coming in with another left as she kind of taps the gloves of Pasquale. Pasquale circling the center. Kick inside the leg by Nunez. Nunez comes in with a one-two and misses. Looking to play inside the pocket is Nunez, but Pasquale Ooh. dives in with that, that elbow, slicing in on the temple of Nunez. Nunez eats a couple more shots and a knee to the ribs by Pasquale oh. and then comes in with a left of her own, landing on the nose of Pasquale. Pasquale eats the shot, moves back a little bit as Nunez comes in with a one-two. Kick to the, the thigh coming in by Nunez. Pasquale turn, trying to turn it up with some counters as Nunez... Leads in with a combination. Nunez looks like, I mean, Pasquale looks like she's like just trying to have fun with her out there, smiling and laughing, saying her strikes don't phase her. But bitch looks like a lunch lady out there. Three minutes left of the first round, and Nunez following Pasquale to the outside. Pasquale showing a little damage there on the under the left eye and on the nose. Nunez with a straight right and then comes in with the overhand left and misses. Kick inside the leg by Nunez. Nunez trying to charge forward with the combination. Now as Pasquale circles the perimeter. Halfway through the first round here. Still standing inside the center. Oh, a left by Nunez. Drops Pasquale. Nunez coming in. Looking to capitalize, but Pasquale stands right back up. Whoa. Nunez clipped her good, but now Pasquale coming in with that right, landing on the chin of Nunez. Circling Man. around the center here with two minutes and 25 seconds left on the clock. Now Pasquale turning it up with a knee to the body. Another knee by Pasquale. Whoa. Pasquale loses her footing and slips. Nunez looks to capitalize, but Pasquale pushes her back to the cage. Now Nunez turns it around. Oh, shit, the baby's awake. Hold on. This is a good, this is a fiery round, man. Yo, Pasquale is just like. We got a baby that woke up. We got a baby. I digress. Let's get back to the fights. <clears throat> so Pasquale is saying, let's go, man. She's she's right up in Nunez's face, and Nunez is all hunched up, ready for countering and going cray-cray, trying to go in with the leg kicks here as we had a fiery first couple of minutes here. It slowed down a little bit as Nunez creeps forward. Pasquale showing some damage on the face as Nunez comes in with a right, left, right, left. Here he comes, Nunez again, charging in with the, just a flurry of strikes. Backing Pasquale up, a left hand again by Nunez. Body shots, ripping in, hooks to the body. Pasquale shoots for a takedown, gets it. Lunch lady with the takedown. As she does so, with 125 left, Nunez has her inside the guard. Let's see if Pasquale can get something going here from the top. As Pasquale in control, in a position here where if she could loosen up those arms, she can let some damage fly. Nunez is looking to throw the legs up high. Pasquale keeps her at bay. They're clam to clam with right hand to the side of the head. Pasquale lands it. Elbows from the bottom by Nunez. Nunez keeping her nice and tight. There's a little hair tie that popped out of someone's head. I, I'm assuming that's Pasquale's. As Nunez still has Pasquale on top, Pasquale hasn't let anything go. Pasquale looking to pass the legs over. Nunez pulls her into the guard. 43 seconds left, and oh, elbows from the bottom, slicing into the top of the head of Pasquale. Nunez trying to stay active from the bottom. More elbows from the bottom by Pasquale. I mean, Nunez. Nunez cracking with some left hands. Nunez staying very active from off the mat. Pasquale standing over a bent over her, looking to let some hands go. Passing the legs, Pasquale uses that big body on Nunez. All right, Pasquale now side control. Pasquale trying to suffocate Nunez. Nunez squirming from the bottom, and they are 69ing as Pasquale's face is buried in the beaver of Nunez. Nunez locks the legs up, and she's suffocating her with the clam. Nunez now gets on the knees, rolls over. Pasquale drapes over. Nunez back up to the feet, and the round is over. Excellent. Excellent first round. That was actually a lot of fun. I'm going to give Pasquale round one, even though Nunez took her to the ground. I think Pasquale did way more. I mean, uh, Nunez did way more. Excuse me on Pasquale. But let me know in the chat what you think, as uh, we have experienced some good stuff here. UFC Vegas 4-9.
Thank you for the likes over there. Appreciate that. We got Jesse back in the booth. But um, good stuff. The ladies turning up tonight. I'm living rent free in Time Splitter's head. I love it. Keep up the good work. Keep it coming. Don't give a fuck. Ooh, Jesse's ordering some food. You know what I want on it? What? What I always get. What I always used to get. Oh, okay. Yeah, just get that. Okay. No, not that. You bought that shop? No. Where are you getting it from? Well, what do you want? Pep. Pep. Hold on a second here. As we go into the second right, round. Let's get regular pepper on. Alrighty. Let's go round number two. And we picked up where we left off. Round two. Here we go. Ooh, a nice left hand straight into the face of Pasquale. Pasquale showing more of the damage here. As Nunez is a tough girl, man. Pasquale, credit, you know, she's still in this fight. It's not like it's completely lopsided. As Pasquale standing in there, but here comes the left hand by Nunez. Nunez is a tough. Oh, that left hand by Nunez. Crack it on Pasquale. Pasquale eats two of them. Three of them. Pasquale down. Nunez going for some carnage here as Pasquale gets back up to the feet. She is trying to weather a storm, and they are just rattling off her face. Pasquale trying to go for a takedown. Nunez puts the legs over and a mount. A mount by Nunez. Nunez dropping elbows from the top. The lunch lady in trouble as Pasquale eating him to the side of the head. Four minutes left in the second. Second round, and Nunez is opening up a can on the can. Sitting on the lower back, Pasquale on the knees, begging for mercy. Nunez wants the neck. <sighs> Nunez is fun. Nunez is fun. This girl, 5'2", fighting at 145-pound weight class. I am a, you know what? If Nunez could get the finish here. I'm putting her in the prospect situation. As Pasquale gets up and throws her off, I'm loving Jocian Nunez. Damn, I'm a fan. Nice left hand as they stand back up here. Jess, you want to take it back? All right. Pasquale inside the center. Nunez looking very alert here, respecting the power of Pasquale. Pasquale comes in with a spinning back fist, landing behind the ear of Nunez. Now Nunez trying to narrow in on Pasquale. Three minutes left of the second round. Pasquale trying to inch forward on Nunez. Ooh! It's like every time I call a fight, she wakes up. 49 significant strikes in favor of Nunez. 23 for Pasqu Pasquale. Pasquale now turning it up. I'm sorry, Nunez. With a combination on the head of Pasquale. Someone says this is the girl that fought Gabby Garcia. I know what you're talking about. That's hilarious. No, it's not, but that's funny. <laughs> Remember the... <laughs> Calf kick coming in by Pasquale as they meet back in the center. 1-2 by Nunez. Calf kick by Nunez, and then a left by Nunez. Nunez trying to slip between the hands now with a couple jabs, landing on the nose of Pasquale. Oh my god, her face is mutilated. Absolutely mutilated. A beautiful left coming in by Nunez, landing on the head of Pasquale. Two minutes and ten seconds on the clock. A right coming in by Nunez, Pasquale inching forward. Yeah, that eye's not looking good on Pasquale, but she gets the double leg takedown now, falling into half guard position. I take that back. Now inside the guard of Nunez. Nunez wrapping that arm around the back of the neck of Pasquale. Let's see if she gets something accomplished here. Nunez locks the legs around the waist as Pasquale lays inside the guard, eating an elbow from the bottom by Nunez. How can Nunez not hit 135? You know? What do you mean? Like, at 145, this weight class is pretty big for her, you know? She's got big shoulders. She's got big shoulders, Moss. You mean tell me Nunez can't, you know, cut a couple of, I don't know, something out of her diet? A minute 23 left of the second round as they lie here in the same position. She better stay on top or she's going to get knocked the fuck out. Here Beautiful elbows. elbows slicing it again by Nunez from the bottom. A minute and seven seconds left on the clock. A couple more elbows coming in. You imagine Nunez versus Nunez? It, it, Amanda Nunez's size would be too much, though, you know? That's why I think, like, if, if Nunez can get down to 135. More elbows slicing in by Nunez from the bottom. 
Pasquale's just trying to motorboat her here, it looks like. Motorboat what? You know, those little skeeter bites. <laughs> 29 seconds left. Now elbow slicing in by Pasquale from the top. Not really much work being done here. Left's coming in by Pasquale. Do you think Nunes is a lesbian? Um, She's got the line part in her hair. Maybe. I think she is, right? Yeah, maybe. She's probably a carpet muncher. What do you think? What do you say in the chat? You think she's lesbian or not? Not there's anything wrong. Just, you know. Just Five curious. seconds left. Still inside the same position. No movement, guys. And that's how we end the second round. Okay. Well, kind of ended. Well, that Pascal takedown, I mean, stopped Nunez, but didn't win her the round. Stopped Nunez from beating her up. Whew, that right eye is mangled right underneath. Big swelling. How you scoring this, boys and girls? How you, how you scoring this shite? Look at that eye. Oh, my God. That's yeah. disgusting. Did you see the guy's eye that fell out in PFL? Uh, no. What happened? You didn't see it? No. We put it on our um, <laughs> stories. Me and Bobby Green. Hold on a second. Look at that. Oh. His eyes coming out. Oh my god, what the fuck? Hey you guys <laughs> Is that not Whoa. crazy? I don't think I've ever seen that. That was in that PFL I don't know. I, I was hoping it was on ESPN plus or something, but it was on like some Whoa. streaming service. It's crazy, Did right? Did they ever say at afterward what like I don't know, but I hope you found the treasure. Whoa. He probably he's not gonna see out of that eye again. That's crazy, yeah, I mean, hope, man. That's crazy. It's nuts, right? All right, third round has just begun. Kick upstairs coming in by Pasquale, kind of blocked off by Nunez as Nunez charges forward with a one-two. I have the worst headache right now, Moss. Don't worry, food is gonna save the day. It's hot in here too. That doesn't help. Are you drinking? You yeah. Got some hydration. Left coming in by Nunez. There's that Ryan Frederick guy again. Who is that guy? Why does he keep popping up with his tweets? I don't know. I'm not looking at those tweets. Must be the son of someone important. A right coming in by Pasquale. It's starting to get boring, this fight, Moss. Sort of good. Not anymore. Damn, what the? Oh, okay. Three minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. Are you going to get the baby if she wakes up? If you'd like. Sixty-nine head strikes in favor of Nunez. Twelve in favor of Pasquale. A left coming in by Nunez. Yeah, it's slowed down significantly. I'm not putting on my prospect list anymore. And, and five two at one forty-five. You fighting the upper girls. You know, as tough as Nunez is here, um, I don't know. <laughs> I think Amanda Nunez would be a <laughs> pretty big problem. Three minutes and five seconds on the clock. New subscribers here. What up, Gary? Thank you, Gary, for the sub. Three minutes left, baby. Let's go. What did I pick? I picked a knockout this round. Third round knockout. Come on, Nunez. Give me the knockout. Give it to me. Come on, Nunez. Knock the Come on. Lock the sl knock the sloppy Joe out. Let's go. I need Nunez to catch her. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's got one eye for God's sakes. There we go. There left we go. Left coming Ooh. in by Nunez. Another left. Pascal brushes off another shot thrown by Nunez. A left and then a right and then a left again. Another left. Nunez really trying to turn it up on that face. Pascal's nodding like, okay. It's weird, even though Pascal's bigger. You know what it looks like? It looks like Pascal's trying to catch a chicken. You ever <laughs> see someone like trying to catch a little chicken? That's what it looks like because Pascal keeps on grabbing her and, and Nunez is so small. So it looks like he's just trying to get a little, little hen. Yeah. That's punching her back like if the chicken had hands. 
Minute and 55 seconds left on the clock. Pasquale with the right, Nunez with the overhand left. Right and then a left by Nunez. Left by Nunez. Not feeling it anymore? Moss's fight is a drag. What are you talking about? No, I don't like it anymore. Come on, Jess. Give it to us. Give it to us strong. Literally nothing happening. Oh, here we go. Superman punch coming in by Pasquale. Minute and 23 seconds left of the third and final round. All right, so Nunez does not hit my prospect uh, list. Neither but of these girls. Here we go. Pasquale tries to go for a Come takedown. Knock her Nunez out. then picks oh, her go. up, charges forward with a combination of oh. shots to the head, to the body. Kick to the body coming in by Pasquale. Nunez finished that combination with that kick to the body. It was a beauty, man. Just took the life out of her. Here comes lunch, lady. Don't let that dude ruin your night, my girl. What dude? This dude? Huh? This dude never ruins my night. Nah, I don't think. I don't think uh, he's talking about us. 36 seconds left on the clock. Oh, Standing boy. in the center, oh. both of them trade, and it looks like Pasquale got tagged. That left came in by Nunez, but Pasquale's that dopey face is still staying on the feet. Spinning Ooh. back fist by Pasquale lands on the temple of Nunez. Oh, here we go. Nice takedown coming in by Pasquale with 10 seconds left on the clock. Come on, Kimura. Yeah, it looks like Nunez is going to go for the arm. Left's coming in by Pasquale. Get it. Ah, uh, not enough time. Okay. Well, Nunez got the win, but Pasquale is just tough, man. She hung in there. A lot of respect. So Nunez will get the dub, but not the finish that I was so... And that's another win. Another win mystically. I'm five in a row. Five in a row, yo. Who'd you pick in that fight? I picked um Nunez. Nice job. You're you haven't got one wrong. I got Nunez KOTK on the third. Ellie got Pasquale. Ah, uh, so Ellie's doing shitty. Ellie can't place any bets. So okay. You made her cry. Uh, she heard you say that. She's just she's not allowed to bet. She's too young. Ooh, Bahamundes is the next fight. Okay. Uh, what do we got in that chat? What do we got going on? How do on we here? get rid of a headache naturally without medication? Hydration is like the best. Doesn't work. Okay. You're drinking electrolytes and everything? It doesn't work. When was the last time you took a sip of anything? Like two seconds ago. Although it is really hot in here. We're well, going to have to deal with it. It's just because the door's shut. You have to wait till the baby wakes up. Oof. Let me go get her? No, she's still trying to put herself back to sleep. Okay, so we're going to go to the official decisions. I don't think it's going to be a question, though. No. It's going to be Nunez, unless there's some insane robbery. This kid, man. She's ready. Oh, she's ready to party. Thirty twenty six. Thirty twenty seven. Thirty twenty seven. Thirty twenty six. Nunez with the job. Complete. Not very competitive. So five foot two, one four five. Looking at, at her next to Bisping. My God. Bisping's got the hand on the shoulder. That's so wild, man. That's so wild. She's a tough girl though. I, I like watching her fight. I'll always be a fan watching her fight, but I can't put her on my mystic prospects. I can't I can't do it yet. As much as I, I enjoy her tremendously. Um she is on an eight fight win streak. I'm gonna have to pump the brakes. Maybe next fight. Listen to me, Jesse Bell. Uh get some ice cold water and put ice cubes in it. Get it freezing and dip your whole head in it. It will relieve it immediately. Alright, I'll tell her when she gets back. I do believe, yeah, I mean, she's been pumping so much Tylenol in her head. Like, she, she everything is, like, results into taking some sort of medication. I hate it, man. Uh, focusing on breathing and stay away from blue screen. There's blue screens. Ice on the back. And it doesn't help. We do have glaring lights. I also told her 
wear sunglasses while we're streaming because these lights can't help in any way. They can't. But Nunez gets the win. And it is very hot in here. Ugh. Okay. My balls is hot. My balls is hot. My balls is hot, boys. Whew. Okay. All right. So we're going to go into the next fight. There's someone, uh, Serkinov, which, I mean, what a letdown he's been. But uh, so far, we are rolling tonight. Hey, Ellie. The baby's here. The baby's here. <laughs> the baby's here. Um, oh shit, what was I going to say? Uh, let's go to Goat Milk. Let's see. Or Pick'em League. Nick the Greek in first with the 350. We refresh it. Nick the Greek still in first place. No. Boy, oh boy, I'm going to need something here. Because it's not going to move. It's not going to move if these picks keep going the same way. That one loss has screwed me. But so far, everyone's doing pretty good with the picks. It's a good night for all. We're going to get into the next fight very soon. Eighth fight on the card is the Joel Alvarez fight, which I have multiple action on that thing. It's a pivotal fight. But until then, we got two to get, the, uh, get there. We have a preliminary fight here. How many left on the prelims? All right, here we go. Final fight of the prelims is this right here. And then we roll into the main card. What's wrong, you? What's wrong? What's wrong, you little baby? What's wrong, little... What's wrong, little baby? All right, you want to play? All right, I'll play with her. Entertain the troops. I will be back. Let me know if I miss anything good. Okay, let's go. You and me, kid. Oh, you and me. You and me, kiddo. Let's go, teeth. All right. Okay. Someone said ginger. Ginger might oh, help. Someone said cold, too. So you're heading cold. You have a black mark on your head. You've had it. Oh, thanks for telling me now. <laughs> Where is it? I have a black mark on my Oh, I do. What the hell is that? What is that? It's weird. All right. I don't know why Moss House is so loud. All right. So we're getting ready. Yes, just I am the captain now. We're getting ready to start um, Baja Mondes versus Zhu Rong. I have, who do I have? I have Baja Mondes by decision. Ellie has Baja Mondes by KO TKO in the first round. All right, let me move over here. Uh, if Jay Nunes could drop her weight down to 35 to 25, she'd be a beast. Where's that cold mask you used to have? Would always help with your headaches. Uh, it's in the freeze. I don't like it though. Like it just, I feel like it burns my face, man. Like you ever feel like just straight up ice on your face? It's uh, it's um, it's painful. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit the whole show with sunglasses on. It's okay, it's all right. Sunglasses. Uh, uh, what's your ethnicity? Uh, I'm Caucasian on my dad's side, and my mom's Hispanic. My mic is... Oh, it is quiet. Oh, is that better? My mic was off. I how, I don't understand how my mic is always off. I don't get it. Uh, UK study done by Andrea Ferrari shows graphene oxide in the jab also, which may be causing inflammation due to the immune system not being able to flush it. Thank you for that. Uh, yes, Jesse, I have migraines. Dip your head in ice water. Helps a lot. I've heard of that. Like You're supposed to like do it every morning, right? You're supposed to dip your head in ice water and for as long as you can stand it or something like that um yeah i've heard of it and they also ha they say it helps with tachycardia too and i have tachycardia syndrome so i should start doing it it's just i don't know i i i, I just don't i guess but yeah i have heard of it um let's see smoke some weed says no space jujitsu i don't i can't smoke weed man i can't 
can't do it. I get paranoid. I already have issues. MMA holds in the house. What's up, Zocast Production? Stress relief tea says Funk Flexin'. I usually don't want the black ones to win, but I hope green wins. That's nice. That was actually nice of you. Uh, let's see. CBD might help? Maybe. You do a lot. Don't worry. We don't mind hearing Ellie screams. So, uh, well, it's not very professional. So, we'll, we'll, we're good with trading off and entertaining her. Besides, she doesn't want to be stuck in here, and we shouldn't have her in front of the lights for too long. So, um, probably not the best idea. <sighs> Jack off for headaches? Okay, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. All right, we're just waiting for this next fight to start. Is this the last fight in the preliminaries? Let me check. Let's see if it's the last fight in the prelims. We'll go back on goat milk over here. Make sure you guys join in on goat milk, the MMA holes.com and then click the tapology button on the first page. Um, and it looks like, yeah, this is the last fight of the prelims. And then we move into the main card. We've got one, two, three, four, five fights on the main card. Um, so yeah, this card's moving by pretty quick. If you ask me, holy guacamole. All right. Well, looks like the first fight is about to walk out right now. We've got Bahamondes. Ignacio Bahamondes. La Jaula. Jaula. Walking out to the cage right now from Santiago, Chile. Holding his hand up in the air. Did they give the tail of the tape yet? Let's see if we can do that real quick for you guys. Tail of the tape. All right. Uh, five foot nine is... Uh, wrong. Six foot three Bahamondes is six, 160 pounds wrong. 154 pounds Bahamondes. 71 inch reach for wrong. And a four and a half inch reach advantage of 75 and a half inches for Bahamondes. Who did you guys pick in the chat? Let me know. Just fried some eggs? Yum. JBM for headaches. Sliver of ginger works well for tension headaches from experience. Yeah, I think, I don't know if it's tension or, or if it's like, I don't know what is going on. But I have like chronic migraines. I get them every day. And I'm um, looking for more natural ways to, to remedy them because I've been taking, I've been on like this Tylenol and ibuprofen thing for like three weeks now. And I, it's not really good for your liver to be taking like a Tylenol and ibuprofen every day. So I got to figure something out. I got to fucking, I got to do something about this because it's driving me nuts. I can't even focus. Oh, why do athletes think or think God likes them more than everybody else? I don't think that's the case. I think they're just, you know, they want God on their side when they're, you know, putting themselves out there to get the shit kicked out of them. Um, Eddie Machete, this guy, he'll win, but he will do it the wrong way. Uh, Kendall Volker says you'll always, you'll get acetaminophen withdrawals eventually. Um, I, I don't know. I, like I, oh, here we go. Let's go, baby, B man. One, two, one. B-Man coming in. Ate an edible and that thing knocked me the food count. I'm back for the time uh, being. <laughs> WW to you, Holes. Uh, it's good to have you back, B Man. Good to have everyone give B Man a good round of applause. Uh, applause. Applause for surviving the, uh, surviving the edible. It's good to have you back, B Man. Jaden Sean, thank you for the subscribe, man. All right, moving over here. We're going to get our first round started. Make sure you guys match up your clocks with my clock. It's going to appear right over my head over here if you guys want to watch along with us. If you're just tuning in, if you're new to the MMA holes, make sure you subscribe. We're we're just having a good time, man. So it's a troll community. So if you um, you know, if you can't take it, probably not the best place for you. But I wish you all the best in that fuckery of a chat that we have. Uh, B man, a good THC nap always is nice. Air slap, bro. China trying to depopulate through pushing the gay agenda. Look at this guy. All right, here we go. Uh, looks like it's wrong coming in with a nice pink hairdo going on. Um, you have headaches because you have to take care of a little baby and a bigger baby. He's not a bigger baby. He's actually, he's awesome. He really is. He's, he's like the best. Oh, look, speak of the devil. It's like his ears are ringing. 
Yes. Oh, thank you. I'll do that. <laughs> B-Man is top dog. Moss, it's important that I, I give B-Man his top dog. I gotta pay attention to that. All right. B-Man is top dog. Here we go. Sorry, starving Ethiopian, but you've just been booted by B-Man. Here we go. Where's my, where's my, are these the top dog? There we go. Wonderful, wonderful. Alright, B-Man is a top dog. He he called for that. No, he's I always make jokes with him, like sometimes if he's if he acts like a little penis, I'm like, oh, it's like I have two babies. But in reality, he's like like I couldn't ask for a better person to have a child with. Like, he's the best. He really is. And he's super supportive. But I didn't tell you that. I didn't tell you guys that he has a supportive side. Uh Nah, we don't troll on real problems. Most women have migraines and men not as much. Yeah, it's hormonal too, I think. I think, like, because women, they have higher estrogen levels. And I think estrogen causes more chronic migraines. But some men can get chronic migraines too, though. So I don't think it's all hormonal. <laughs> lavender, marjoram, rosemary, and sage for headaches. I tried lavender last night. Lavender and chamomile did not do, it didn't do shit. I gotta be honest with you guys. All right. Here we go, the ring girl, sitting down, looking beautiful as ever. And we got pink hair wrong. His hair is looking wrong. Thank you, Heavy, that's nice of you. All right, here we go, getting ready to start the first round. Five minutes on the clock, and begin. Wrong in the white shorts, and Bahamondes in the black. Calf kick coming in by Bahamondes. Lightweight bout between the two. Bahamondes rocking the uh, mullet over here. Uh, four minutes, 38 seconds on the clock. Beautiful right coming in by Wrong, and then a left. A left coming in by Bahamondes, slipping between the hands, landing on the mush. Another jab coming in by Bahamondes. Four minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. Kick to the ribs coming in by Bahamondes, followed by a calf kick. Bahamondes circling the outside. Wrong looking to follow. 45 seconds into the first round already, and we're not really seeing much from Wrong. A left coming in by Bahamondes. Wrong needs another left. Kick to the body. Uh, wrong is going the wrong way. Yeah, Wrong's not looking good, man. Not looking good so far. I mean, he could just be, be patient and, um, you know, respect the power a little bit. Kind of feel out Bahamondes and then figure out where he wants to go from there. And a calf kick coming in by Bahamondes. Three minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. Left coming in by Bahamondes, landing on the chest, and then Ron comes in with the overhand right and misses. Bahamondes with another left, landing on the nose, and then a calf kick by Ron. A left coming in again by Bahamondes, switching stances now, looking to play inside the pocket. Ron eating every shot thrown to him. Three minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. Ron looking to pressure forward now and get some sort of advantage, but Bahamondes does not look very threatened. Comes in with that left, landing beautifully on the face of Ron. Calf kick coming in by Bahamondes, followed by a left. Ron with the overhand right. Three minutes and nine seconds on the clock. Nothing happening quite yet. Two minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, COVID started with a horrific headache for me. Yes, it did with me too. I had it for like, I had it the entire time. I had it for about 15 days. It was horrible. But ever since then, I mean, I've always had chronic headaches though, so... I would never know the difference. <laughs> Two minutes and 37 seconds. Bahamondes and Rong tapping the gloves. Kick inside the leg coming in by Bahamondes. Battle of the Faints. That's right, man. Uh, Bahamondes switching stances. Comes in with the left of the body. Rong steps back. Man, this is, this is brutal. Kick upstairs blocked off by Rong. Now Bahamondes comes in with a 1-2, landing on the face, and then a, a jab to the ribs. Pineapple and salami is where it's at. Moss did not like it. We actually had him try pineapple and ham on pizza, and he did not like it, man. I was shocked, because he usually, like, he'll try anything. And usually, he's pretty open-minded about things. I was shocked that he didn't like it. But I think it was the place we ordered from. I think next time we try that, we're going to have to do it from somewhere else and have him try it again. 
A left and then an overhand right coming in by Bahamondes. Another left coming in by Bahamondes. And then wrong with a beautiful counter left landing on the temple of Bahamondes. Ignacio. A minute and a half left of the first round over here. Uh, really would appreciate his commentary. These guys are talking shit. Dominic Reyes? Dominic Cruz? Is that who you're talking about? A uh, minute 15 left on the clock. It looks like Rong is going to go for a takedown now. Seeking out the single leg, but Bahamondes wraps around the neck of Rong. Now Bahamondes has Rong on the ground in half guard position. He's looking to tighten up around that neck, but no luck. Pushes down on the pink head of Rong. Slices in an elbow. Bahamondes really looking for a submission position here, but no luck as Rong is keeping himself up on his forearm. Kind of making it difficult for Bahamondes. Wrong lying a little flatter on his back as Bahamondes comes in in half guard. 38 seconds left on the clock. Uh, I love how Musasi said, fuck you, Monster, for never sponsoring him. I heard Monster was like, um, they've had, like, there's been a lot of shit with Monster Energy um, as a sponsor for fighters and shit like that. Like, I think Dominic Cruz even had some animosity going on there. Half butterfly guard coming in for Bahamondes as he sits over Rong and drops beautiful lefts and rights to the face of Rong. Rong eating every shot, trying to cover up the head. Bahamondes inching up and half guard on the other leg. Four seconds left on the clock and elbow slices in from the top. And that's how we end the first round. Alrighty. Moving on to the second. Let me know who you think won in the chat. I'm going to go with Bahamondes round one. One zip Bahamondes. Uh, I think I'm going to order pizza, but would rather find something more healthy. Monsters are gross. Uh, drink Bang or Rockstar. Uh, you shouldn't drink any energy drinks. On. I mean, like, I like energy drinks, but, like, um, I heard, like, they're not, like, best for you. If you want energy drinks, get, like, um, the more natural shit, like, like um, body armor and stuff like that. They have energy ones. But the carbonated, like, monster energy and stuff, that's it's not really good for you, man. Did Helen Yee start swimming yet? I don't know. Maker's your jam. Red wine. Uh, I like anything. I I like scotch neat. I like, um, yeah, I'll drink anything. But I have to be careful because I don't like drinking when the baby's awake. I'd rather wait until she's sleeping. So usually Moss is drinking by himself. <laughs> uh, I'd be down to be sponsored by Monster. I mean, I think anybody would. But I heard that there they, there's like a lot of issues too that, that come along with it. How's Ellie's tapology doing? Uh, I'll let you know in just a sec. We're getting ready to start the, uh, Second round here. All right, second round has just begun. Match up your clocks with mine. It's going to show up right over here. Here we go. Wrong now charging in with a combination of shots to the face of Bahamondes. Bahamondes eating multiple shots to the head, the temple, the body now. A beautiful left coming in by Wrong. He wasn't ready for that on the outside. Coming in with a 1 2. Wrong eats them and continues to play inside the pocket. The pink hair now doing him. A good job, I guess. Four minutes and 28 seconds on the clock. A left coming in by Bahamondes. Wrong feeling it out. Still moving forward. Eats another left by Bahamondes. I love red wine. Yeah, red wine's good. Do you like it sweet or dry, though? Like, that's that's the real question. Right and then a left coming in by uh, Bahamondes. Headshot fest. You're awesome, Adam. Three minutes and 58 seconds on the clock. A kick inside the leg coming in by Wrong. A left and then a right coming in by Wrong. Bahamondes backs up. Wrong looking to play inside that range a little bit more. Bahamondes circling the center. A wrong eats a left and then comes in with a left of his own. Keith Peterson is the referee for this fight. Bahamondes comes in with a right blocked off by the Hands of Wrong. That was actually pretty good defense by Wrong. 18 significant strikes in favor of Wrong. 52 in favor of Bahamondes. 3 minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. Wrong now pressuring forward with the kick inside the leg. Eats a right by Bahamondes and then tags him with a right of his own. Barbecue chicken bacon pizza is pretty wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Barbecue on pizza does, it just doesn't belong. A left coming in by Bahamondes. Three minutes left of the second round here. 
Two lefts and then a right, slipping in by Bahamondes, but only one of them lands. A right by Wrong as they play inside the center on the feet. A left in, from Bahamondes and then a right from Wrong. A right coming in from Bahamondes, slipping between the hands again. Very technical striker. Beautiful left and then a right again. Both of them eaten by Wrong. And then an oblique kick coming in by Bahamondes. Oh boy. Yes, my love. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, while this fight's going on, make sure <laughs> I fucking can't with this guy. Uh, Moss wants everyone to retweet our last tweet because he wants to be on TV. Yeah, so I'm going to drop it in the chat and then you guys go retweet it for me. While this fight's going on, I'll continue calling it. Don't worry. Um, a minute and 56 seconds on the clock. They stand in the center. Ron kind of lets his guard down a little bit. Bahamonde showing some damage over the right eye. Coming in with a couple jabs. A minute and 34 seconds left on the clock. Kick inside the leg coming in by Bahamondes. A minute and 22. Oh, beautiful jab by Bahamondes. That one whipped the head of Wrong back. Wrong head whips back again by the fist of Bahamondes. Make sure you guys go retweet. Um, <laughs> or else he's going to eat pizza with a fork. Oh, God. All right. 56 seconds left on the clock. Pretty good round going on. Um, a couple jabs coming in by Wrong. A left coming in by Bahamondes. Wrong pressuring forward now. Bahamondes back against the cage. Kick to the body coming in by Bahamondes with 30 seconds left on the clock. Wrong pressuring Bahamondes towards the outside. This fight is slowing down, man. Wrong just kind of brushes it off as, oh, Bahamondes eats a knee to the face. And then Wrong eats two lefts. But it still looks like for round two, oh, I missed the stats there. It looked like um, for round two, Bahamondes is still in favor. Looks like more shots have been thrown by Bahamondes. Still more landed. Ends with a kick to the body. For wrong and that's how we end the second round let me know what you guys have in chat i don't know i feel like baja mondays did all right for the second round if you ask me let me reset the clock over here make sure you guys go retweet uh this tweet over here uh so that moss can have his tweet seen on tv or else he's gonna eat pizza with a fork <laughs> we need to have moss's tweet on on tv that's that's very important. All right, let me know you guys have Bahamondes, Oyve, Bobby Green, Bobby Green, We Tweet, Shoot Me, Two Lefts, and Don't Make a Wrong. <laughs> Just another Bahamondes, Two Zip Baja, Wrong can close the distance. Oh, well, hello. What are you doing in there? <laughs> a baby in a basket. Hi, baby in a basket. Can I take you? You want her? Come, baby. My little baby in a basket. Alright, I'll bring it back downstairs. I just wanted to... Hello, everyone. It's a baby in a basket. <laughs> She's so cute. Just be careful she doesn't try to climb out while you're carrying her. Alright, oh, I missed the beginning. That was so cute. <laughs> That's a baby in a basket. Alright, let me start at the clock over here. I'm going to start it at 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, It's at 4.45 right now. Uh, JBH keeps saying these fights are boring when they aren't. No, I don't. I've said two fights are boring, bro. Calm your titties, all right? Why don't you, uh, relax on the estrogen pills? Here we go. Four and a half minutes. I'm going to start right here. And move over to the broadcast booth. Wrong is inching forward on Bahamondes. A right coming in by Bahamondes. Calf kick coming in by Bahamondes, a left, and then an uppercut. Wrong eating some shots upstairs. 
With four minutes and nine seconds on the clock, Rong now shooting for the double leg, picks up Bahamondes, drops him to the ground. Inside the butterfly guard is Rong. Bahamondes flips it around though, stands right back up. Rong's getting tired, man. Rong is getting tired. Who the fuck are these guys? I think we still have that Who one. Who the fuck is that guy? All right. Let me just check where we're at here. Beautiful overhand right coming in by Bahamondes. Rong showing some damage on the bridge of the nose there. Three minutes and 36 seconds on the clock. A kick to the body coming in by, by uh, Bahamondes. Main card is next. Yes, Guido. Main card is next. Here we go. Bahamondes wrapping around the neck of Rong. And there's a tap. Oh my god. Guys, Rong just just lost the fight. Rong did wrong. Uh, he lost the fight by submission. Bahamondes gets the win in the third round with a little over three minutes left on the clock. We've got a submission over here. Bahamondes gets the win. Alright, so let's see. Someone was asking how Ellie was doing um, in her picks. The last fight, if I'm not mistaken, Pasquale lost, correct? Yeah, Pasquale took the L. So she didn't get any points on that. Um, if you're just tuning in, we just finished up Bahamondes versus Wrong. Bahamondes got the win by submission in the third round. And let's see, she had Bahamondes by KOTK on the first. So, that, so she just got that, just the 50 points on that. So, so far, Ellie's got, uh, let's see, 150, 225, 225 points for Miss Ellie. So she had two fights wrong, but four fights right so far. So she's doing all right. Uh, Baha Men for the win. All right, guys, let me know what you think inside the chat. We're getting ready to start the main card over here. Um, is it actually pretty fast preliminary, if you ask me? Maybe it's like um, just in our heads, but it seemed pretty fast to me. Drop the ones in the chat if you feel like this is going by pretty fast. Uh, Gregory Rodriguez versus our men Petrosian coming up next uh, on the main card. Robocop versus. <laughs> Robocop versus Superman. All right, Masa's got Rodriguez KOTK on the second. Ellie's got Rodriguez by decision. <clears throat> and I've got Rodriguez submission round two. So we'll see how this plays out. Three completely different types of results there. But um, I have something to say, guys. I have every single fight right so far. Just saying. Everyone giving me shit for not making my picks. And then the night that I make my picks and I have every fight right so far. Let's see what you guys have to say in the chat. Dropping the ones over there is Dat One Gur and, and the Knitter. The Sinosi says only one a fight I care about much. Been on three hours as Guido. It doesn't feel like three hours. Uncle Mike H, Mike H dropping the one. Uh, Faster Finger Blasters says Kid Combo. 60 second MMA says this is a fun card. Can't wait for the main event. Main Holes Expert says like, Henry Downs. Most of the mains. Uh, main card should be prelims is James Campfield. Uh, Robocop versus Superman says Silver Carl. That's right, man. Did he give heaps a soft path? Says Mark Roberts. Henry Downs with a one. Joseph Sage says you're, you're what? That's because you're a beast. That's right, Joseph Sage. Let's fucking go, baby. Uh, are you in first? If not, then shut up. Well, let's see. Let's take a look, Drunk Savage, talking mad shit over there. All right. Let's, let's take a look at our Google Zoom. By the way, if you guys want to join on our Pick'em League, it's absolutely free. Head over to the MMAholes.com with the link in the description. Click play now right here on the first page. What the fuck, man? Play now. Head over to our Pick'em League. Goat milk on Tapology, And uh, we'll accept you in as they come. Let's see if anyone has tried to come in yet. Nobody. Everyone has been accepted. All right, let's see. We got Nick the Greek in first place. Whoop, whoop. So far. Nick the Greek is sitting at first place with 450 points. Kid Quick in a close second with 425. We've got Glide sitting at fourth over here. Let's see who else we got. Carpet Tom. Uh, Scoop. Wicked World up there. Oh! Look who's still on first page, bitches. Oh, yeah. Bow down to Queen Moss. 
who's still on first page and has moved up the ladder. Wonderful, wonderful. That's right, baby. Let's see. Where's Mystic Moss? Any Mystic Moss? No Mystic Moss? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. All right, all right. Look at this. So we've got Joey still on here. Sir Gapith, Raw Dog Hunter, Foister, uh, Young Cloaker, Ice Viking, Staley 02, Harpo. All right, all right. But you guys aren't doing as good as Queen Moss. <laughs> <laughs> working my way up, baby. I'm working my way up. Someone find a song for that one. All right, guys. Let's see what you guys have to say in the chat. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because this is the, um, like, transition from the prelims to the main card, I'm going to go to a quick break. Uh, I'm going to get some ginger for this fucking migraine, and then I'm going to come back refreshed and better than ever with you guys. All right, so here's what, I, what I'm going to do. Make sure you guys stick around. Hit the like button. Join our Pick'em League. Because the main card's about to get started, and we're not going fucking anywhere. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. I hope Mystic is correct with Alvarez. I have him in a four fight parley. $100 gets me 470. I typed my hole, not holes. Disappointed face. Let's be honest. When it comes to underwear, there's nothing more important than comfort. Why empty your pockets for generic underwear that loses comfort, quality, and style when you can slip into a pair of sheath and get even more out of your daily wear? With sheath underwear, you can treat your jewels like royalty as they are given their own private sanctum, keeping them secure and you in a state of bliss. Get 20% off sheath now using promo code MMAHOLES. That's M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S with the link in the description below. And for the ladies? Absolutely! Sheath isn't just for men. Ladies can now experience Sheath's style, comfort, and functionality too. Sheath for Women is crafted using a signature modal elastane fabric blend for form-fitting breathability that will not affect the natural pH environment or the microclimate of the skin while producing that long-lasting, unimpeded comfort. Use promo code MMAHOLES, M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S, for 20% off at sheathunderwear.com.
Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out. Yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt. Yeah. Please say any negative thoughts. I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong. I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud. Never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth. Can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, know what I'm about. Have your fucking cloud. It be raining now, I keep making sound. Go another round, bitch, I'm legend bound. Can't stop me now. You don't wanna fuck with me. A slow burn like a disease. Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things so that you couldn't believe. Just tell me that I can. 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 Hour here. Hope you're wonderful, wonderful JBH. How are you? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful boss. boss. How are you? Wonderful. Tonight's episode is filled with delight. Tonight's episode is filled with might. Tonight's episode, we dive into the fight that on Saturday night. Check it out. Round one is about to begin. Oh, the head kick! Right hand's coming in! It's about to finish! Ooh, yeah. Hammer fist! More left hands are coming in! The fight is over! The fight is over! Yeah, hit them fucking likes, man. This is what we're giving you tonight, man. What the hell's going on here? If you're not subscribed, hit it. Hit the notification bell. Join the party. The revolution. The MMA hoop. Great night of fight. Crazy stuff. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, I know. You didn't know that, but that's how it is. 
Kitty bang bang, motherfuckers. Okay, friends, welcome back to the stream. We are here. We are live. We are wonderful, wonderful. The MMA Hole Studio situation in full effect. Got my prospects over here. We're live from the Sinosi and D-Rest Studios. Correction. But um, we got to put these boys in the box. Rodriguez versus Petrosian. Noise. If we scroll back throughout the card and look at the picks... Over here, Bahamundas comes in with a guillotine choke. Noise. I picked him by a fucking decision. Come on, man. So, wow. So, I went five in a row. So, Jesse picked all of her preliminaries correct. I dropped an egg in the first one and then ran the table five straight. So, the MMA holes are picking like champions tonight. But we only have one part of our parlay that came to fruition. Now, we need two more fights. After this one, Joel Alvarez is the guy that we're looking at for a W, underdog. But before that happens, we got Osama. Not Osama, Obama. <laughs> a little off there. Uh, Obama for the win over here. Gregory Rodriguez, RoboCop, who is on a nice little tear. Four-fight win streak against a man, Superman. He doesn't really look like Superman. Armin Petrosian. So it should be a good scrap. I got Rodriguez knockout in the second round. Who do you got in the chat as we pull up the tail of the tape? Petrazian is the older, 31, 30 years old. Rodriguez, 6'3", both boys, 186 is the poundage for both guys. The reach, though, Petrazian, 71, 75-inch for Rodriguez. Both guys are orthodox fighters. Main card about to get started. I saw a donation slip through the cracks. Don't, when did that happen? Let's play it. Wonderful, wonderful. Roberto. 
I hope Mystic is correct with Alvarez. I have him in a four fight parley. $100 gets me 470. I typed my hole, not holes. Disappointed <laughs> face. Okay, good luck, Roberto. Let's all hit the money. Let's get. Let's win big tonight. Let's win Fookin' big. Thank you, Hearns. And still, the top Fuka dog is B-Man. Thank you, everyone that donated. And smash the like buttons as we're getting ready. If you're pumped up to see if Bobby Green has what it takes to get the upset, or if Makachev is indeed a title contender, hit that like button. Here we go. Put five on the clock. There we go. Noise. Rodriguez by decision. I got Danny DeVito in the second round via flying triangle choke. Obama mixed with Junior Dos Santos. Big dudes, I'll take Brazil. Robo bro. Rodriguez decision, 6-3 with a 71-inch reach. Jeez. Yeah, it's kind of wild, right? I think guy, guys like Connor, 5'9 with 74-inch reach. This guy is six foot. Three with the seven. That is really short. Didn't think of it like that. I got to put the first round on the board. We are still in the third. But here we go. Round one has begun of Rodriguez versus Petrosian. Petrosian, White Trunks, Rodriguez in the dark with Herzog, the gentleman watching. So Rodriguez. Staying patient, has the hands up in the air as Petrosian's waving around frantically over here, looking to engage. Shorter reached fighter, has that right hand cocked back, looking to let it go. Rodriguez staying very calm. Chin tucked in, arms up. As the loose arms Petrosian, left hand swings, misses the face of Rodriguez. Middleweight bout going down here, first fight of the main card. Feels like the card's going pretty quick. Danny DeVito will be impossible to choke. Girth God's in the chat. Let's fucking go. Here, oh, there's Rodriguez, the right hand just missing that shin of Petrosian. Petrosian goes back, and Rodriguez was looking for the kill shot right away. Rodriguez checking. It's funny, Rodriguez is here. Oh, there's the one-two by Rodriguez. He is throwing heat in them punches. He is only 30 years old. My man looking like he's in his late 40s. Oh, there's the right hand. Not physique, his face. It's, it's kind of strange. Rodriguez, who looks older than he is, eats one to the body. Nice left hook by Petrosian. That one came in beautifully on the face of Rodriguez. Rodriguez with the right hand, slip it in to the side of the head of Petrosian. This one has all the feelings of non-decision. I mean, these guys both have clear meaning behind their punches. Petrosian backs up. Circles the outskirts as he trots towards the other side of the cage. Comes in with a leg kick. He looks like he's trying to stay busy as he is striking from all different angles. There's a kick to the body by Rodriguez, grabbed by Petrosian, and Petrosian resets back to the middle. Petrosian with a kick to the body. Another one coming into the leg. There's the, oh boy, Rodriguez with a flurry, and they're going for a firefight here as they exchange with a fiery fury and then separate. No one goes down. That, I mean... Whew, the way they were stepping into those punches, it looked like someone was going to fall, but both survived the flurry. Nice jab there by Petrosian, followed by a leg kick. Petrosian finds some rhythm here as he throws out that jab some more. Petrosian, a slight underdog, circling the outskirts, trying to keep it busy. Almost got caught in a firefight there. Some leg kicks by Petrosian, circling some more. Rodriguez slowly coming forward. Hits him with a leg kick. Both guys hitting leg kicks. 2.15 left in the first round as Rodriguez moves forward. And Petrosian, nice kick to the body. Petrosian follows with a jab. Circles the cage some more. It looked like uh, Rodriguez was going to shoot him for a takedown. Threatens to throw the right hand, but Petrosian's footwork is too good. Resets to the other side. Not letting Rodriguez plant and throw. There's the jab by Petrosian. Petrosian's moving around very nicely here in the first. Hits him with the inside leg kick and moves some more. Petrosian is very active. Checking out the strikes. 24 to 8 by Petrosian here in the first. Petrosian throwing that jab forward and hits the outside of the lead leg. Oh, a nice left hook by Petrosian. Catching Rodriguez on the way in. Petrosian tr just trotting around. Very confident in his striking here in the first. 
One, two, two left in the first round. And there goes Rodriguez with a nice stiff jab to the face of Petrosian. Petrosian absorbs it and then circles the cage some more. Trotting around. Nice and comfy. Throwing the jab. The one, two, Petrosian. You know what Petrosian reminds me of? He reminds me of the dude that played um, Ky Kylo Ren. Looking like a Kylo Ren out there. The one, two, a two, one. Rodriguez landing and then backs up. Checking the t kick is Rodriguez. So Kylo Ren coming forward with the jab. Power of the Sith. Come on, bro. Jesus Christ. Come on. What are we doing, buddy? Why why you gotta be so rude? Why you got why you gotta do that? Come on, no no need. No need. 25 seconds left as Petrosi encircles the cage, and here comes Rodriguez, throws a jab and hits an arm. Rodriguez trying to engage as he is chasing Petrosi around the cage. So far, though, it looks like Petrosi could have this first round as he put a very intelligent first. Got caught in one flurry, but has been very smart throughout the rest of the round. Nice kick to the body by Petrosi. Leg kick Petrosi. Round over. Very nice. Nice job by the underdog. Okay, <clears throat> one in the books as the 11-3-0 fighter sees if he can get something going in the second round. No kid needs to grow up. Uh, 420. What do we have with the likes? We have 343. Come on, friends, hit that like button. Thank you for your cooperation. Is it a safe? My brother shoots tequila shots. Is it safe? My boner. Excuse me, I thought he said brother. Boner shoots. Um... Safe for your boner, yes. Very safe. Very safe. 420. Ah, it's 520 for us. I missed the 420. Yeah, you can't you can't dislike anymore. Sorry. Hate to burst your bubble. Uh what up, Moss? Uh, first round Petrov. Uh whatever his name is, the underdog. Uh yeah, I, I think it's Petrosky. Uh Petrosian, excuse me. Petrosian, I would say his name is, but who knows? I could be saying it wrong. Okay, round two. Round two. We are creeping towards the 400 like mark. Let's go, people. Flip it in the upright direction. And we are in round number two. As our next fight is very important for our bets. Got a big bag of weed, Moss. I'm smoking a strain called Gary Payton. <laughs> is it really? Uh, Aldoruz Tech. How you doing, bud? Here we go. Body shots by Petrosi. And in the second round, coming in with a combination to follow. Oh, the right by Rodriguez. I tell you, when Rodriguez lands, he comes in hot. There goes Rodriguez again with the right. Petrosi with the counter right. Rodriguez is like, fuck it, let's go. Rodriguez is game, the one, two. Rodriguez had enough of the chase. And the right over the top by Rodriguez. Rodriguez is looking hungry as he moves forward. Comes in with the right. Running is Petrosi, and Rodriguez, is, he keeps on coming in there. Oh, nice left hand by Petrosi, and as he circles the outskirts, Petrosi trying to go back to his game plan here as Rodriguez says, screw it, let's go. Nice leg kick by Petrosi, and followed by the right hand. There's the body shot, so Petrosi got to settle back into that rhythm. There's that right hand by, oh, nice left hand by Petrosi, and as Rodriguez landed flush, Petrosi encountered beautifully. Nice head kick coming in. Partially blocked, but landed. Rodriguez a little reluctant to throw here as Petrosian's very quick with the hands. Nice body shots right. Kick to the body, Petrosian. Spicing it up, Petrosian coming forward. Now the mouth has opened up wide on Rodriguez as Rodriguez counters in with the right hand. Looking tired out there. Does Rodriguez have the zip still left to put Petrosian down? Petrosian looking... Pretty solid here going into the second round. Oh, there's that right hand again by Rodriguez. And Petrosian trots back towards the cage. 3.05 left. Rodriguez backing up here as Petrosian inches forward. Petrosian comes in with the leg kick. And oh, that was checked nicely by Rodriguez. Beautifully timed. And Petrosian's like, oh, that sucked. A lot of people should talk about that more when you check those leg kicks. We've seen legs split in half from stuff like that. Petrosian coming forward with the leg. Oh, nice jab by Rodriguez. 
That stuns on the face of Petrosian. Petrosian backs up. Waving the arms around. Petrosian looking to engage. Coming in with that leg kick. Rodriguez is ready. There's a body shot. That one lands by Petrosian. Petrosian very active with his combos. Nice right time perfectly by Kylo Ren. Petrosian landing at will here. Oh, comes in with a nice right and a left. Petrosian, man. Oh, boy. Here we go. A stiff left by Rodriguez. Is it Petrosian or Petrosian? I heard briefly someone say Petrosian. What is it? I'm going to call him Petrosian. Uh, it could be Petrosian. Anyway, 155 left in the second round. This is the round I got Rodriguez a knockout in. But I tell you what, Petrosian's going. He's doing really good. Uh, the S in Petrosian is pronounced like a sh or a J. So Petrosian? Is that how it is? Petrosian? Petro Petrosian? Petrosian. That's probably it, right? Yeah, Petrosian. Okay, Petrosian. Thank you, guys. Let's call him Petrosian now. Back into the action. Petrosian with the left. A couple lefts coming in there on the side of the head of Rodriguez. Rodriguez eating the shots as he absorbed 59 total. Comes in with a beautiful left hook. Rodriguez, but Petrosian's face, man, holding up. As Rodriguez led, landed less strikes, very powerful strikes, Petrosian unfazed. Petrosian bouncing around with 57 seconds left. Coming in with the left and then follows up with a kick to the legs. Shooting in for a takedown as Rodriguez lands it. So Rodriguez getting a late takedown in the round. And Petrosian takes a ride to the mat. Rodriguez passes the leg over and here we go. So Petrosian, who has been dancing around, good footwork, game plan working, he does get back up. Here we go. Uses the fence. Gets the underhook. Rodriguez trying to hold around the body. But Petrosian does stop that any damage from the ground. Petrosian spins off the cage with 18 seconds left. And Rodriguez comes in with the jab. Petrosian with the kick towards the right arm. 10 seconds left. Petrosian comes forward with the kick that lands on the chest. And there's that right hand by Rodriguez trying to time it nicely. Backing up Petrosian. Okay, that round is over. I'm going to go two zip the underdog. I'm going to go two zip for Petrosian. Very nice job by the Armenian. Um, as Rodriguez, the game plan is working beautifully. Rodriguez has landed some very powerful strikes. But... I just think the volume and the way Petrosian's been just executing the game plan, looking pretty, uh, he's looking pretty tight. 1-1. One, one. Hmm, interesting. I don't know about that. I'm going to go 2-zip. I hope you're right, Kevin. But let me know in the chat how you score this. Uh, Anthony Oliveira says, A black man can't drink. I think he's related to Giorgio Petrosian, the kickboxer in one championship. Is he? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Italian sandwich for the win. Petrosian doing exactly what Floyd Mayweather does. Hit and run around. Get points. Come in and hit and then run. Yeah, he doesn't want to stand. I don't blame him. Mom, for not. did you try doing her hair? I put it up in a little bow. You tried to. <laughs> what? You don't like it? A little. It was such a mess. What? I threw it up. You just like grab a clump of hair. Yeah. And even like. Yeah, you just throw it right up in that thing. She was fine. It was like coming out, and so like you didn't like do enough. Like I didn't do it tight. I didn't yeah. do it tight. I didn't do it tight because she was squirming. I didn't want to rip her hair up. I don't want to scalp her. Oh, nut shot. All right, so as we start. All right. The, so Rodriguez gets clipped in the nuts right off the bat. It's a good tactic. <laughs> Petrosian following up. I, I tell you, man, I think it's two zip Petrosian. Let's see how this round plays out as we're in the third. Let me switch this up. Three. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you're still triggered. <laughs> Four minutes left in this third round, and I didn't even know we were still here. 
Uh, Rodriguez comes forward. A nice body shot following the combination up to the face. Rodriguez coming in. Oh, a head kick by Rodriguez. Stuns him. Petrazian clinches up in that one. Crack it on the face. Petrazian holds on, and his nose has been broken open. Rodriguez throws him down. Rodriguez wants the back. Holy shit. Rodriguez looking for the leg. Holy kick. A knee bar. Rodriguez is trying to reverse and twist that knee. Petrazian slips out of it. Oh, my God. Petrazian gets out of it. Rodriguez goes to half guard from the top. Wow. Petrazian was this close to having his knee go completely backwards. Now, Rodriguez mounts, goes to the back. Petrazian is still trying to shake off Rodriguez from the top here as... Oh, man, this is going to be a choke. Rodriguez got it. Here we go. Rodriguez is over the chin. He's trying to tighten this thing up. He's cranking on it. Petrazian trying to fight the hands, and they're slippery. Let's see if this works in favor of Petrazian. Petrazian peels the hands off. The blood and the sweat favor Petrazian for the moment as he is huffing and puffing. He gets out of the situation, but he still has Rodriguez with a body triangle around the midsection. That head kick opened up the face of Petrazian, and he gets back up. Holy shit. The dude is crazy. Petrazian gets back up to the feet. And that has to completely discourage Rodriguez eating a flurry. Combinations to the face. Petrazian comes in. Counter right hand Rodriguez. What a fight. 2-2-5 two, two, left in the third round. And when it looked like the tide completely, momentum completely, everything completely turns in favor of Rodriguez, somehow Petrazian weathers it, gets back up, and lands some carnage. Fight is not over. They're still going. Trading on the feet. Petrazian's face is just covered in blood. Leg kicks coming in by Petrazian and Rodriguez walking him down. Now Rodriguez backs up as Petrazian is a bloody mess. No worries. Petrazian working to the body. The underdog is not going anywhere as he is standing and banging. Rodriguez creeping forward very slowly and oh, eats the right hand, Petrazian. Petrazian catches it on the side of the head and somehow my man is still standing. Rodriguez creeps forward or right over the top by Petrazian. What a crazy round, man. One, two, five left. Both fighters back towards the center. They have to be exhausted. And here we go, Petrazian hits with a nice left. To the face of Rodriguez. Rodriguez now huffing and puffing. Counters in with a right hand on Petrosian. Then a left by Petrosian. Oh, man. Petrosian is just... Petrosian, whatever the fuck you want to call this guy. He's just a beast, man. Petrosian is just... He keeps the volume coming. Leg kicks, body shots. Comes over the top with a left hand. Petrosian looking like he's going to get a decision unless Rodriguez gets a freaking walk-off here. And there's the right hand that stumbles Petrosian back. The nose has to be broken. The jaw might even be broken of Petrosian. But he is still throwing the strikes. Eats a left hand by Rodriguez. 30 seconds left. If you look at the two, you would say, oh, Rodriguez won this fight. I mean, Petrosian's face is all lumped up. Blood all over the place. But those leg kicks by Petrosian... Just coming in on Rodriguez. Rodriguez winging to the belly with 15 seconds left. Oh, Rodriguez runs into a knee for a takedown. And he almost got stopped there. Now blood on the face of Rodriguez as he was greeted by a knee. Rodriguez was wobbled there. Petrosian coming in with some kicks. A body shot, ladies and gentlemen. Hoofa. The underdog just freaking pulled that off. What a fight. Fantastic stuff here. You got to think this is a front runner for a bonus. Beautiful job by both men. Holy cow. Wow, Ellie, taking another L. Who'd you pick in this fight? I also picked Rodriguez. So, so all right, so first blemish. I think a lot of people pick Rodriguez yeah. in this thing. Wow, that was some fight. Come on, Rodriguez. Armin P Petrosian, or however you say this guy's name. Very fun. I might have to put... Should I put him on the prospect list? Do it. The only thing is he gets hit too much for me to put him... I'm not going to put him there. I kind of... I mean... That was some fight. I can't put him there. I can't, but man, was that fun. Pay these men. Pay these men what they deserve. That was a fantastic...
fantastic fight. <laughs> My stupid stream kept buffering. Rodriguez 29-28. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Superman forgot his helmet, pronounced Joff. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Superman met Kryptonite. ESPN link in description. That's correct. Petrosian has to be, but Jess is looking stunning. Has to be said. Thank you, John. Say it. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> what? Sorry. Oh, man. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Nothing. You can't make it up. It's just too funny. <gasps> A split. 29 28 either way. 30 27. Armin gets the win. Whoa. This is the second time tonight. The, the scores are everywhere. 29-28 one way. 29-28 another way. And another judge is like, ah, 30-27. How does that work? How how can three judges be so fucking far apart? Like, it's, I don't know. It's just weird. I don't know, Mars. So weird. All right. Well, listen. If you picked Petrosian as the underdog, fit. Just round of applause. Beautiful job. Because, I mean, my man... My man was tough as nails in that fight. Whew. Wow. It's just so weird, man, how judges... They're just kind of... It's just strange. Brewster almost got his prediction correct. Okay, who do you have winning the main event? I have Bobby by KO round two. No way, do you? You better bet on that shit. No. Nah. We got Makachev in our parlay. I mean, there's a reason why he's a massive. I mean, if, if, he, if there's an upset here tonight, I will be incredibly shocked. I think Makachev How got shocked him. will you be, Mas? I think Makachev is going to pick him up and slam my man over and over again. Bobby Green winning would be fun, though. It would be fun, but Islam is going to... I hope... I do hope this... I do want to see... Because Islam is a pretty decent striker. I don't think he gets enough credit for it. I do... I would like to see Bobby stop a bunch of takedowns and see them trade on the feet. I want to see Bobby test Islam on the feet. But... Nah, man. Mother Russia for the win. Okay. I don't agree with the outcome. That fight wasn't close, in my opinion. I mean, listen. As much as I wanted Rodriguez to win, I picked him. Not not close. I think Petrosian did great. Uh, all right, here we go. The second fight in our parlay. Also, we have a separate hundred bucks on my bookie on Joel Alvarez. Loved, loved, loved. Put money on him. But will the mystical prediction come true? Who'd you pick in this fight? I went with Rod. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarukian. Oh by decision. no! No! And Ellie picked Sarukian by submission in the second. Oh, man, Jess, you're going to hit a slide. You went against our bet. How dare you go against our bet? Because you're blinded by Armenia. You're blinded by Russia. I know my man Sarukian's tough, but your brother, Joel Alvarez, the six foot three monster, after his last fight, I was like, if this guy can make weight, I'll never doubt this guy ever again. Mm -hmm. He's going to submit my man. We'll see. It's going to happen. He might do it in first. I'm going to go second. Okay. Oh, man. Old bet. So this, everything rides on this one. Joel Alvarez wins. We're up for the night. If he loses, everything is down. Who do you have in this fight? This is a very interesting one. And if Joel Alvarez wins, he goes on my prospect list. He should have went on before, but he missed weight. He'll go on the list tonight. Maybe Saruki and Saruki and knocks him down. Maybe he'll go on my list. Uh, Rodriguez got Robs and and Rod drives says Green has no chance. That one girl says Saruki in. Uh, let's go Green says Kevin Lee. It's Geo Foo says Armand again. 
Guidos is Armand. Armand back to back. Alvarez. Gegard Musasi with the beat down the other day. Hell yeah. Let's go Alvarez. Alvarez by KO. Uh, and and I agree. Green Ball says Mastitis. Uh, um, Coin says Henry Downs. Armenia says True Perfection. Noise. If you haven't hit the like button, I'd urge you hit that fucking thing. It costs you absolutely nothing. Hit the fucking like. We're looking for 1K. Before the stream is done, we need 1,000 likes, but we could only do it with your help. The 600 people hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. Hit the like button. At least let's get to 420 before this thing gets started here, ladies and germs. Let's go. We need some likes. Spark it up in the chat. Hit the 420 before the next fight gets started. Need some help over here. The people. The MMA holds need to destroy the interwebs with likes. We are getting closer and closer to the 420. I believe we can do it. 400 likes. 19 more for 420. Let's go. Oh, boy. Everyone take a toke if we hit that magical 420. Head movement in the chat. I hope you have head movement. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. Eight more likes. Come on, people. Four more likes to 420. Four. Oh, boy. Two more likes. Two more likes. Can it happen? Let's play it anyway. 420, baby. Come on. with the best fight reaction channel. Let's go, people. Keep smashing the like button. We're having fun. We're hanging with the boys. Hanging with the boys. All right. I'm nervous. Jess, I need you to call this fight into... Wow, Saruki is in good shape. The dude shredded. Means nothing. Means absolute nothing. I'm right here. Come on. We need this one. This is all we need. Let's go, Alvarez. You're going to have to keep her company. Okay. If you want me to call this fight. Okay. Ooh, I'm nervous. I'm right here, baby. I'm nervous. Hit the tail of the tape. Go, go. Wait, wait, wait. Tail of the tape. All right. Uh, 25 Sarukian, 28 Alvarez, 5 foot 7 Sarukian, 6 foot 3 Alvarez, 156 pounds both, 72 and a half inch reach Sarukian, with a 4 and a half inch reach advantage at 77 inches for Joel Alvarez. Here's All the right. fight. $100 on it. Plus our parlay. Let's go. Uh, J.A., please win. I got $100. Come on, guys. Let's all win. <sighs> You're great, Adam. Didn't you already say that before, though, Adam? Are you troll-lolling? I got Alvarez, too. Knockout time. No submissions. Uh, all my girls have big eyes. Says off tomorrow. What? Let's go, Armand. That song is hard, bro. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, let's go, Armand. Says heavy micro grow. Come on, this is a good fight, baby. Let's go. Here we go. They're still calling it. Hold on. Zoman dropping the rocket ships in the uh, chat. Let's go, Joel, with that plus two fifty money. You guys have a beautiful family. Thanks, loose nuts. <laughs> Scare you? Loose nuts. I scared the baby. <laughs> I popped up the thing. She like jumped. 
Just don't yell in her ear. Oh. Well, that must have made you guys deaf. Uh, that last fight was robbery. Shit's sad. I hate when I do my picks because it makes you root against the fighter. You just, you like just to be right on your picks. Yeah. Well, you know what? It, it goes both ways. You know, sometimes it could do the reverse. Here we go. You bet on the guy that you hate. And All right. Clock has just begun. Sarukian in the white Win -win. shorts. Alvarez in the yellow. Both of them meet inside the center with 10 seconds already into the first round. Let's go Jesse's brother. Kick inside the leg by Sarukian. Alvarez backing up a little bit. Two prospects. This is a good one. Here we go. Left coming in by Alvarez. Sarukian with counter left. A left and then a right by Sarukian, followed by a kick to the body. Alvarez backs up on that one, tries to come in with that left, but Sarukian showing off the head movement, ducks under. Whoa! Whoa. Kick to the body by Alvarez, flips it over, but Sarukian gets the advantage. Shit. Now Sarukian falls inside the guard. Alvarez on his back. Sarukian drops a right. Damn it. That's not good. Sarukian dropping some rights to the ribs and then upstairs behind the temple as Alvarez hugs the body oh. of Sarukian. God bless you, baby. Oh, that's so not good. Four minutes and three seconds on the clock. Rights to the ribs coming in by uh, Sarukian. <laughs> Sarukian Ugh. still inside the guard. What happened? Like they, they collided and just fell. Three minutes and 47 <laughs> seconds on the clock. Whoa. 340 on the clock now. Still inside the guard is Sarukian. Here we go. Elbow slicing in by uh, Alvarez on the bottom. Sarukian trying to inch up the body. Get those legs up. Get those legs up, man. Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Alvarez trying to pull those feet up towards the thighs of Sarukian, trying to kick him off, but no luck. So oh. he decides to drop elbows. You're going to yell in her ear, Moss. Those elbows are freaking vicious, man. All right. Elbow slicing in by Alvarez on the bottom. And Sarukian looking to try and transition over to half guard here. No luck. Oh, there he goes. He got it. Oh, no, he didn't. Alvarez brings that knee up. Good job by Alvarez with the defense on the ground there. Brings the leg up to the thigh of Sarukian, preventing him from being able to transition. Two minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. Damn. Alvarez wraps the legs around the waist of Sarukian, so Sarukian can't inch up any further. Now Sarukian trying to push down on the chest of Alvarez. Drops a beautiful right to the temple. I mean a left. Sarukian still trying to do work from the top here with 2 minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. So, I gotta be honest with you, nothing's happening. You know, like, Alvarez is trying to elbow from the bottom. Sarukian, oh, here we go. Alvarez hammer fist from the bottom. Sarukian now transitioning again, looking to slip inside the guard of Alvarez. But instead wraps up the legs of Alvarez and is pinning him kind of folded in half on the ground. It's a bizarre first. Yeah. Alvarez turns over, face down on the mat, hands and knees. Now Sarukian holding on to that neck, looking to go for a choke here. Holding on tight, but Alvarez gets slipped out. Here we go. Sarukian falls back into half guard. Alvarez brings that leg over. Now we got a half butterfly guard. Now Alvarez brings the legs around, pulling Sarukian into guard. A minute and 39 seconds left on the clock. Sarukian dropping some rights to the ribs of Alvarez from the top. Hammer One. fist coming in by Sarukian. One mistake in that in the beginning of that round has been a problem for the rest. Crazy. A minute and 25 seconds left on the clock. Sarukian looking to move up the body of Alvarez. Alvarez dropping the hammer fists. An elbow slicing in by Sarukian from the top. Now Sarukian trying to inch up the body again. Alvarez getting a little tired there as he eats the elbow by Sarukian. Sarukian comes in with the left, grazes over the head of, I'm sorry, yeah, of Alvarez. Sarukian has three minutes and four seconds of ground control time so far with 56 seconds left of the first round. Shit. Sarukian inching up the body of Alvarez once again, pushing down on the mouth, dropping some rice to the ribs and then the head. 45 seconds left on the clock. Sarukian pressing down on the face. Now Alvarez trying to kick from the bottom, but he's got to be careful because Sarukian's technically grounded here. An elbow slicing in by Sarukian. I saw some blood drop, but I couldn't see where it was coming from. It's probably from the elbow from the top. Here we go. Yeah. Elbow slicing in again by uh, Sarukian. 
Damn. And yeah, it looks like Sarukian's bleeding all over Alvarez. Or maybe no, Alvarez is Alvarez. bleeding. Yeah, it looks like Alvarez might be busted open here. Oh. oh, boy. Yep, Alvarez is busted open. Oh, my God. 13 seconds bitch. left on the clock, and blood is... Alvarez is wearing the crimson mask right now. It's okay. Right's coming oh. into the ribs by Sarukian. This and is this is how we end the first round. Oh, Holy. shit. Alvarez is going for an arm, but... Yeah, but he's not going to get it. They're gonna, you know what's going to happen? It's right. okay, baby. You're, you're scaring me. For what? Because you're getting all excited. Well, I mean... Oh, they're going to stop this fight. They're going to stop it because of the cut. Oh, shit. So they're working on the cut of Alvarez. I mean, he was pouring blood from the elbows from the top. Alvarez... Oh, they're going to... Don't stop this thing. <laughs> So Alvarez threw up the arms going for a submission. Submission's going to be out the window now. I mean, if he can continue. Let's see. The cut looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. I can't see that this... Oh, fuck. Those elbows from the top by Sarukian. So they're trying to ice up. I mean, could you imagine being Alvarez right now? Alvarez is standing in the corner. They're trying to work on the cut. They're trying to stop that thing. They're putting ice on the back of his neck. He has no time to recuperate here. It's the bridge of the nose, the elbow from the top. They're going to show it again. Bang! Oh, right on the button. Right on his nose. Completely broken nose. I mean, not a doubt in my mind. Oh, boy. Well, I, I have a submission this round. Anyone believe in miracles? <laughs> oh, my God. You want me to take the baby? Oh, there's blood pouring down the bridge. Going, It's actually on top of between the eyes. It's like pouring into his mouth. He's drinking his own blood. Okay. Are you going to yell? Yes. If you're going to yell excited, then no. Because you're going to freak her out. Here we go. Sarukian right off the bat goes for the takedown as Alvarez goes for the neck. Oh, man. This is a mess. So now a bloody disaster as... Ah, oh, shit. The blood is just pouring into the eyes of Alvarez. Sarukian on side control. So one mistake in that first round where they collide and fall becomes incredibly, oh man, elbows are coming in from the top by Sarukian. Alvarez trying to squirm out from the bottom, and Sarukian is just driving elbows into the face. He is grinding on my man from the t top, and Alvarez could, he could just fucking drown from his own blood. Sarukian rolling around from the top. He's just, just oh, another elbow from the top by Sarukian. Another elbow from the top. Sarukian with punishment from the top. Hammer fist from the top. Sarukian keeps coming in. And Alvarez is just squirming from the bottom. Puts the legs up high. Squirms around. Slips off. Blood is just painting the mat as Sarukian looks for the back. Sarukian drilling left hands to the side of the face of Alvarez. Alvarez covering. The ref watching as left hands are coming in. Alvarez slowly tries to get back up. And Sarukian drags him back down. Sarukian, more punishment as Sarukian looks for the back but slides all over Alvarez. Sarukian putting a left hand to the side of the head of Alvarez some more. Alvarez trying to use the cage to get back up as Sarukian greets him with more left hands. Left hands coming in again, and somehow Alvarez is trying to stand up. Alvarez showing incredible toughness here, but Sarukian saying, stay down, bitch. Hits him with the lefts over and over again. The ref is watching the carnage in front of him as it's a murder scene. There's blood all over the place, and somehow the victim is still staying alive here as Alvarez is trying to peel off the arms and fight out of this attack of Sarukian. Sarukian is trying... Oh, the ref steps in and says he's seen enough. Everything has exploded. My parlay, my bets, all because of a collision in the first round. Sarukian with the ref stoppage. Second round, carnage. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, oh. Carnage, lick the carnage, embrace the carnage, go on a date with carnage. Vote for carnage, make babies with carnage, play jokes on carnage, masturbate with carnage, ejaculate the carnage. I tell you what, this is why, so that was a freak accident. A freak collision in the first round paid off tremendously as Sarukian maintained the position. That, le that elbow that p came down from the top, cracking in the perfect stop, if the cut wasn't there, this fight would have still been going. 
Uh, Sarukian did the job, took advantage of the situation, grabbed the win. So incredible win by the favorite. But it, it's it's a little... It leaves a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth because we didn't get the fight that probably should have happened. It was a freak collision as they fell. Regardless of the fact, Sarukian wins. We move on. Every bet is done. <laughs> that's it. The end. Oh. But that's that's the game, man. That's the game. A cut could change everything. Could change everything. And Sarukian took complete advantage of that. Oh, my goodness. My God. Holy shit. A freak accident. Wow. That's crazy. And if you're Joel Alvarez, I mean, you got to give yourself, you know, I'm sure he's going to have nightmares about that collision. Holy shit. I tell you what, though. I tell you what. He, here's the thing. It's not like he got mauled. He couldn't fucking see. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, he got mauled after the blood was all over his face. It was that collision. Watch it back. If that never happens, it's a whole different fight. Whole different fight. So, so you can't discredit Joel Alvarez in the future. You can't look at this fight and be like, oh my God, you know, he got killed here. There's a lot of things that happened in that fight. A lot of things that happened. That was the second round? That was second round, yeah. So Ellie got the round and the fighter, but not the finish. Oh my god. So what is that? Uh, let's see, let's see. I feel terrible for Alvarez, man. He couldn't fucking see from his own blood. What a, just a freak thing. Alright, here, let's see. Um, goat milk, where are you? So she got the round. CBD. Yeah, I'm done with car parlays. CBD, 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 That's CBD, it. CBD. Stop telling me to get this parlay. CBD, CBD, what a CBD, mess. CBD, CBD, CBD. CBD, CBD, it helps with uh, healing process and uh, inflammation and stuff like that. So you want to get these. Oh, uh, that's the game, baby. Or after fire training and make your life a better place. They may need a new octagon mat. Haven't seen that much blood since the Muscle Shark versus Florian. Yeah, I tell you, man, that was a lot of blood. And you know what was crazy is most guys would have just gave up long early in that fight. And, and somehow Alvarez... Wanted to keep going. He's throwing up, trying to throw up submissions and shit, like trying to get back up to the feet. He couldn't see a damn thing. He's as as Sarukian has it. Here's the the elbow again from the top. Beautiful. It was right on the forehead, bridge of the nose over there. So I don't think so. It wasn't. The, I don't think the nose was broken. So you know how your forehead bleeds like crazy. He got hit in the bloody spot right over here, like this little little soft spot between your eyes. And blood just was pouring out of him. Perfectly placed elbow. And credit to Sarukian. Smelled the blood like a shark. And just attacked. I, Alvarez was ready to die in there. It was crazy, man. Thank God the ref got in there. I mean, Alvarez was just like leaking like crazy. I tell you what, man. If it wasn't for that collision. If it wasn't for that collision in the beginning. It would be a whole different fight. Whole different fight. It's wild. That's why you got to be careful, man, when you bet on these fights. Because you never know. Crazy shit like that happens. And it is what it is. Sarukian takes advantage of it. So very nice job by Sarukian. Getting the job done. Goes five straight. Five straight. That's a big win. 25 years of age. And we'll see what's next for him. Let's see what the chat's got. Mark Smith says he needs some juice and famous Amos. Uh, collision equals legal elbow. He ate like five clean elbows to the face at least. Uh, if my aunt has a dick, she'd be my uncle. Uh, Bobby Green and Bobby King Green. Nope, Armand was going to win no matter what. Freak elbow to the head. Who all touched the soft spot after Moss said its location? I did. What soft spot? I touched when you were talking about that. <laughs> did you? Yeah, feel I went like this. Did you feel it? The feel for a soft spot. Like right over here. Right between the eyes? Yeah. You know, your forehead, like when rest, like WWE, they like what they cut their forehead so it has all that dramatic blood. So anytime you get a cut on the forehead, it bleeds like crazy. But this right over here, like you don't really see that much. Yeah. You don't see that cut over there. And it was, it was, the blood was pouring out of my man's face like a fountain. Like it was like a, you know, when you go to a wedding, you see a chocolate fountain? That was a bloody ass fountain. That was just like, just going out. Crazy, man. 
That was crazy. Wonderful. What guy should aim for that spot? I'm good at making money, not good at bets at all, <laughs> LOL. Roberto, you know what? I don't feel too bad about that one because I guarantee Joel Alvarez, thank you for the donation. I guarantee Joel Alvarez is going to have nightmares about that fucking collision. Jesse and Ellie don't give a shit. They just. <laughs> oh my god. He might have bled to death. Yeah, I know. Yo, Alvarez was like still going. It's like, bro. You're gonna you're gonna run out of blood. Oh man, that sucks. You know what sucks about that fight is we were robbed of actually a really good fight. It, it sucks when when a cut gets open and a fighter can't see because of all the blood in the fucking face and shit like that, and it it, it kind of takes everything away. But nothing. That's just another finish for Armin. So that's that's a good job, man. Man, oh man. Damn, man. That wasn't a good fight. What do you mean a good fight? <laughs> that was, I mean, that wasn't a good fight. It was like, you know, the collision, the sloppiest collision. They fall down. Armin took advantage of it. You got to give him credit for that. But that yeah, wasn't a good fight. It's a bloody mess. Stop the stoppage. Oh, man. It's crazy. That was crazy. Well, we'll see what happens uh, with uh, what they do at Armin. Saruki and listen, five fight win streak, you can't discredit that. So that moves forward. He dodged the fucking bullet on this one. Definitely dodged the bullet. Holy shit. That was a lot of blood. Now, what are they going to do? Are they going to fucking. Are they going to replace the whole damn mat now? Like, what are they going to do? They have to. <laughs> it was painted with his fucking face. Am I the only one? I don't know. I see the lead up with Colby and Masvidal, right? It seems like it's legit, but there's a part of me that's saying I still don't buy it. Yeah. I don't know. Are you? Is it getting too WWE or no? It. I've never. I haven't bought it at all. You don't buy it? I don't know. Like I'm watching the promo. Like I'm kind of into it. I don't know. Jorge's going so far he's into staged, it. Yeah. He's leaning so far into it that it's just like, is this? Are they just? Are they? Are we seeing some WWE shit, or is it like, is it real beef? What do you guys think? I'm curious. I think they're doing it for cash, and they still need, and and they still friends. Jorge's getting knocked out, dude. Nah, friendships go to shit over money. It's not fake, real beef. He can do it. Colby and Jorge are loving it. Colby fucking him up. It's a work. WWE, fake, it's real beef, Colby smashed Jorge's baby mama, it seems fabricated, I think they're still mates to be honest, Matt you know, was butt hurt. At like at first I was buying into it, well actually no, first we were like nah it's fake, then I started buying into it, and then Stephen A. Smith's like, you guys used to be friends, you know like the Yosemite Sam, he's like, <laughs> you guys used to be friends, and what's going on right now? And Jorge Mouse was like, ah, nah, 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 like, and they're just yapping over each other. And I'm like, ah. The more I watch that clip and then I'm watching the promo, I'm starting to think maybe they're just hamming it up. Because think about this. They're getting a main event, right? They're probably getting pay-per-view points. There's no belt on the line. They got to sell the shit out of it. Right? I don't know. But I'll, I'm, I'm into it. I'm still into it. Still, I don't know how I feel. All right, so three more fights. Wonderful, wonderful. Colby being quiet. Jorge talking too much. That two pump Jorge cardio was hilarious. Smiley face. I can't wait. <laughs> you see Colby Covington was being interviewed and he goes, <laughs> he goes, I forgot who was interviewed. Oh, um, no, I know who it was. It was the old guy that asked Dana if he was a doctor. And uh, Colby's like, I got that extra cardio. He's go he's like, I got two lungs. What do you think about that? Colby Covington has two lungs. He's the brightest bulb, Moss. What do you think about that? Colby Covington said he has two lungs. What's wrong, kiddo? Where's the account? I want to see if I can find the, uh...
<sighs> oh, yeah, I'm going to bet on Colby. Colby's, I mean, listen, that's... But I, I just hope he's not a massive favorite, which I think he's going to be. You know? I think, I mean, Colby's going to win that one. I, I, that's that's inevitable. But then again, who knows? You never know, man. You never know. Who thinks uh, Jorge's going to win the fight? Masvidal to flying knee. Yeah, Colby's not falling for that shit. That is that is not happening. I mean, Colby used to rag that doll that dude in the freaking apartment. Whoa, Ellie, what's going on? We have another mouse pad. Yeah, give that one. Whoa, <gasps> whoa. George had a bad fight, gonna come back. Colby 48-47. Colby will probably fight emotional. He seems legit hurt over getting booted out of the gym. I just rewatched BMF. I think George gonna have a fun, have fun with Colby. Uh, Masvidal has zero chance. Only George probably. The fight is real. Colby will wear him down. But he uh, the hate is a scam. Wrestling skills. Rule number one. Colby, Colby, Colby. Islam win by dry hump. All right, so what do you think? In the poll that we do have up, 77% are saying Makachev is going to win. Is it going to go the distance? Uh, I, uh, Ellie thinks so. Think, you Ellie, think so? Ellie's got Makachev decision. You think so? All right. I um I think that I think Islam's going to finish him. But uh, Bobby's tough, man. He's a tough dude. But I think Islam is going <laughs> to... I think he's going to smash. George will land some big shots, but Kobe will wrestle the hell out of him and get the W. Fook you, Islam. You know, so in this card right now, and thank you guys for joining us. Appreciate your company. Uh, bets have fallen apart, but it's okay. You can't win them all. Uh, but the... And I, why am I getting into the parlays? I gotta, why, how am I getting sucked into this shit? I got to get out of that, right? No, you got to stop. Yeah, I'm going to do yeah. back to straight bets. Even though I would have lost to Joel Alvarez, you know, I would have had an extra 20 bucks, but we're still up overall, so that's good. I'm gonna. I gotta. I gotta make. I gotta stick to my guns, and get out of the parlays. What was the UFC thinking with the Cochera versus Kim fight and Serkinov versus Terman? I mean, I feel like the Saruki and Alvarez should have been the co-main events. Uh, even the Petrosian versus Rodriguez, like that. Those two fights should have been before Makachev and Green. I understand Serkinov's the name, but he's looked horrific in the UFC, and uh, Wellington Terman. Who the fuck is that guy? That's your co-main events. Like, I I don't know. I feel like in Kuchera versus Kim, like, why can't we do Saruki and Alvarez and Petrosian versus Rodriguez? Like, if those, if they, we should swip, swap those things. Swip swap. You know? I don't know what they were thinking here. But maybe Serkinov because, you know, he does have a fan base and he's got a history, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. So you have only one fight wrong? Yeah, so far. Ooh, so you've got to be pretty far up on this thing. Let's see. Auto Trader in first place with 5-5. Five, five. Did you put the winner of last week on? I think so, yeah. Right? I, I don't know. I'm asking. I think I did. We got to see. I don't think you did. Now I'm thinking about I think it. I think I did. So, so, no. That wasn't last week. It was last week. I don't know. We got to go back. How do you go back? You Are know? You sure it wasn't Prozac? Here, I'll check. I am. I'm positive it wasn't Prozac. I'll check. Let's see. Uh, events. I think you can go no, here. Maybe? No. I got it. I got it. I'll look. Yeah, we got a... Oh, previous event. Here no. we go. Oh. Bulldog Bradbury? Bulldog like he, he's Bradbury. He's on the board anyways. Or is he? No, you got to put him on the scroll. Okay. And he's on the board. Yeah, he's on the board too. Right, Bulldog Bradbury. I'll do it. Let's go. I just want to make sure we got everybody. Did you do the week before that? Yeah, I did Prozac. All right, that's Prozac. Okay. All right, so we got to get Bulldog on the... Uh, yeah, he's on the board. 740. So, so he is in oh, third, third place. place. Yeah, so, so Charles Patrick is off. Okay. Okay. All right, so as we get things pulled together here, let's play a quick word from our sponsors. When we come back, we're going to roll three more fights on the card. Makachev versus Green is coming up, and we'll be right back.
Let's be honest, when it comes to underwear, there's nothing more important than comfort. Why empty your pockets for generic underwear that loses comfort, quality, and style when you can slip into a pair of sheath and get even more out of your daily wear? With sheath underwear, you can treat your jewels like royalty as they are given their own private sanctum, keeping them secure and you in a state of bliss. Get 20% off sheath now using promo code MMAHOLES. That's M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S with the link in the description below. And for the ladies? Absolutely! Sheath isn't just for men. Ladies can now experience Sheath's style, comfort, and functionality too. Sheath for Women is crafted using a signature modal elastine fabric blend for form-fitting breathability that will not affect the natural pH environment or the microclimate of the skin while producing that long-lasting, unimpeded comfort. Use promo code MMAHOLES, M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S, for 20% off at sheathunderwear.com. That I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down I'll be getting loud, you can never doubt, know what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now, I keep making sound Go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now Let's get back into some fights. Wonderful, wonderful. I had to go grab a snack. Hi. Okay, we got fights going on, friends. Let's go. Kim versus Coachera. Kim is throwing hands with Coachera here as we are in the first round of action. 405. Close enough. Nah, let me get it. I want to get it right. Three, five, zero. There we go. Round one. 
Okay. There we go. Boom. All right. Coachera versus Kim. All right. I got to bounce back with a win. What do I have? Like three losses tonight? I lost the Sarukian, Petrosian, and Hernandez. So three losses. Damn. We are eight fights in, three losses. Still over 500, but ah, just that last fight leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Here we go. So, Petrilla Cochera versus Kim. Let's let's watch this fight over here. I got Kim by a decision. Has Kim looking all right on the feet so far? Kim has the red gloves. Petrosian in the blue. Petrosian looking to creep forward. Kim looking tight out there, throwing the jab and just good footwork. Comes in with the inside leg kick. Petrosian waits for the chance and comes over the top. There we go. Petrosian with the counter. Petrosian winging in a right hand and a left. Petrosian is just showing some... What am I saying? What am I saying? Petrosian? Why am I calling her Cochera? Why did I say Petrosian? That was, the, that, was, that was this fight. Cochera. My God, I am all over the place. Excuse me. I'm calling Cochera Petrosian. I don't even know why. I think I'm still... I think I still got blood in my eyes. Cochera... Coming forward, she's got, oh, he walks right into a right hand, then a counter right hand by Cochera. Cochera eats the combo by Kim. Kim coming in with the one-twos. Both girls are slinging the gloves around as Cochera creeps in. Cochera has no care about the strikes of Kim. So what I'm seeing here is Kim is throwing everything in those punches, and Cochera's like, wait, this doesn't hurt. She's just walking right through him. Cochera's face is just keeping together. As she's walking down Kim. Kim bouncing around over here. Cochera trying to come forward. Cochera looks like Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> right? Jess, you see it? Does Cochera not look like Jake Gyllenhaal? <laughs> Why does she look like Jake Gyllenhaal? It's freaking me out. Oh, my God. Here we go. I like calling it Cochera because it's like a festival. I don't even know how you say it. How do you say her real name? Cochoria? How do you say it? Cochera? Cochera. So Cochera doesn't... What are you screaming about? What are you screaming about, kiddo? A lot of distractions. Sorry, guys. Holy shit, it does look like Jake. I mean, she looks dead on like Jake Gyllenhaal. It's weird. It's freaking me out. I'm going to call it Jake Gyllenhaal. All right, so Gyllenhaal <laughs> with under a minute left in the first round trying to hold her ground here. Kim threw more volume, but uh, Jake Gyllenhaal not affected by the strikes. Not scared at all. We slowed down significantly here as both girls are in the center. Cochera looking to la land that right hand, but she's waiting for the opportunity. Now a lot of respect by both. Thank you, Ali, for the sub. Appreciate that. Ali up in this bitch. 23 seconds left. Whoa. Whoa, you got some pipes on you. Whoa. He's got a penis down there in a lot Here, Mom Sally. PP. He's got a penis down there and I like what I see. Sing it. He's got a penis down there and I like when I see. Beautiful. Pee -pee. What does he got? He's got a penis down there and I like when I see. Pee -pee. <laughs> hey, B-Man. PP song. It is. Another top dog donation, seven fifty. Beautiful. Beautiful. That was very that was sweet and sensual. You want me to hold her? My uh jump into this one? Yes, no, maybe so? Whoa. Baby squats. Baby squats? All right. Yeah, not a bad first round. Towards the end of the first, kind of fizzled out. But um, 
It looks like Cochera is not affected by the strikes in any way. Let's see. We're going into round number two. They both high five. Some respect. And Kim comes in with the one two to start it off. So Kim is the quicker of the two. When well, I'm looking at the reach here, Kim's got a uh, 72 inch reach over 65 inch. So Kim's definitely got that long reach. He's throwing that jab out there, trying to keep it going. There is a cut over or a lump over the right eye of Kim. Kim is working the jab some more in Jake Gyllenhaal's face. Should I do it? Do you guys want me to do it? Should I put Jake Gyllenhaal there? Cochera trying to... Whoa! Cochera coming over the top in a counter right, coming in by Kim. Now Cochera with the left hand. Comes in with the body shot and winging the left hand to follow. This thing is destined for a decision. Just saying, wow, looking at the blood on the map from the previous fight. They really painted that cage. There's a nice one-two by Kim. Again, followed by a jab and an inside leg kick. So Kim spreading out the volume here on Cochera. And Cochera... Kachora. Actually, it should be... How do you say her name? It's Kachora? Kachera. 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 <laughs> Got Kim decision me, too. Colby loves beef darts. That does look like Jake Gyllenhaal. What are you talking about, bruh? You, have you ever seen Nightcrawler? Bruh? That's Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know what. And I gotta pull this shit up now. You make me do. You make me work extra. There's Kachera right over there. Okay. Let me put a little Jake Gyllenhaal over here. <laughs> Hold on. Jake Gyllenhaal. Okay, you ready for this? Okay. Only Jake, Jake has blue eyes, so that kind of ruins it. That ruins my thing. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to pull him up. All right, here we go. He's black and white, though, unfortunately. I mean, I don't know what the hell fight you're watching, but... I mean, that's like... Just put a little beard on her and forget it. Is, it, is there a way to scratch a beard on Kachera? That's, that's dead on. Let's spin him around a little. Okay. Make sure I get that together. Let's get back into this fight. Jake Gyllenhaal is coming forward, man, with the pressure. With 150 left in the second round. As Kim is bouncing around very light on her feet. Gyllenhaal trying for the kick, and there it was the left hand by Jake. Jake does have pretty dreamy eyes. I had to get a black and white picture because his eyes are very blue. And Kachera is not blessed with those blue eyes. Kachera is showing some damage on the face, and Kim follows up with a punch to the breasticle. Kim Kachera. Kachera I, I, I don't even know. But anyway, I, I don't even know why this fight is is this far up in the card. I mean they're, they're scrapping, but I don't I don't feel I don't feel the carnage. There's a jab by Kachera. And Kim comes in with the left and the right. I mean they're they're throwing down with one one oh four left in the second round. Kim is peppering with some more one twos. Cochera walks into a nice counter strike. Two of them coming in. Then a left hand by Cochera comes forward. Jake Gyllenhaal. Woof, boy. Here, all right, here we go. Standing and banging. Headshots coming in. As they're going punch for punch. There's a Superman punch coming in by Cochera. Followed by right and a left hand. They're just cracking on the face of each other, with no blocking, just head hunting. Oh, a nice left and a right, the one-two, Kim. And somehow Cochera is just absorbing these punches like it's nothing. Cochera coming over the left, just reckless striking by both girls. Now, more technical, I would say, is Kim. She's definitely, oh, wobbly Cochera. It looks like she kind of just tripped there. 
All these punches coming into the face of Cochera, though. She doesn't care. Cochera rocking to the body with her right hand. Somehow Kim's power is doing nothing. They give each other respect. Go to their respective corners. And that round is over. I would go two zip for Kim. But, uh, I mean... No, no one's going down. It's just going to be a lot of face punch until uh, we get a decision, I guess. Kim more better. She looks like uh, more like uh, Crispin Glover. Okay, let's look for Crispin Glover. I don't even know who Crispin Glover is, but all right, we'll take Jake Gyllenhaal off. Although I do like Jake. Put him. Put a fucking beard on her. I mean, yeah, I mean it's a, it's a lock. But let's go. Yeah, I got two zip Kim. I would say. How do you spell this guy's name? Crispin. What a name. Crispin Glover. Uh, well, he has a picture where he's making the same face. Actually, I kind of could see it. The only thing is Crispin has... Like, who the hell is Crispin Glover? He looks familiar. What was he in Back to the Future? Yeah, actually, this picture kind of looks a little bit like her. <laughs> this is what I'm wasting my time on. All right, here we go. He's making the same face here, so this this one actually kind of works. Here, hold on a second. You're gonna be delighted when you see this. He's making the exact same face. In fact, there's a whole bunch of pictures of him saying making this face. Now we, we need the problem is we need Jake Gyllenhaal to make the face. See, Crispin's got more of a dick nose, you know, like that is the, he he literally has a cock on his face. Let's see what else he's got here. This is <laughs> this is what we're working on right now. <laughs> if you if you morph the two though, we can get a perfect Priscilla. You know, if you take Jake Gyllenhaal and 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 make a baby with Crispin Glover, I mean, we're talking about the perfect match. Okay, let's get out of this. <laughs> yeah, you might as well because I'm I'm too busy doing. I'm like comparing. <laughs> huh? Okay. All right, here. I'm going to. All right, we're going to bring Jesse back in here. So Kim's doing work, just kind of mutilating the face of uh, uh, Cochera, Crispin Glover, AKA. All right, I got to go. It's, it's just back and forth, headshot after headshot. Come on in. Okay. You're stuck with me again. You're stuck with me again. Here we go. Left coming in by Kim. Moss is messing around making Jake Gyllenhaal jokes. So what was going on? Three minutes and 27 seconds on the clock. A calf kick by Kim. Kachar comes in with the left. Kim with the left. Kim comes upstairs with a head kick. Misses. Looks like they're kind of tiring out a little bit. Kachar showing some damage under that right eye. Left coming in by Kim. Three minutes and ten seconds on the clock. A left coming in by Kim. Then a left by Kachera. Kachera goes for the uppercut and misses. Kim with a beautiful right, landing behind the ear. Uh, yeah, he was spaced. <laughs> That's Moss for you. If he, especially if it's a female fight, and if he's not interested, he'll spend all his time um, <laughs> comparing fighters to other people. Two minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Still standing in the center. Kachera eats a jab by Kim. Uh, overhand right coming in by Kachera. I can see why, though. I can see why he's not interested very much in this fight. It's, it's kind of a... I mean, they're doing all right. Like, they're swinging. You know, they're going back and forth. They're landing. But um, not necessarily, like, the fight that you would show someone who's just trying to get into MMA. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. What are you doing? I'll tell you the problem. Don't don't yell in her ear. The problem is there was never a threat of someone. <laughs> Did you just sneeze all over my mic? God bless, bless you. Bless you. There's God never a you. threat of someone getting knocked out. When I start feeling that in a fight, I'm like, yeah, I'm, this is boring. Um, don't let her chew on those, babe. What? There's those are scented bags. There's. Not on it. Okay, well, don't let them put her put them in her face. Why would I ever chew her? Yeah, but don't let her put them in her face. That's why she's. Like I already gave it to her. A minute 40 left on the clock. A right coming in by Kachera and then a left landing on the chin. A right again landing on the chin and then an elbow. Now pressuring Kim towards the 
cage. And then a right coming in by Kachera. Now busted open Kim's face right on the left temple. A right by Kim. A right by Kim. And now Kim turning it up with a combination to the face of Kachera. Kachera eating every shot. Kachera gets a little wobbled there. A little deer-legged by a left by Kim. Uh, compare the baby and Hasbula. All right. Um, oh, I didn't start the time. Shit. Thanks, Colostrum. Hold on one second. I'll put it out a minute. That's my bad, man. Actually, it's not my bad. I came in the middle of the round. Moss is too busy comparing fighters to to Jake Gyllenhaal to start the clock. 55 seconds left on the clock. Kachera now inside the clinch with Kim holding onto the cage. Keith Peterson has to warn her to back off. Beautiful elbow coming in, landing on the temple of Kim. Both these girls just turning it up, man. Like, this is nasty. I gotta say, uh, some of the women's fights are pretty good when it comes to, you know, like, giving it their all. Beautiful knee coming in by Kachara. Elbow slicing in by Kachara. Yeah, this, these girls are busted up. It's a good fight. But I can see why some people might not be, like, the most entertained, but it's not a bad fight. Left coming in by Kachara. Left by Kim. Now Kim trying to turn it up as she's being pressured back against the cage again. And elbow slicing in by Kachara. Kachara with another elbow, landing right on the temple, trying to break open that cut some more. A right coming in by Kim, and then a left. Kachara gets a little wobbled there, threatens a flying knee, doesn't come in with anything. Uh, they showed out. I was interested. This is Dylan Mata. Yeah, it was a pretty good round. All right, so that was round two, I believe. So let me switch this over. Let me know who you guys have in the chat for that round. I'm going to give it to Kachara. Oh, was that three? You had it on round two. Oh, it was three. All right, well, I've got the third round in favor of Kachara. Uh, we can say shit now? What do you mean? Yeah, this is round three. So apparently Moss got caught up um, comparing fighters to Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, <laughs> so the clock and the round were all fucked up, but it's all right. I mean, I don't think anyone's really going to go back and rewatch that fight anyways. All right, let me know who you guys have in the chat. Jake got battered, says toe cutter. It's over. The fight is over. You didn't even watch it. No shit, Brewster. I came in the third round. Where the fuck were you, you fucking idiot? Sorry, that was really mean. You're not an idiot. But that was fucking retarded. Uh, thought shit got filtered out. Delton says 2-1 Kim. Kim won. Holy for Hole won. <laughs> Holy for Hole. Uh, 2-1 Kachera. There was a great women's fight on one the other night with uh, Smila Sundell. Uh, I don't know. LOL. Um, holy shit, good fights. This is JL. Love you, Jess. Love you, Dylan Mata. You guys are delayed? Yes, 30 second delay. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, is it a draw? I'll let you know in a second. Uh, Burn Brewster. I give the fight to Kim. Hope she gets the call. I give the fight to Kim. Hope she gets the call. All right. It takes a lot for female fighters to impress JBM. I actually wasn't too disappointed with this fight. Um, I, I but that was just because I saw the last round i mean i didn't get to see you know something obviously bored moss enough to to not really pay attention in the second round so it must not have been that great but um the third round was pretty good they were they were banging out pretty hard on the third round all right here we go they're doing the um where's my all right kachera gets the win kachera gets the win and she's getting her purple belt her face is like a balloon right now. Yeah, Moss is in shock. It looks like the looks like the chat's in shock too. Um made my money back. Wow, that's a shock. Yeah, I think Moss sounds like he's pretty shocked too. He kept saying, What are you serious? So apparently Kim did better in the first two rounds. But Kachera's got her belt, her face is puffed up, and uh Who's this? Uh, unanimous decision. It was a unanimous decision. So, I guess good job by Katera. <laughs> she got the win. Uh, JL says, what the fuck? Dylan says, that's wild. Fuck, man. This is fucking rigged. Robbery. Brazil almost had it. Who wins? Wow, I cashed out uh, my bet to her. Let's take a look at the, um, let's take a look at the tail tape real quick. Or not tail tape, the uh, stats real quick. And see, um, what the differences were. All right, so it looks like Kim threw 376 strikes and landed 160. She beat Kachara, who only landed 77 and only threw 206. Um, head strikes, Kim won with 147 over Kachara's 63. 
Katera won body strikes by 10 by uh, 10 to 3. Um, Kim won legs 10 to 4. And Katera only had 27 seconds of control time. <laughs> what the fuck? Katera did not win this fight. Are you kidding me right now? Oh my god. Wow. So I guess because she stole the third. Oh, it just switched up. Because she stole the third round. That like maybe the judges weren't paying attention in the first two rounds. And they were just swayed by what they saw at the end. I mean, come on. What the fuck, man? All right, whatever. I mean, I didn't see the first two rounds, so I can't really, like, talk too much shit. But based on what I'm seeing in the stats, it doesn't look too great. Uh, it looks like... It does look like she got she got kind of robbed, Kim. But I don't know. Who knows? All right, so if you're just tuning in, we just finished up Priscilla Kachera versus Gian Kim. Uh, Kachera got a very controversial win by unanimous decision. Um, and now we're heading into the co-main... The co-main event of the evening! Wonderful, wonderful. Misha Sirkanov versus Wellington Terman is the next fight coming up. I mean, some co-main, man. Sirkanov coming off a loss to Yotko by split decision four months ago, and then to Ryan Spann by KOT, KO 10 months ago, and then a win before that to Jimmy Crew via submission, and then another loss over Johnny Walker. And that says a lot because Johnny Walker hasn't been on the best run lately, um, especially when it comes to knockouts and shit like that. So if you're getting knocked out by Johnny Walker, I mean, I don't know what to say there. And then he had a win before that to Patrick Cummins by submission. A near even fight here, putting Terman um, at plus 100, coming off a win to Sam Alvey, but also I don't think says much because, you know, I feel like the UFC's kind of been setting up Alvey a little bit. Bruno Silva was his last loss by KO TKO, and then he got knocked out again by Andrew Sanchez a year ago. Uh, actually, actually, about a year and a half ago. Um, and then he came off a win before that to Marcus Perez, but that was two years ago, and two years changes the fighter, man. Two years changes on. So, that being said, let me know who you guys have in the chat. Moss has determined by decision. I went with, um, I went with, hold on, who did I go with? What the fuck? What the heck? Let me see what my picks were. Hold on one second. Who did I go with? Sirkinov by submission in round two. And Ellie went with submission? Gilmore by decision. Yeah. Why did you pick him by submission? I don't know. It just, it just felt like the right pick, Moss. <laughs> Um, so we'll see. I mean, why did I say Gilmore? I didn't say Gilmore. Ellie picked Terman by decision. My bad. I said Gilmore. That was the second fight of the freaking night. All right, guys. Let me know who you guys have in the chat. Uh, Dylan Mata says Misha. I go with Tattoo. Tropic Tom says Jerkinov versus Turdman. Uh, Jess, have you lot bet on Bobby Green versus Islam? Have I lot bet? Are you talking, are you asking if I put money down on the fights? Moss is usually the one who takes care of the... Bats. But yes, we did have money on uh, Makachev. Nah. That's why I don't bet on MMA. It's a 60 second. Chuckles. It's annoying when they do that. It says Funk Flexin. Did you guys put money on anyone tonight? Yeah, we have a parlay. So if you guys, mybookie.ag, link in the description below if you guys want to play some bets. But we do have a parlay open tonight. Um, What the heck? Why isn't it? What is going on? I guess it's taking time to load. What is going on? Here we go. We have a parlay right here. So we have um, Islam Makachev, Joel Alvarez, and Terrence McKinney. Moss, are we so far winning on our par no. par Oh, we lost Alvarez it? Yeah. Oh, Alvarez screwed us? All right, so we had a parlay. We don't have a parlay anymore. So if Alvarez didn't screw us, then... Yeah, Makachev wins. Yeah, we would have relied on Makachev. So we did have money on the fights nice, but not anymore, I guess. And it looks like we don't have any other bets placed here. No. Yeah, so that's it. So, I mean... We lick our wounds and we will move to the <laughs> Yeah, we gotta stop with the parlays though. I, that's like parlays that's stupid. That's killing us. The parlays, I mean, <laughs> not great, not great. But what are you gonna do? I mean, if you guys want to bet on the fights tonight or any of your favorite live sports, head over to mybookie.ag. Link in the description. Use promo code MMA holes for up to 100%. What is it? Match on your first deposit, Moss? Yeah. Um. So yeah, head over there mybookie.ag you can place your bets on tonight's fights and they go right up until the event actually happens I think that, do they have real time betting too Moss or like when the fight's going on you can place bets or is it just you place I your bet before the fight yeah you know what's funny if Makachev wins and we threw 100 on each guy like we were betting before we would have came out up 
But because we did the parlay and a single bet on Alvarez. It's a plus 3,300 3, or 3,300 if Green wins in the fourth. <laughs> Just so you know. Yeah. So. Throw $5 on it. You want to know how much we win if we put $5 on it? A hundred and sixty-five dollars. Don't do it. What? It's just five dollars. Well, I'm just gonna win. All right, you want to do something crazy? I'll do something crazy. Take a hundred and twenty dollars. Actually, no. Take two hundred dollars and put it on market chef. See if we get our money back. What? No, that's silly. Two hundred on market chef. How much do you win? Just if you just put one, like. Two hundred on market chef. Yeah, we'll win base straight up. Um, let's see. If you just put 200 on Makachev. Let's see. $26. That's it? That's it. $200, we get $26. Yeah. <laughs> Not even worth it. Come on. Ridiculous, Moss. Get over it. What's Makachev by decision? Um, uh, if you do Makachev by decision. What would that? Makachev wins round five? No, that's not it. No. Hold on. Here we go. Uh, Makachev by decision or technical decision is a plus 300. So if you put $100 down on it, we get $300. So you want to put, uh, what if we put 50? Then you would get $150. So we, what we have to do is figure out, we bet 120. So what do you have to bet to get our money You would have back? to bet 50 to get your money back plus 30. Plus 30? You yeah, you would get your money back plus $30 on top so, of that. So if you bet $30. Uh, ninety dollars. Just bet the fifty. 40, but 40. No, just bet the fifty. Then you get an additional thirty dollars. Ellie is. You think it's gonna be a decision? Yeah, I think it could be. Forty is exactly one hundred twenty. Do fifty and then get so the extra thirty dollars. I would say put forty on it. But here's the thing. I don't think it's gonna go to the decision. I do. I don't. If you do put forty on it, if you do. I don't like that about you. Even. I'm gonna do 50 on it. No, 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 no. Do 40 to break even. I just put 50 on it. No! Don't do <laughs> I just did it. Come on. I just, I just, <laughs> Come on. I just put 50 on it. Uh, <laughs> Mark no. by decision. <laughs> no! So if Mark wins by decision, we're up 30. We're up 30, yeah. We just did, you just did what we did the last time. <laughs> fucked up. Oh, come on. $40 we would have broke even. All right. Here we go. Oh, God. Anyways. <laughs> I think Mark said it's going to freak in. Wonderful. We have Wonderful. to hope now that's a boring fight, like where Mark Chen yeah. just on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. That will be the only reckless bet you ever see me do. Alright. Um uh, first round submission, paybacks are beyond <laughs> yeah, just think of it as karma for every time that you place a bet without my okay. Which has been like twenty times. No, but I, I was good with you placing the bet, but not fifty. It's a fifty is fine. It's just ten extra dollars. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Alright. We're gonna move over. Do you wanna call this one since it's the um coming? I'll watch her? Because she's gotta eat here soon. What time is she? In about 15 minutes. I'll watch her because I got to feed her and I don't want to have to cut off in the middle of. Well, are you going to be able to see the main event? I hope so, but she has to go to bed right after she. She goes to bed at 7 30. So. Are you hungry? Why do feed her now? No, I, no. I feed her right before bed because then she won't go to sleep. Fuck her, I'll watch her, watch her. Alright. Alright. We'll hang out with Ellie in the background while Moss calls the co-main event. Ha! <sighs> $50! Makachev by decision, baby! Let's book and go! It's it's not impossible, Makachev winning by a decision. I don't I don't have a problem with that. Cause I actually don't mind that bet. What was it? A plus three hundred? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, plus three hundred. The problem is it's it's our you know, 
when we're having an off night, I, I'm close up shop. Next week we win. I always do that, right? The big so, five zero, baby. So I feel, I feel like we just just blew fifty for nothing. But um, I'll stay optimistic. What was that you were saying about not being negative on bets? Well, I mean, being positive didn't help. So I got to be negative now. Uh, so let's hope, let's hope that works. If it works, we're up $30. It'd be a mirror. It'd be a little um, Hail Mary, but I don't think it's a miracle bet. Makachev by a decision is very possible. I think Bobby Green's going to come in game. I also think he's going to get finished, but he could last. He's a tough damn striker. He does keep the hands down. Maybe you could stuff a couple of them takedowns. I don't know. Wishful thinking. Love your enthusiasm, but uh, this that fight finishes early by smash. I would I would think so, but I tell you what, what is it? A plus three hundred? Yeah. It's not a bad bet. Makachev has been in fights where he's gone the distance. Now I don't think he's gone five rounds ever. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened before. Let me just look at Makachev. Serkinov's getting ready to come into the cage now. <laughs> but let's look at Islam, okay? So Islam's been on a pretty good run. The last couple of fights were finishes. You got the Hooker, Kimura. You got Mio, uh, Moises, Real Naked Choke. The Arm Triangle with Drew Dober. Uh, here's a decision, but this is, you know, a three-round fight. Davy Ramos. Uh, Davi Ramos. He's gone decision a couple of times. Five rounds is a long time. All right, here we go. Tail of the tape. Let's watch the co-main event. 34 years old is Serkinov. 25 is Terman. 185 for both guys. Championship weight, 77-inch reach for Serkinov. 72 for Terman. Both orthodox fighters. Brazil versus Canada. Who's gonna win? Let me know in the chat as we are ready for the co-main event of the evening. Look at that, beautiful. I always got a hat from the MMAholes.com. If you like to get some swag, go get yourself a hat. <laughs> you bet on Islam? I hope you win, man. I hope you win. I think Islam's going to submit him. I do foresee that being a very good possibility. But let's bank on Bobby Green hanging in there. If Bobby Green wins, though, that's going to be wild. Oh, that's going to be wild. I, I can't hate. I'll take the $50 loss watching Bobby Green win. That would be fun. Uh, Termin by a decision is what I picked. I could not pick Serkinov. I just couldn't do it. But I've had some flops tonight, so maybe I'll, I'll flop with this one, too. Did anyone pick Serkinov? Serkinov, to me, has looked horrific. Who would you pick in this fight? Um, I, I think I picked Serkinov. Herman. You picked Terman? No, I picked Serkinov submission, remember? Serkinov by... Oh, yeah, submission. <laughs> What's the odds, Serkinov? Did you look at the odds for that? <laughs> Serkinov by a uh, uh, submission. All right. So right off the bat, now Serkinov is creeping forward very slowly. Serkinov with the leg kick and then a left hand by Terman. So Terman in the blue gloves. Serkinov, who has the striking. Oh, boy. Standing and banging both guys. As Terman bites down on the mouthpiece, comes forward. Serkinov with the right hand. Serkinov by the uh, submission. Going for the takedown is Terman as Serkinov hits it with the underhook, throws Terman to the fence. Now, the one thing I got to say is Serkinov needs a win here, like very bad. So, oh, they drag each other down to the ground, and Terman looks for the back, wraps the arms around the waist of Serkinov, looks to take him for a low ride. He lifts him up. I think uh, Terman was thinking Serkinov was grabbing onto the fence. Terman takes him down. Easy. So Terman puts a hook. Now two hooks in, sits on the lower back. Serkinov now trying to protect the neck as Terman wants a choke. I mean, Misha Serkinov. I mean, oh my God. Serkinov is fighting off one hand, and as he does so, Terman is going underneath the chin with the right. So Serkinov is still fighting the hands, still in play here as he stands up with Terman draped over his back. Now, does Serkinov trying to dump him forward? Like, what does he do here? He walks to the other side of the cage with Terman on his back. The Terman backpack right now is Terman trying to get the neck. Serkinov is fighting off the hand, the left hand of Terman. Terman has the right around the chin, looking for the neck. And he is still draped over Serkinov. Terman is sitting on the lower back some more with 314 left in the first round. 
co-main event, 793 watch, and Islam is next. Mother Russia or the U.S. Now Terman is trying to still loosen up that left hand. Hits him with the right. And then goes back towards the chin. It's not under it. It's over it. Serkinov still fighting off the left hand with Terman still sitting on his back. So painting the picture. Serkinov standing up. Bent over. Terman on the back with his penis Drilling into the lower back of Serkinov. Serkinov trying to twist on Terman. Terman shows some good balance. Riding the bull. And hanging on. Terman slipping a little bit over there with the hooks. As Serkinov is trying to use the elbow to pull the hooks out from between the legs. Serkinov still fighting off that hand with 224 left. Now Terman. Oh, Terman switches arms. Going for the choke. Terman over the chin and says, let's go for it. He is tightening it up. As Serkinov tries to fight... He has the grip, oh, the grip over his mouth. He's going to tap. Serkinov is in trouble. Serkinov still staying alive. Oh, he almost shakes him. He does. Serkinov finally shakes him off. Serkinov drilling one from the top. I thought that was it, but it was not under the chin, and Serkinov makes him pay with some right hands towards the rib cage. Terman on the ground as Serkinov lets the hands go. 150 left. Serkinov trying to bomb down shots from the top some more. Serkinov is pissed. Serkinov with more hammer fists from the top. Can Serkinov get it done here? As Terman tries to get on the knees, looks to pull Serkinov in the guard. Serkinov looking to enter the guard, but Terman kicking off. Serkinov trying to push the legs over, and he throws one down from the top. Another one down from the top towards the belly. He is rocking on the body with some right hands. Terman up kicking, trying to get back up, grabbing on the legs, and Serkinov trying to keep him down. Serkinov pushing off the body of Terman. Terman grabbing on the right leg of Serkinov. Terman trying to get back up here, and Serkinov greeting him with some left hands. Terminov now on his knees. Terman on his knees. Serkinov. Looking to crank on the head. Rolls Terman around. And now Serkinov is going for a submission. Holy shit. Mystic Jesse might get it done here. And Serkinov lets go for the time being. But now he's trying to get tighter. Under the chin with his armpit. Serkinov is going for the sub. I cannot fucking believe my eyes. As Serkinov might put Terman out here. Terman's arms are going limp a little bit. As he's trying to stay patient. Terman could go out cold. As Serkinov lets go. Oh my god, Jesse almost had it. <laughs> she almost had it there. Terman on the knees. What a change of events here. As Terman rolls to the back, he avoids it. I'm looking at Terman. He looks like if Nate Diaz and Anthony Pettis had a baby. I don't know why, but I can't stop seeing that vision in my head. And Anthony Showtime Pettis, Nate Diaz, baby. Terman on his knees, Serkinov drilling some right hands in there. Now, Serkinov definitely won this round as he. Stayed patient, got Terman off the top, and we're gonna see a second round. All right, better than I thought. Better than I thought. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie, man. Beauty. <laughs> what a fucking ridiculous round. Holy shit! If Serkinov got that submission, I would have. I don't. I think I would have ate the chair next to me. That's crazy. I have second round though. You second round? I mean, uh, God knows what the what what the hell kind of fight is this? What is going on? I'm entertained, though. Ah, uh, that was wild. Throw the towel. Ha ha. I mean, I, Terman looked like... So the shoulder was drilling into the neck. It was looking close. It looked like Serkinov had something there, but Terman got out of it. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Brewster. I mean, that was fun. If, the, if these fighters... If these fighters fight like that... I mean, listen, it was a, it was a wild round. It was wild. Okay. Let's get back into business here. That was crazy. That was incredibly entertaining. All right. Serkinov, Terman. Listen, I was complaining about this as a co-main event. Uh, after that first round, I feel like I'm going to eat my words. Like, that, that, that was nuts. Here we go, Serkinov kicking to the body. So Terman had him in trouble there. Serkinov weathered it, and then Terman had gotten incredible trouble. Both fighters are going kick for kick to the body, exchanging. And here's the one-two by Serkinov. Terman coming forward, and Serkinov shooting in. Terman looking for the neck as he grabs him and stops him. Terman gets pushed to the fence. Serkinov has the wrap around the waist. With 4.30 left in a second, 
We have an interesting round. <laughs> have an interesting fight. Underhook by Terman. What are you about? You're beating up the trophy? Like, really? <laughs> Ellie's got some anger management problems. Serkinov controlling against the fence. And right now, Terman is a plus 400. Jess, do me a favor. Go on live bets. Throw a 20. Plus 400, Terman. You have it open right there. Where, where's the live bets? My junkie self wants it. Well, UFC lines. Where is it? Where? <laughs> where's live bets? Bobby Green is live. Is there any live bets on UFC live odds? Okay, here we go. As they go down to the ground, Serkinov is inside the guard of Terman. I would throw a bet on Terman right now just for the hell of it. But there's not. I can't make it. There's. Uh, come on. Give me some live betting. All right. One, one negative. Oh, Terman! Terman throws up the arm bar! Terman throws the legs up in the air! I would have thrown money on Terman right there, and the plus 400 gets it done in the second round, submits Miss Serkinov. Holy shit! I wanted to run to that fucking my bookie when I saw plus 400 Terman. I was like, holy shit! Where can I place this bet? Too late. Terman gets the job done in the second round, gets the carnage. Ah, I would have thrown that fucking money down in a second. Plus 400. Let me watch this again. A trip by Serkinov. I wasn't even worried. Serkinov was inside the guard. Let's see how Terman throws this thing up. Terman eats a right, throws the legs up there, attacks the right hand, and it looked like Serkinov taps immediately. Didn't even, oh my God. Serkinov is like one of the biggest bums of the UFC. Crazy, man. Glover to share in Terman's corner. Here we go. Hit him with the carnage. Hit him with the carnage. Carnage! Lick Holy the carnage! Cow. Embrace the carnage! Go on a date with carnage! Vote for carnage! Make babies with carnage! Play <laughs> jokes on carnage! Masturbate with carnage! Ejaculate the carnage! Propose to the carnage! Enjoy pancakes with the carnage! Celebrate the carnage! Dude, Misha Serkinov is not a UFC fighter in any way. He, he came back in that first round, made it interesting, but my goodness, has he been on a horrific run. Well, got that one right. Fun, though. That was fun. I, I had a blast watching that fight, man. Whoa, easy, kiddo. I had a blast, an absolute blast watching this thing, and I hope you had a blast. If you didn't see it, I hope you had a blast with the commentary. As Terman gets the win, the underdog gets it done. Um, we, we picked the wrong unders, man. I mean, I picked Terman. I should have stuck him in the parlay. Yeah, why didn't I put Terman in there? I don't know. Right? All right, I got I to gotta bounce, so I'm going to miss the main event. Oh, but... come on. Yeah, so well, feed I... her in here. Huh? Feed her in here. I need her to run around and burn some energy off before I give her her food. <sighs> um, so if I'm not back by the end of the stream, have a good night, guys. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll probably go a little later then, oh. so you can come on. We'll have some drinks. Where does he go? Where does Misha Serkinov go, man? Oh. oh my god, it's terrible. What a run. What a run. All right, so guys, don't go anywhere. We got the main event as the co-main. Listen, I was complaining about it. I mean, here's a reason why I complained. Serkinov has no business being the co-main event. Maybe they did it for Terman. What a win for Terman. So Serkinov out of his last, uh, let's see. Five fights over here. He's won one against Jimmy Crute, which is not bad, right? Got the, got a submission there. Maybe that's what Jess was seeing, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I didn't see it. I thought Terman was too slick. But there it is. Misha Serkinov gets the win. I mean, a uh, loss. Terman. Let's, let's look at Terman's resume here. He's now 18-5-0 on a two-fight win streak. Yeah, he beat Sam Alvey by a split decision. But he needed this. He needed this win. Glover in his corner, the champ. So nice job, man. Brazil getting the job done. Let's go. Uh, how do you think war will affect the Russian and Ukrainian fighters? I think it will affect, unfortunately. I hope it doesn't. But I think it will. I mean, it's affected the Ukrainian fighters. Did you see? What is it? Yusik? Check this out over here. The dude that was supposed to fight... Um... Fury. Alexander Yusik and and uh hold on a second. Let's go to the post. Here it is. 
So you got Vladimir, uh, uh, Vitaly, excuse me, Vitaly Klitschko, right? And Yusik went over to Ukraine to fight for their country. I mean, th this is crazy. This is crazy stuff. Now, I understand why Ukraine's having people coming over there because they're in, they're in deep shit. But, um, dude, it's, it's nuts. It's a, it's, yes, it does affect. And, and it's sad because you got a guy like Islam Makachev, who's a fucking beast, who seems like a complete straight up awesome guy. And, um, you know, you got this crazy controversy going on. So hopefully everything gets f fixed soon. I think more people want green to win, but I picked Islam. I mean, I, I'm kind of, I don't hate Makachev. I honestly, I honestly like Makachev. I don't know why people throw shade at him. I think he's very good. I think he is. I like his his. Um, I like the fact how confident he is himself. I like the the mentor and Habib situation. I, I there's a lot of things I like about Makachev. Um, I like that he can strike. I love his you know his his submission. I mean he he's a a damn good grappler. We all know that. But he's a very likable guy, you know. But Bobby Green is another, I mean, what a story. 29-12-1 for Bobby Green. You know, how could you not root for him? Coming in off the couch, no one wanted to fight Islam. If Bobby wins this fight, he's in the picture for a title. Like, think about it. It's it's a great story. I like both guys for different reasons. Um, you know, if you go the USA versus Russia, I mean, yeah, listen. I'm, I'm American. I'd like to see Bobby Green win, but I have no hate towards Islam. I think uh, Makachev... It's fantastic, and if he wins, we win money. But uh, Bobby Green's been in the game for a while, and he's finally getting the respect, you know? So good for him. This is going to be a massacre <laughs> reason he's number 15. Well, think about what Al Ally Quintus said. Al is no champion, but he was a top guy for a long time, and when he fought Bobby Green, he kind of underestimated him, and Bobby Green did work on Al. And Al says, hey, man, I, you know, my next fight can't be a Bobby Green. So a lot of high, you know, respect coming out of that fight from Raging Al. And um, Bobby's no joke. USA lied. Ukraine gave their nukes for protection from Russia. The blood is on our hands. I mean, that's, that's, that's silly. I don't, like, I mean, that conversation does not even belong here. Uh, good stat. Makachev is about 16% more accurate with his strikes than Bobby Green. Makachev... Needs to get more respect with his striking. And I think this this fight here, if Bobby's able to stop the takedown, stay away from the fence, we're going to... Makachev's in for a big test. Bobby can throw. He can throw. So let's... I hope this does stay on the feet. I, I, wanna, I want Islam to show people the dude can throw. He can throw hands. Ah, oh, man. Fun, man. I tell you what, I had a great night tonight. I'm having fun. I think I'll go a little extra after. As long as this fight's not hot trash, there's always that possibility. But if it is hot trash and Makachev wins by decision, we broke even. Actually, we won tonight with our bets. So Jesse has saved us. Do me a favor. Hit the like button, friends. 952 people watching. I want to say a big thank you to everyone. Before we get into the main event, we want 1,000 likes. We need some help here. So before we get it going, hit the like button. And if you hit the like button, drop some fire in the fucking chat, man. Fire in the chat. I want you to light this place up before the main event. Smash the fucking like button. Come on, baby. Let's have a like spike with almost a 1,000 people watching. Makachev Green, we're about to watch the main event. Let's break the fucking internet together if you hit the like. Drop some fire in the chat. Let's light it on fire. I need that fiery chat to get going here. Burn the chat down. Let's burn down the internet with likes. I see Noah dropping it. I see No Neck dropping the fire. JG dropping the fire. Come on, people. Let's ignite this fucking chat. Burn the internet down. Makachev versus Green. As the likes are pouring in, we can hit 1K. I believe in the people. I believe. Head moving in the chat. A lot of fire coming in. Oh, man. It's burning up now. The chat is completely burning up. It is getting hot in her. Keep lighting up in that chat. Let's see how much fire we can get going. Smash the likes. Wait, hold on a second. 
You smell that? You guys smell that? Oh shit. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh shit. Alright, well, we need some help, guys. Uh, the main event is about to get going, but we seem to have a situation here. Oh shit. All right guys, uh some water in the chat. Can we uh can we put this thing down? A little water. Oh boy. Okay, main event's about to happen, but we got to put this fire out. Some water in the chat, please. A little help. Here we go. Here we go. I see. All right. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Oh, thank God. Now that... That was close. Alright. Let's look at our Pick'em League goat milk. That was a close call, man. That was a close call. Let's go. All right, let's look at the Pick'em League on the MMAholes.com. Let's see who's going to win this Pick'em League tonight. As Makachev versus Green is about to get going here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Auto Trader, 620 with the points. Wow, Auto Trader in first place. So you got Tap867. I recognize that name. Glide, I recognize that name as well. Uh, let's see. Makachev submission round two for the person in the lead. Tap 867 with Makachev submission in the fourth round. Um, still can get him the win. Glide, if he gets a perfect. Makachev submission first round. Would that give Glide the win? Um, perfect. That would... No, that would not give Glide. So Glide can't win. Let's see if anyone has Bobby Green. Okay. All right, well, not many chances up here for top. Auto Trade is looking all right so far. And tap 867. Okay, we'll see. Ladies and germs, the co-main event is over. And now Bobby Green makes the walk. Mean Bobby Green. 29, 12, and 1. Coming in on short, what, 10 days notice? Bobby Green about to, well, try to upset and shock the world. We got a new subscriber in Sanchez. Thank you, Sanchez. A little dirty Sanchez action over here. Thank you. Appreciate that. And Bobby Green slapping high fives. He salutes his corner. I think that was his dad. Oh, Bobby Green looking shredded up. Carl! Come on, Carl! New top dog! Hey, I can see your underwear Put your boobies in the air Fapping like I just don't care Can I lick your pubic hair? Snap a picture, time to share Took my meat vision impaired Filthy mind, I need a prayer Pervert cameraman, beware Pervert cameraman, show them, show them tits Pervert cameraman, ten dollar tip Pervert cameraman, Yanni Celeste Pervert cameraman, show here we go, Carl. Dropping Thanks, Emerus and JBM, for making my Saturday wonderful, wonderful. Keep up the hard work on the greatest MMA channel in the world. Lone Wolf or Woo Woo. Carl, you are the top fucking dog, bud. <coughs> top dog with the $10 donation. Will he remain the top dog for the end of the stream? We will find out. Thank you, Carl. Settle down, doggies. Wonderful, wonderful. The Globe Torch. Haven't got any Mystic Moss out of context clips tonight yet. Get really drunk and start saying racist shit or something. <laughs> what? A black man can't drink? Come on, man. Glove touch. All right, here we go. So Bobby Green is in the cage. Win or lose? I'd, I'm happy that Green's in here. Bobby Green, to me, I don't know why. I'm just more excited about Bobby Green versus Makachev than... Then uh, Dariush. I know Dariush Makachev 
was the quote unquote better fight, you know, winner, lot on the line, blah, blah, blah. This is fun. Bobby Green coming in there with that swag. The guy's a damn good striker. The guy's very um, confident in himself and, and his, uh, his capabilities. But here comes Islam. Makachev, the man with the beard draped underneath the chin, is walking towards the cage or through the hallways with red lighting, very dramatic lighting. He also has Habib Nurmagomedov in the corner, and Habib's so, showing some traps. Is he Habib? Habib, <laughs> Habib is uh, he's getting thick out there. Habib Nurmagomedov, a little extra tiramisu in the system, and now Makachev goes over, disrobes, and gets ready to enter the cage. The biggest fight of Islam's career, he finds himself as a massive favorite. If Islam wins by a decision tonight, we win money. Maybe we can win money as Islam is a plus 300 to go decision. MyBookie.ag, there's a link in the description down below along with Head Rush, Sheath Underwear, the best, and... Uh, ESPN Plus to watch the UFC fights. It's also pinned in the live chat. Thank you, everyone that uses our links. And um, get the discounts, boys and girls. Promo code MMAHOLES. Islam getting buttered up. Highest takedown accuracy in UFC lightweight history. 60-something percent. The stat went away. Okay, keep hitting that like button, guys. We need some friends. Need some friends to hit that like button. You clowns better hope America doesn't have to fight Russia or Rygia. Rygia? Use your rotting brains dummies. Compton 2952. Who's the dummy? Did you just did you read before you sent that out? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the internet is beautiful. Uh, Makachev is in there trotting around. Bobby Green is strutting back and forth. What a scene that we're watching right now. As we go to the tail of the tape, here we go, baby. I am pumped. Either way, I'm excited. Whoever wins this fight, Bobby wins. It'd be nuts. 5'10", both the boys. 160 pounds, Makachev. This is a catch weight fight. Remember that. 158 Bobby Green. People are saying, oh, the catch weight helps Bobby Green. No, it doesn't. It doesn't in any way. It Believe me, it helps Makachev. Makachev with a 70.5 reach. 71 for Green. Orthodox Green. Southpaw of Makachev. Makachev is 35 years younger than the 35-year-old Bobby Green. Now, is this about USA versus Russia? Is it about your favorite fighter? Is it about... An underdog story is it about a man in Makachev that is looking to fight for the belt, the title, with Habib in his corner. So many storylines. What is the storyline you're going for in the chat? As we have the poll, we're going to end the poll. Over 2,600 2, votes. 77% say Islam Makachev is the gentleman that's going to win this fight. So 77% say Islam's going to win. Let's see if you guys are right. Okay. Welcome to the MMA holes. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's keep that energy in that chat. I want you guys moving and grooving in that chat, having some fun. I want to see the subs coming in up here. If you want to drop a donation, feel free to do that and support the show. Big shout out to everyone joining us tonight as Makachev is getting ready. He's swaying back and forth. Bruce Buffer is in the cage. Islam Makachev looking across to Bobby Green, who's being announced right now. 29-12-1. Bobby Green is a plus, plus 575 underdog. He stands in the center. He's staring at Islam, and he's pointing over there, pointing over to all the corners. And it's got to be wild because not only does he have to stare down Islam, Habib's giving him the look, too, in the corner. You got the 155 pound goat in your corner. Oh, super a super duper chat. chat. A thief. Khabib looks fat, yo. Khabib, it looks thick. And you know what? He's retired. He's allowed to be thick. My man's looking to fight at light heavy. Habib is just. So I'm watching Habib in the corner, and he's just kind of staring down Bobby Green. Now he's looking at Makachev as he's being announced. And it's so wild seeing a passing of the torch. Habib to Makachev. And you see Habib on the cage. 
And all I could see is his dad. It's crazy. Habib is turning into his pop. It's 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 wild, man. It really is wild. Here we go. Islam takes a deep breath. Bobby Green takes a deep breath. They stare at each other. Do they touch gloves? Islam has that. If he dies, he dies. No touching of the gloves. And Islam gives him the Russian nod. I would not want to stand on the other side of Islam Makachev or anyone with a neck beard. But here we go. Round run one. Let's go, people. Let's get excited. If you're an MMA fan, combat sports fan, if you're a Mother Russia, if you're a U.S. fan, whatever the fan is, let's go, baby. If you're a white guy, black guy fan, I don't even know. Here we go. Makachev versus Green starts off. Islam with the head kick attempt. As Bobby Green slowly comes forward, he has the hands down as usual, waving him around, looking to engage with Makachev. Bobby Green has always fought like that as he steps away from a leg kick. Bobby looking to engage Islam, trying for the kick to the body. Islam training for Darius the entire camp with a massively different style fighter. So he did bring it up in the uh, come up. Oh, here we go. Islam wrapping around the head and Bobby slips out. So Islam looking to grab Bobby's neck quickly in the first. Bobby Green chopping some kicks to the lead leg of Makachev. Remember, this is a catchweight fight. So Islam had no problem here with a weight cut or anything like that. Comes in in great shape. A little extra meat on the bones. Green threatening to come in with that left. And Islam showing a lot of respect. Islam kind of ducking down, level changing, then backing up. Bobby Green looking to throw the right hand. Bobby looks a little hesitant here because he's, he's weary of that takedown attempt. So he's not going full-blown blitz, Bobby. Bobby comes to the body with the right hand. Islam circling. Islam comes in with the left and the right. Bobby showing some good footwork, head movement. He's always been pretty good with that. Bobby looking to let that left hand fly. But is waiting for the opportunity. A kick to the body. Oh, Islam grabs the leg and goes for the trip. Islam pushing Green to the fence. Bobby with the underhook. Islam wraps up the right arm. Islam looking to attack as Bobby Green drills the knee to the body. Islam showing some strength as he's holding Bobby towards the cage. But Bobby's letting the knees rip. Islam tries to trip. Bobby trying to like squirm his body across the cheese grater. And tries to push off Islam. He does. Islam shoots in. Throws the shoulder into the Bobby, body of Bobby Green. And gets him down. There's the takedown. Number one. Islam lands it. Bobby is down to the ground. Bobby with the elbows. Islam is stuffing and suffocating the legs. Islam is squeezing up the body of Bobby Green. As Bobby pushes the shin into the thigh of Islam. Trying to keep Islam away. Islam looks like he might try to go to half guard. Let's see. Let's see what the move is here by Islam. But he is controlling Green on the ground. 2.45 left in the first, and Islam gets him exactly where he wants. Bobby sprawling from the bottom, just stretching out the body, trying to muscle his way back up. Islam locks up the left leg of Bobby Green. Green now trying to stay patient, and Islam pulls him away from the cage for the time being. Islam still on top half guard. 2.25 left in the first round of five. Let's see how it comes down to this. How long is Green going to last? It's not as if Green's going to win this thing. How long is he going to last? Let's see. Islam scooting up. Islam mounts him. Islam mounted Bobby Green. Bobby Green looking to give up the back. This thing may not even get out of the first round. Here comes Islam from the top with the left hands. Islam more left hands. Bobby gives up the back completely. Islam spreads him out. Islam hits him with lefts. Islam is toying with him right now. As Bobby's trying to fight him off, Islam has him with the mount. Islam's sitting on the lower back, and here come the bear paws to the side of the head. Lefts and right hands. Bobby in trouble. Bobby squirming. Lefts and rights coming in again. This will not go two rounds, three rounds. One round is enough for Islam Makachev as he looks to his corner, finishes Bobby Green. Bobby Green stands up, looks at Herb Dean, and complains, and Islam makes incredibly quick work. Jesse, what the fuck? Anyway, Anyway, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Hasbullah has disguised himself as a Ukrainian school kid and has infiltrated Kiev. He's going to shank the Ukrainian president. This episode of World War Three brought to you by Applebee's. Thank you, Tropic Tom. Listen, if anyone, how are you guys saying boring? <laughs> he just finished them in the first round. I mean, come on. You got can we give Makachev some respect? People in the chat say boring. <laughs> what are you crazy? 
Is let me just say this right now. Let me just say this. There is an embrace going on between Khabib and Makachev. Habib had his father. Islam has Habib. I'm telling you right now, before Islam's career is done, Islam Makachev will be the better athlete. Islam Makachev is better than Habib Nurmagomedov. If you look at Islam in the game right now, as he's surging up, Islam is no joke. This guy is not afraid to stand and bang. This guy, when he takes you down, you're fucked. Like, you are fucked. Islam is legit a G. Islam will be a champion. He will be a champion. And he will surpass Habib because, listen, Habib left in his prime. Islam will surpass Habib. No question. Not even a question in my mind. Carnage. I am telling you right now, I know everyone loves Habib, but when Habib was still fighting, everyone was saying, watch out for Islam. Everyone was saying it, and Islam has his loss. That happened many moons ago. Islam learned, and he is learning from Habib, who is the greatest lightweight of all time. Think about this. A fantastic coach in Habib. All the tools in the world, Islam. I mean, guys... How could you not want to see Islam versus Charlie Olives? I'm going to listen to the post fight. Damn, I parlay. So two of my three I got right. Ten wins in a row for Islam. It almost seems stupid to ask you. You know what he wants. I just want a title fight. I'm ready. I need title fight. There's a reason why he was a massive favorite here. I am not surprised in any way. All right. So he's not really going to say much here. Islam is not a man of many words on the mic. He doesn't really get you going. Ah. Oh. You got fooked on a freak accident or you would have won. I'm telling you, man, that's a story for another time. But I think I would have won that parlay. I think that other fight, that slip doesn't go happen. It's a whole different fight, but it is what it is. You, that, you, you take your bumps and bruises. I'm not worried about that. We threw another. We showed you what you shouldn't do here on betting. And I and I, and it's, it's, a, it's a problem. I look at it like this betting. First of all, parlays, I would steer clear of them. Unless you're up a ton of money, which we are up, so I don't mind doing it. But if you're up a ton of money, go for it. Have fun with it. If you have the money, enjoy yourself. Play around. But if you're looking to just make cash, like easy cash, bet straight up. That's the best way to do it. If I threw 100 on each fighter in my parlay, I would have been up tonight. Think about it. I would have lost one fight. I would have won the other two. One was an underdog. One was Makachev. I would have been up. So I would say it's a slow burn. I say that's the way to go with the bets. And if you're down in the night, don't throw some crazy panic things out there or anything like that. Just lick your wounds and go to your next week. You play the game slow and steady, you'll win in the long run. But Makachev high fives everyone in the uh, crowd, and kid's a likable guy. He's a likable guy. I see boring's in the chat, but I mean, I mean, how do you discredit how good this man is? Bobby Green was a lamb to the slaughter. We're going to go over to goat milk in a second. I am not surprised in any way that this is how this, this fight went down. I mean, I don't think many... I mean, the chat wasn't either. If you look at the... Uh, well, no strikes. The UFC website don't want to throw strikes up here. Anyway, I'll go over here. Check this out. How is he boring? You got to finish... He got to finish it. All right, all right, so are you saying boring on the mic? Like, explain explain boring. Because I understand if you're like me and you love Conor McGregor and the trash talk and all that shit, okay. Boring on the mic, sure. But um, how could you say Islam Makachev 
is a boring fighter. H- how? He's not just laying on his opponent for fucking five rounds. My man is looking to finish every fight he's in. I don't. I mean, it's it's to the point where I just think people are trolling, right? I mean, I would I would imagine that's what it is, and that's fine if you're trolling. Knock yourself out. But right now, Islam Makachev is on a four fight finish streak. Round one, round one, round four, round three over here. Arm triangle, rear naked choke, Kimura, and this one over here was the ground and pound. Excuse me, I said, uh, anyway, it's a finish regardless. All different ways. Four fights, finish them four different ways. There is nothing that is boring about that. And if you think, (laughs) if you think he's a boring fighter, well... I mean, what more do you want from the guy? (laughs) What more do you want? The dude is fucking electrifying. He's finishing everybody. I mean, when Ronda Rousey was finishing people, people were comparing her to the female Mike Tyson. Islam Makachev comes in here uh, because he's Russian and he doesn't talk shit on the mic. I mean, what is it? What more do you want from the kid? He's only 30 years old. He's got the lightweight goat in his corner. This is coming from a Conor McGregor fan. I am a straight up McGregor fan. I think McGregor's the goat. I love Conor. But how do you fucking say Islam Makachev is a boring guy? What kind of world do we live in? Someone drop a Scud missile onto these boring people. My God. It's crazy, man. You can't. You can't satisfy everyone. You just can't. Bobby Green laid a fucking egg. One complete egg. Moss, is there any way that you can out the casual cockroaches that voted for Green in your poll? (laughs) How did anyone think Green would win? Because he beat a mediocre fighter with only jabs? Casuals need to be taught a lesson in MMA critical thinking. I don't know, man. Like, I want to chalk it up to trolling to give him the benefit of the doubt. Because I think if you logically sit there and and you like break down this man's run, you know. Now Green came in on ten days' notice. It was a catchweight fight that all favored Makachev. So the delusional people beforehand that were saying, "Oh my God, Bob, that favors Bobby Green. Bobby Green's hands down. Maybe he could stop the takedowns and this and that." You know, listen. It makes it fun to banter back and forth. But then Bobby Green loses. Doesn't even show up. I mean. <laughs> Islam makes quick work of the guy. All of a sudden, Islam's boring. Such a weird... Now, Bobby got up and he complained a little to Herb Dean. He didn't like to stop. But then what happened after that? Bobby Green's running over to Habib and like laughing his ass off and this and that. Bobby doesn't lose anything in this fight. He came in 10 days notice. He's still fun to watch. He's still fun to root for. Not a champion, but he's a solid fighter that I would always root for. Makachev is a champion. Like The guy's got the material. You know what Makachev's going to do to Justin Gaethje? Gaethje better not win that title. Or he may as well go to another weight class or something. I don't know. Or retire. I don't know. But if I'm Justin Gaethje and I beat Charles Oliveira, I stay the fuck clear of Makachev. Makachev versus Charlie Olives is the way, man. That is a great fight. That is a great fight. Damn, man. They say he's boring because they didn't get uh, get their wish where he loses. Yeah, I mean, that's probably what it is, you know. Or maybe people bet on the upset. Like, I've been there. Like, tonight I was upset about a fight that I lost on, you know. Like, it bummed me out. It got me triggered. But, you know, it is what it is. You move on. To say that, that, that Makachev is boring, though, is just, you know, as much as I love to, like, jump on that train and troll, I can't. I can't even find a way to do it. I can't do it. Uh, Sharp Mind, thank you for the uh, subscribe. But let me know who would win Makachev versus Charlie Oliveira. I'm going to ask the chat, actually. I'm going to put a poll. Who wins? I'm curious on this one. Now, there's going to be some recency bias. Of course, there's going to be recency bias on this one. 
But I'm curious. I'm just curious. Just for, you know. Uh oh. B Man! Come on, B Man! This is for all the holes calling Islam boring. I'm with you, Moss. Islam will be a future champion. Yeah, we, we were saying this a couple of fights back, right? I mean, when he when he mutilated Hooker, I mean, I, I don't know. You know, <laughs> it's it's scary. Now, listen, the way Oliveira looks, Oliveira is legit. He's no joke, and Oliveira's getting no respect. What he did to Poirier, uh, Ferguson. Uh, uh, Michael Chandler, Oliveira is, he is damn good and he is hot right now at his run. So you got jujitsu versus the Sambo attack. I mean, let's go. Let's go, baby. All right, I got, I'm going to let that thing uh, slide in the, uh, the chat over wonderful, there. I'm curious. Wonderful. Tropic Tom. Bobby is greenlit for drinking tonight. He's going to need it. Yes, a black man can drink. A black man can't drink. All right, let me ask you guys in the chat this. I got my headphone on. Let me ask you this. The people that are saying boring, do you think Habib was boring when he fought? Because let me just say this. When Habib was on the uprise, right, I would troll and joke around about Habib and say, ah, he just, he just sniffs the crotch and blah, blah, blah. But then when Habib started defending the belt and started smashing guys, he's not boring. Like, I, I had legit respect for the guy. Still have re respect for the guy. I think he's the best 155er of all time. The greatest pound for pound for all time. Unfortunately, he retired too early for us to even assess that. We can't. But 155, I still have him as the GOAT, right? What Makachev is doing before he even got the belt at 30 years of age different man it's different it's it, it feel it feels way different you know the and one thing i have to give habib is at least he was saying he was gonna smash everybody like everyone he was i'm gonna smash this person where's the chicken this and that that was fun habib on the mic was great but as a fighter there were situations where i was like ah he's just gonna lay on his opponent he's just gonna grind him this and that until he became a champ and then it was all a different story makachev what about your bet, Jesse? Well, this is awkward. What about your bet? You want to do the walk of shame? Finish in the first round. This is like Bradley's coming. I couldn't even get going there. I, I, I didn't even know. I blinked and it was over. Fifty dollars down the drain. What did we lose? hundred and seventy tonight. This is this was our biggest loss ever. Well, I can't find Bradley's comb. This is. All right, it's not downstairs. I don't know. Damn it, Jesse. No more, no more parlays and no more Jesse betting. Let's go. Let's go to our goat milk, our Pick'em League winner. Let's go to the Pick'em League winner. And ladies and gentlemen, the person that won goat milk, it looks like. Hold on. Let's refresh it. <gasps> Auto Trader. <laughs> Auto Trader with a 670. Auto Trader. Congratulations, you are going up on the website. Now the six seven oh wait, did Jesse finish this? Let's see. I think she, I thought she did. Let's see. She was working on it before. Alright, we'll have everything up to date on the website. Next time we go live. I don't think she did. What the Alright. Next time we go live, we're gonna catch up on our website. We'll have everything squared out. Squared, I don't know. What the what is am I looking for? Looking at the poll, they're saying Makachev 71% wins over Oliveira. Wow. Now, I got to say, it's got to be recency bias. Because, I, like, my heart is leading towards Makachev as well. I think he's going to be a champion. But we can't discredit what Charlie Olives has done. That's a great fight. I would, thought it would be a little closer to the poll, but I guess it's recency bias. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't think you guys realize who Charles is. Well, watch what he does to Gaethje. Watch what Oliveira does to Gaethje. You know. Ah, uh, super chat. Ronaldo, what do we got? 
Don't worry about them. They hate on Islam and Khabib. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm not worried about them. Listen, I've I've been guilty in situations where I've been trolling and this and that, but at least I was wonderful. Wonderful. At least I fessed up to trolling, you know. The same dudes calling Islam boring while we submits people and TKO people are the same dudes perfectly okay with Colby laying on someone doing <laughs> nothing for a five round decision. Same exact people. <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. Colby Covington is pillow like it looks like he's got the pillow hands. Oh my god. It's so that's a great point. You know what? That is probably the donation of the night. I guarantee. I guarantee who's that Isaac? I guarantee the people <laughs> that are shitting on Islam. They love Colby Covington. <laughs> oh man. And I like Colby. I like Colby, but Oh, that's fucking hilarious. America. <laughs> He's so boring to say. Oh, God. That's that's a great, great donation. Shamim. What up, Shamim? Well, here's the thing. Jesse thinks Islam's boring. And Jesse's a massive Habib fan. Jesse throws me for a loop with that one. She doesn't like Islam at all. And I think this is... I, I'm going to be honest with you. This is my opinion. Islam... Maybe it's not as easy on the eyes than Habib was to her. I don't know. Islam doesn't have the gift of the gab when it comes to the smashing. You know, Habib was hilarious on the mic. Even when he didn't mean to be hilarious, he was so fucking funny with his one-liners and, you know, his banter. And I'm going to smash this person and that person. Islam Makachev is just a nice guy. Like, I'm watching an interview right now. He's just a humble kid. You know, and some people just want, they want the trash talk. I love trash talk, but if you're going in there... And dominating. I can't I can't hate on that. Now if you're if you're decisioning every fight, it's a whole different story. He's on a four fight finish streak. Yeah, right, Tony? Habib is hysterical. Kobe wasn't boring against Usman, no, but that's because of Usman. Let's be honest. If Kobe had his way, he would lay against him on the cage or try to drag him down and just kinda Ah, uh, super chat. Or just pill, you know, throw fucking combinations. Just watching Islam control and dominate the way he does, I feel scared watching, and that is exciting. Islam is a monster. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Islam never looks panicked in there. It's like it's like whatever Habib has rum, rubbed off on Islam, and they've been talking about Islam forever, in AKA or wherever you know he's been training. The buzz has been there for a long time. Islam apparently was like. Habib's father's guy. Like, he really wants to see Islam become a champion. He's 22 and 1. I mean, last four wins, one knockout, three submissions. It's crazy. It really is. It really is crazy. But yeah, I don't understand. Like, if you don't want to see finishes, like, what do you want to see? What do you, I don't know. Like, what's exciting? It's MMA for a reason. Yeah, I mean, but Islam could throw. It's just he's a monster when it comes to the grappling. You know? Uh, we hit our goal, baby. Look at this. Oh, this this slipped past me. Take a peek at this over here, boys and girls. 58,517 subscribers. Let's unleash the dragons for Islam Makachev. Let him fly, baby. Let's celebrate the chat with our green friends as we continue this night.
let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Bob Cratchit says, I honestly don't get why you guys don't have may, uh, way more subs with as long and consistently you put so much effort into every show. Thank you, Bob, man. Hey, that means a lot. At first, it was all about subscribers. And we want to keep on celebrating our goals. 100K is the goal that I always wanted. I wanted to get the fancy little plaque, be excited, and then everything else is gravy. But as we progressed as a channel and made some new friends, created relationships with fighters, and, and uh, just it, it's just been a great ride. We're doing this for a little over five years. So whatever happens, happens at this point. We'll keep on celebrating the accomplishments. You know, we'll hit our likes. We'll we'll grow the community. Um, it, everything's gonna happen in time. Not one viral video on this channel, but I, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. You know, we're we're just slowly. It's a slow burn, and it, we're building a great foundation over here. So if you're here and you're new at 58k, when we look back down the road with massive numbers over the head, you'll be like, hey, I was here. I was here in the early days, so let's go, baby. Let's have some fun. Whatever happens, happens. Enjoy the ride. We're all here for the UFC and whatever combat sports we cover, and we're all fans at the end of the day. No matter how much shit talking or back and forth debating we do, it's all love. Wonderful, wonderful. Chase, 41. That's true. The guys that hate Islam are usually these rednecks. Islam is very technical and finishes dudes fast. Meanwhile, all of Colby wins are decisions by lay and pray. Yeah, I mean, and think about this. Kamaru Usman was a guy that caught a lot of heat when he came up because he fought 30%. And he would just kind of wrestle his way to wins. But then he became a champ, and look what he started doing. He became a whole different animal. You know, some guys start turning up before they get the, the title. Some guys turn up after they get the title. Some guys never get the title and kind of flip-flop Colby's here's the thing with Colby I, I don't hate on Colby because I think his his banter is hilarious I think his um I think his cardio is amazing that bedroom cardio that he has I mean the guy is never out of a fight you know no matter what even if he's getting his ass whooped he's always in there he's a tough son of a bitch he does have good wrestling he's he's got pretty decent striking the problem is the power he d doesn't have much power in those hands so there are fights, the Robbie Lawler fight, where he's just pitter-pattering the entire time. It's just like, fuck, I just wasted my night watching something that just, ah, nothing really happened. Or he'll lay on a guy and, you know, Colby Covington, because of the mouth, though, and because of how he sells the fight, I still enjoy him. But there's, there's levels. There are the Usmans, the Habibs, the, uh, you know, Islam coming up. Conor McGregor at least won some belts. You know, you got to give him credit. He talked to talk, but he was finishing motherfuckers. Kobe, we, we got to see. We got to see. But the, the, some of the loudest supporters out there are Kobe Covington fans. And to say, if you are a Kobe fan, <laughs> and to say that another fighter is boring, it just comes across as bizarre. <laughs> it does. It does. So that donation that came in before was like uh, on point. Super chat. Silverback. Zabit is goat greatest P4P ever. <laughs> Zabit. Yeah, what happened to that guy? I still see him popping around. So I don't know. Maybe he's supposedly coming back. Zabit. I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that guy. Super chat. Kamein just showed how dangerous a BJJ artist is even mounted. Islam not safe on the ground against Charlie. Yeah. BTW the champ has proven his co-power. So, yes, Charles Oliveira, think about how his striking's gotten tremendously better and his jiu-jitsu is on point. Like, Charles Oliveira, he catches your neck, you're done. Uh, throws up a fucking triangle or, you know, goes for your arm. Like, your limbs are exposed in any way. It's a problem. Makachev versus Oliveira is just a classic. Let's throw the Brazilian against the Russian. Let's get that Sambo wrestling, whatever the fuck you want to call it, against the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Let's throw them together. They both actually have gotten better with their striking along the way. I mean, I'm salivating just thinking about that fight. And and if you're Charlie Olives, you got you, you got to take something like that because Oliveira is not a real you know needle mover. Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Anyway, 
he's not the guy that sells the pay-per-views. But when you have Makachev coming in, and Makachev is showing that, you know, peep fans like him, you know? Well, Russian fans and, and people that, you know, understand what the hell's going on, enjoy him. Um, I think it's going to be a, a, a massive fight. And I want to see Makachev versus Charles Oliveira on the same card as the Conor McGregor return. The Conor McGregor return. With the t- I want to see Conor McGregor versus like a Patty Pimblet or some shit on the same card as Makachev versus Oliveira. The juice would be crazy. Give me it. Give me that. Give me that in the world. Just feed me that. Give it to me. But if Justin Gaethje wins, can Justin Gaethje Beat Islam, Makachev. You know my answer. I'm going to end the poll with Charles Oliveira. We have 597 with the votes. 71% say Makachev. I don't know why it's like this, but there we go. Yeah, hold on. Let me. I'll be right back. Hold on. Seventy-one say Makachev beats. All right, but now let's let's switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up now. We're gonna do another poll, just for shits and giggles, and there'll be some recency bias as well. I know what my answer is. I mean, I'm I'm confident with my answer, but just out of curiosity, let's see who's got this one because we can't look past it. We just can't. So we're going to put Makachev in here. And then we're going to put someone that a lot of people want to be a champ. And I understand because he's the human highlight. Why is this frozen? Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. Let's put this in here. Okay, let's go. I said it earlier. I'm not going to say it now because I don't want to sway the vote. <clears throat> but I have a... I have a... Here. I'm going to write it down. So you know I'm not swayed by the community. Where's my markers? Yeah, let's go like this. So you know what's up. Okay, I got it written down. Okay, who wins, Makachev or Gaethje? Justin Gaethje. If Gaethje wins against Charlie Olives, who wins? Curious. Uh, Shahid Shabir, thank you for the subscribe, man. I think we made some new friends from other countries tonight and all over the world, so whatever. Wherever you're from, thank you for jumping in. And, uh... Hanging with us post fight. Wonderful, wonderful. Nine seven maple. What? Is that true? R.I.P. My green bet. Knew it was slim, but that's betting. I think people underestimate Charles too much. Minus Tony. He finished his last nine guys. Guys, Olives is one dude who is not afraid of the ground and can strike. Successor to Tony V. Khabib for UFC fans. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Hey, Gabriel has become a member. Thank you, Sonosi. Gabriel, you are now a white belt, baby. Let's go! Gabriel! Gabriel! Very nice. Thank you, Sonosi, everyone that dropped a donation. We got a new member. Where's my members at in the chat? Where's my members at in the chat? You guys are awesome. Welcome, Gabriel. Boo, butt huggers. Gaethje is overrated, says Brewster. The Maple Leafs versus Red Wings is insane. Is that, is that really the score? It sounds like a football score. That's nuts. We saw Armin destroy the BJJ Alvarez tonight. Listen, do not judge. Don't judge wrestling versus BJJ in that fight. Don't do it, man. <laughs> Don't do it in that fight. You know what happened in that fight. 
Uh, will World War Three happen? Pull in the chat, bro. Maybe next stream. Perhaps. Next stream. Moss, uh, this casuals are WWE fans, so they are looking for the trash talking, not fighting. They want to be entertained. Listen, I love a, tr a good trash talking fighter. I love it, man. I, and if you could back it up even better, right? But Islam, oh, super chat. I just, I just appreciate it. I appreciate that guy. Islam boring cause he makes it look easy like Khabib. Islam boring because he makes it look like Khabib. I so, I gotta be honest with you. I see a different fighter. I do, man. There are some similarities, but Islam is different. Islam feels like a hybrid. Like it's just like I don't know. It's like it's like Habib infused. With a little a sprinkle, a little extra good striking, and I don't know, there's there's something different in Islam. He don't need to say smash everybody or do any of that stuff. My man just needs to go in there. The way he said two rounds, like Bobby Green says, I hope you're ready to go five. And Islam's like Aww, two. Super chat. Ramiz. Islam versus Connor. <laughs> Smiley face. Fire. <laughs> oh my I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I can't, I can't give you, I can't give you that conversation. I just can't do it. Can't do it. But I do want to see Connor on the card. I want to see Connor on Islam in Oliveira fighting for the belt. I want to see Connor fighting like a Patty Pimblet or something. I don't know. Nate Diaz three. Let's go. You know, throw that together just for the, the, the shit talk after the fight. I don't know. It'd just be fun. Uh, I don't mean to curse, but you, but the one saying boring, believe Biden got 82 million votes. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Come on, man. Come on. There's a, uh, there are some people in this world that no matter what will always go back down to uh, the politics. I had this conversation with my pop. Um, Just kind of a, you got to. I, <laughs> you got to just rip that out of your life. Like this whole poli like just jumping online and everything goes back to politics. It's just ruining your life. We just watched some fun fights tonight, you know? It's crazy. No one cares about Khan anymore. He's old news. That is like the furthest thing for the truth. Did you see the Bellator event happens and, and the reporters are basically fucking climbing all over each other to get to the guy. If you don't like Connor, I get it. It's fine. He's, he's out of the cage antics or you don't like his brashness or whatever. I'm, I'm cool with that. It's, I don't have any problems with that. But you can't discredit that he's a superstar. The dude, <laughs> to say no one cares about Connor, he leaves his house and it's like the Beatles. Like, Beatle, there's like hordes of people chasing him down the block. I mean, to say no one cares about the guy I, might be a little, <laughs> you know, come on. Jess would do so much better uh, interview than uh, Megan O'Leary. Yeah, I mean, Megan O'Leary, I mean, she is quite inferior compared to Jesse's skills. They're uh, interviewing Armin right now, and that fight blew up the parlay so bad. It just bums me out. Got to give credit to the kid, though. He took advantage of the situation. When he got on top, it was a clusterfuck getting there. But he got there, and he landed the elbow that counted, and that was it, man. Once the cut happened, you know, his opponent could not see through the blood. The, dr the draining of his face was all over the mat, and he just could not shake it. My man was ready to die in there, so good thing the ref stepped in. The whole Connor thing's gotten sad, that coming from a Connor fan. Yeah, I mean, say what you will. Listen, you got to remember, Habib left for a reason, right? Habib left on top, and not many athletes can say they did that. Connor could have, Connor's story could have dropped and stopped at double champ. That's it. Wonderful, wonderful. If you want politics, religion, or any other crazy topics, go sub to Not the MMA Holes <laughs> channel and enjoy. Yeah, that's true. Our second channel, we could have a blast over there. Thank you, B Man. But um, yeah, like I was saying before, Connor, it's like he said he was gonna get in. Get rich and get out, right? He was going to become a double champ. He got greedy, right? He he became the double champ. He could have just fallen into fucking the abyss, but he saw the Floyd Mayweather thing and, and all these other things that were going on, and, you know, he got wrapped up in the scene. 
And now he made so much fucking money that even though he he still has that heart, that fire inside of him that he wants to compete, he never has to win another fight in his life. You know, it's money kind of changes everything, right? Maybe it changed the fire in his heart. Maybe what he had coming up as a plumber is the difference of what he was, what he is now as a rich guy, right? Regardless of the fact, I think it kills people that Connor could lose every single fight from you know four fights back. He could lose every fight, and people still will love him because he already created the foundation of the superstar, the celebrity. So that's what bothers people more than anything. People hate success, you know. They just it's just like it's like the Joe Rogan thing. Joe Rogan is successful, everyone wants to cancel him, you know. Uh he has competitiveness, but not but the fire isn't there anymore. Yeah, I mean Yeah, I think he still has that stubborn competitiveness for sure. I think in his head he thinks he could fight until he's 90, you know. But, um, you know, everyone, so the point I was trying to make is basically Habib got out in time. Like, he got out before anything diminished. He got out in his prime, left the game. People always ask questions, but never can you doubt the fact that he was undefeated. You know? So that's, that's a smart move. You know, some athletes can do it. Some athletes can get out on top, and that's what Habib did. So you have to respect that for sure. And now Habib has his whole other career. He has his own fight league. You know, Habib's doing great. I want to do a, a recap of this card. If the people are still hanging in here, maybe we'll you know keep it going. We'll see. What do you think Islam versus Connor rivalry looks like, Moss? Does it sell big pay per views? I mean, Connor could fight a snail, and it would sell a ton of pay per views. You know, so yeah, pay per view pro- buys no problem. I think it would be massive. And Habib is there. You have you know the whole him in the corner, coaching like yeah, yeah, the story's there. You know, it's like a movie, that that fight. The problem is, <laughs> if you're a Conor fan, you know, it, it's not, it's not, it, it doesn't seem like a good night for Conor, you know, against Makachev. Makachev is a real deal. He is. He's the real deal. But, I mean, we've spoken about this before. Hypothetically speaking, the stars line up. Islam fights Conor. You know, Islam's still on his, his storybook career rise and somehow Connor sparks uh, Makachev with Habib in the corner could you imagine that happens and then Habib comes out of retirement to defend his boy I mean we're talking this is like this is how you start a script like I mean you know you sell this shit to Hollywood they, they're all over it you know it's it's kind of it's kind of wild it's kind of it's kind of wild. I don't think Habib's ever going to come back. But if there was anything to drag him back, it's the nut job of Connor. You know, it's it's crazy. It's 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 like fantasy talk. It's it's so many things have to line up in order for that to happen. But um, yeah, it's a it's a Hollywood story. You know, it's crazy. But we've seen crazier things. This sport is nuts. This sport is a nutty sport. It's Juliana Pena coming in there and taking out Amanda Nunes. You know. Matt Sarah, this GSP back in the day. You know, there's, there's there's crazy things that happen that you're like, what? You know, there's so many crazy upsets and, you know, anything's possible. Ronda Rousey losing to Holly Holm, although I was Team Holly at the time. I thought Holly could do it. It's a great, it's a, yeah, you got to love the game. I agree. It's it's an amazing sport. It's seriously, there's no better. I mean, every sport has its ups and downs and its crazy upsets and stuff like that. That's what makes, you know, sports betting so much fun. But when there is so much on the line, there's one-on-one combat. There's no teams involved. Hey, the defense sucked this week. You know? Oh, man, our cleanup hitter, you know, is in a slump. It's one guy versus one guy. One gal versus one gal. Blood squirting out of the face. People fighting to win. When an upset happens in MMA, there is no other sport like it. There's no other sport. And here's the beauty. Joe Schmo could come off the couch and say, I never watched a UFC fight in my life. Could sit there and know what's going on. There's, of course, they're not going to know the certain positions and moves or whatever. But they still know what's going on. It's a fight. There's no offsides. There's no, like, I don't know, you know, first downs and stuff like that that people don't like have to learn rules to any games. Just two people fighting. It's a beautiful game. It really is. You have your highs, you have your lows. 
You become invested in fighters. It's every week. It's a beautiful UFC. I love it, man. I love all combat sports. It's fun. Carlos Hernandez gets a split decision win over Altamirano. Very competitive fight. Very close. Could have went either way, in my opinion. But Hernandez got the win, and I, I agree. Brian Himaj gets a submission in the first round over Gilmore. We have the unanimous decision by Martinez over Perez. That was a pretty good scrap between the both. That was pretty close. Terrence McKinney, the first guy in our parlay, gets the job done. I dropped him in my prospects list. I Listen, he, I put him in the parlay for a reason. When people brought him up in the chat, I was like, holy shit, I forgot he was even fighting. So I threw him in the mystical prospects. I like McKinney a lot. This guy is a, a really fun talent. So let's keep an eyeball on him as McKinney collects another first round win. We roll into the next fight over here. Uh, Jossia Nunes started off like fi on fire with Pris uh, Pascuala. Pascual? What was that? Ramona, we'll call her. I don't know why the fuck I'm. We've been streaming way too long. But uh, anyway, uh, Jossian is five foot two at one forty five. Very tiny, compact fighter. Fire in the beginning, slowed down towards the end. But Nunes got the job done. They got it right. The judges. We move on. Bahamandes got the Bravo choke. Look at that over Zhu Rong. Bahamandes looked great. Third round gets the job done, and Zhu Rong catches the L. Pra uh, Petrosian. Gets a split decision on Rodriguez. Shouldn't have been a split. Petrosian is an underdog. Looked great. His face was all mutilated, so Rodriguez did clearly land. But I think this should have been a unanimous. All judges should have been on board with this one. I think Armin got the, you know, did the right thing uh, with his game plan. Had moments where there were little questions, but Armin clearly got the job done. And uh, nice win for Armin. Uh, Sarukian versus Alvarez. This one was the second fight of our parlay. I want to watch this again because it drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. There was a collision that happened. I want to. I wish they would show that replay. They showed the elbow from the top. But anyway, there was a collision that happened that dropped both guys to the ground. And it worked out where Armin landed inside the guard. Armin did a fantastic job not letting Alvarez back up. And as Alvarez was drilling elbows from the bottom, Armin was moving the head around. He was collecting shots, but he was able to stop anything that was coming upright. And then as the round progressed and started to end, freaking Armin started dropping the elbows from the top. And one of the elbows hit Alvarez between square between the eyes, and there was a cut, a beauty, that was squirting. Just blood squirting all over the place of Alvarez. Alvarez gets to the second round. They clog up the, uh, the cut for the time being, but that thing opens up quickly. They go back down to the ground. Alvarez can't see a goddamn thing. And as he can't see anything, because he's drowning in his own blood, uh, Sarukian took complete advantage. Was whacking away at him. Took him out as the ref steps in and saved Alvarez's life. So that's how that fight went. I would love to see this again. Because, you know, when you see a cut, start blinding an opponent. And, and how it unfolded, it's just kind of a bummer. I think this fight could have been a fight of the night. I think this thing would have been a banger. Not saying, hey, Armin was the favorite in this fight. So Armin winning is not a surprise to a lot of people. But I do. I would like to see something like this play out because Alvarez is a legit player. So we'll see what's next for Sarukian. Uh, gets the win, hangs strong, and beats him up. Alvarez will live to see another day. They're two young guys, and I'm curious to see what's next. Uh, Kachera gets the win. I only saw the first two rounds, and then I had to play with the baby. Jesse caught the end. Unanimous decision. Wow. I mean, I thought Kim was winning the first two, but then I was horsing around. So regardless, Kachera gets the win, all right? Uh, Wellington Terman. This fight was great. This is so much fun. It was just a sloppy mess. Back and forth. As Terman looked like he was going to take out Serkinov. Serkinov shakes him off. Serkinov was looking like he was going to start uh, for the submissions. And it was just, it was such a sloppy slobber knocker. And then bang. As Serkinov goes into the second round with Terman. Serkinov starts off very good and strong. Terman says, give me your arm. And a quick tap by Serkinov. Serkinov says, no more. Serkinov shouldn't even be in the fucking UFC. I mean, let's... I don't know. I, I don't want to see him fight anymore. Come on, Misha. I mean, listen, it was fun to watch, but Jesus. I mean, how many more losses do we need to see? Islam Makachev. One round is all it took. The ground and pound on Bobby Green. Bobby didn't stand a chance. Islam lifts him, dumps him, takes him down, scoops up some legs, beats the shit out of him. Bobby Green had no shot. That's it. That's it. So Islam charging. Next fight should be a title. 
I don't even think there's, there should be a question about it. Uh, I know Bobby Green came in as a heavy underdog, you know, off the couch. Well, not off the couch, off a fight, really. He's in very good shape, but Bobby is not in Islam's league. So Islam Makachev, fantastic win for the Russian. All right, we're going to do final comments in the chat. I want to say a big thank you to everyone that hit the fucking like button. We got 822. If we could get to 1,000, that would be absolutely amazing. We want 1,000 likes on this stream. We need some help from the people left over right now as we are just trying to digest this UFC Vegas 49 card. Solid card, not a great card, but solid. I, I mean, I was very entertained. There were some downs where I was just like, eh, but I was incredibly entertained. So I think it was a, uh, I think it was a win. A bona fide superstar. He fought Habib, hung over with a broken foot. This is Brad Nix. Uh, we talking? Oh, you talking? <laughs> I don't have my foot. Was a balloon anymore? I got to get that sound bite back on. Kobe and Jorge should be fun next week. Yeah, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Next week's gonna be fire. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Fight week. We'll be doing shows leading up to it. So we'll be here all week. Uh, we have an interview on Wednesday. Um, let me see something here. We opened up. Let's see. We have someone. So there is a. I'm not gonna say who it is, but um. We do a lot of interviews on the show. Wednesday nights are our interview nights, so we've had we've had some awesome guests on the show. UFC fighters, I mean, fighters from all over we've had on. But um, we're linking up with a management team. And uh, hopefully we can uh, get in with, go with them. They have some very good fighters. Very, very good fighters that they uh, represent. So hopefully that works out. And we'll have some, we'll have some even better stars on the show. Uh, so Green lost. I missed it. Yeah, I wasn't, don't even bother going back. MMA holes are the best. Thank you, Silver Car. Moss, hook me up with the girl in the sheath commercial. Green panty girl. I pay finder's fee. Uh, you're talking about this young lady over here in sheath? Yeah, check it out. She got a nice look at that. I bet you'd like to be those green underwear. Sheath, uh, great underwear. Seriously, we say it all the time. Bobby Green sponsored by him, too. Uh, sheath is fantastic. There's a reason why I wear this underwear. I, I'd be honest with you. If I didn't like the underwear... I would just say, oh, go buy it. This is, I wear it all the fucking time. Sheath underwear it is fantastic. Check it out for yourself. Self, um, I love wearing it at the gym. Keeps everything in place. Uh, and uh, you won't regret it. 20% off. Promo code M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S. Shameless plug. Ladies, turn it up tonight. Great fights. Yeah, you know what the ladies did? You know, I was horsing around about the Jake Gyllenhaal thing. But they, they came to fight. That's all you could ask for, right? You and Jesse do a great job. You're the best. The MMA holds rule. Thank you, Anna H. Appreciate that. She's taken. Uh-oh. Junk Savage, you. You already got your paws on her? All right. All right, guys. Thank you. I don't think I... I think I got everything. I'm trying to think if I hit everything. Thank you to all the sponsors. MyBookie.ag. Link in the description. Sheath Underwear. Link in the description. Uh, head Rush. Got my Head Rush swag on here. Link in the description for that. Uh, promo code is M-M-A-H-O-L-E-S. ESPN Plus, if you're going to watch the fights, we have a link in our live chat. And in the description down below, anyone that signs up through our ESPN Plus links, help us out tremendously. Seriously, you support our sponsors. They support us. It's a full circle. It's a fantastic. Um, the donators, thank you again. Our top fucking dog is... Carl Grace. Oh. Carl Grace. Top Fugan Dog. One, Thank you one. for being the Top Fugan dog, dog, Carl. Thank you to everyone that donated tonight. Hit the like button. If you're watching on the replay, let us know in the comment section what you thought of the fights. They're interviewing Bobby Green. Don't have a scratch on him. Lives to see another day. Uh, go watch the press conference. Come back to our comment section. Let, let me know what you think. All right. We'll see you Monday night on this channel. We're going to do a complete, you know, review. Hopefully we'll take some phone calls on Monday. Wednesday we do our interview show. And Friday we do Fook Off Friday. Get ready for the big pay-per-view. Masvidal versus Covington. Let's go. Let's. I have the American flag underneath. But wherever you're from, I hope you're safe. I hope everyone that watches this show, part of this community, 
has a safe weekend. Let's all finger keep our fingers crossed that we don't get this World War III. Positive vibes in the chat. And always remember, don't be an a-hole. Be an M-M-A-hole.